All right, guys, let's get it going. Late night Age of Empires, baby. It's time. Got back from the trip. Excited to be hanging out with the crew once again, and uh, let's get this FFA match going. So we are going to be doing a random civs FFA match. So let me go ahead and find this, create game, and yes, yes. Random civs. Maybe we'll get some of the old civs that haven't gotten too much love, but, uh, you know, I, Byzantines are hands down my favorite. I was able to get back to Conqueror in 1v1 playing only Byzantine, so it is possible. And uh, honestly, I think they have a lot of strengths as you get into, like, Castle Age and uh, can really utilize those mercenaries. What I really like about them is actually using the um, the camels against cavalry-based factions like the French or using the Ghulams to construct uh, siege artillery, which is really, really cool for them. Yeah, super fun. All right, so um, we're going to do this. We'll call it turn FFA. All right, and uh, random sieves. Okay, so let's go here. We're going to go random, and we'll just do, like, mega random. All right, random lobby time. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's see what everyone gets. All right, baby. Let's go. How you guys doing? Yes, the god, the god of olive oil. Yeah. No, I, I really like playing business scenes. It's super fun. All right, that was really quick. Um, let's go ahead and fire up the game fast. Take a screenshot in case it crashes, and um, hopefully it doesn't have any issues here, and we can load right into the game. All right. All right. That was actually a little bit slower than usual. Yeah, that lobby, there was like a, an extra second or two that usually isn't there. You can play this game, but just, hey, appreciate that, HMR. Yeah, it's, this game's really fun. Like, even if you don't know how to play it, just, I think it has a good um, spectator kind of, uh, ooh, we got Zhushi's Legacy, one of the strongest civs in the game. Wow. All right. In FFA, Zhushi's is pretty good. Fast Castle, Grabbing Relics, or you can go 2TC. They, they're really dynamic. They can do a lot. So I don't really play them, but I think they're easy enough that we should be able to um, be all right. It's still a China variant, right? Yeah, it's a pretty stacked lobby for sure. We have several very, very good players in here. All right. Good luck, have fun. Emperor Churn, yeah, yeah it's time, man. Warpug, thank you for the 999. Greatly appreciate it, man. And um, I think we're gonna go fast castle and try and get relics with our Shaolin monks. I think that's gonna be the play. Um, relics give you a really good sustained economy and can let you play wonder, even if you're not a civ that has easy access to stone. So I think that's what we're gonna be doing. I know, I got it. I'll do an FFA tournament before I go to uh, Poland for the holidays. I'm going to be gone from uh, December 21st to January 2nd. So I'm going to try and get an FFA tournament going before then. But we got Ezra on Chinese, Malians, Versailles, Wookiee on Japanese, Lamb, Butter on My Teeth in Japanese, Mega on Ottomans, and Byzantines here. All right, we've got a pretty good range of factions, honestly. I believe it's at eight different factions. No, there's two Japanese players. Okay. Should be fun. We're going to try and take him down. I mean, we have some really overpowered mechanics, right? We have the AOE Bombard Cannons in the late game, so we can kind of do something similar to what you see from the Ottomans, which is having that, like, artillery doom stack just pushing you down. But there's a lot of ways to play Zhushis, but overall, I think going Fast Castle is going to be the way here. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. We'll try and grab those relics, and hopefully we don't get wrecked. We'll be back. Don't worry. We'll be back January 2nd. We'll have a lot of good things uh, rolling. All right, so we're playing these guys, right? So we need to get this, and we can do that. All right, cool. And let's go see who our neighbors are. All right, so the sheep are going to hug this. All right, so they're going to work on that, and we should be off to a reasonably decent start. So let's go find some sheep first and foremost. We're on the Windsor biome. Very, very lovely looking. Okay, we got a sheep here, and um, looking good. So they're going to collect taxes. Hopefully we can find some sheep and some relics. And then you head up here. Jump on that and set up a house here too. All right. Here we go, baby. All right. We're back in business. The old Jushi's legacy. <laughs> I'm an over. Pwn is an overpowered mechanic. The Dark Lord himself just got gold. He's gonna be. Uh, he's gonna be coming for us all soon. Yeah, this one does have a little bit of a. I mean, I, I like this biome a lot, but it does have that element of like being kind of. Kind of tricksy to see, for sure. I probably should have set this up next to the berry bushes. It's just an old habit to set it up next to the TC for 1v1 sometimes. When you're under a lot of pressure, it can uh, it can work out. So, all right, get you over there. Keep these sheep going. Keep running down here. Uh, so, we went random sieves. And I got Jushi's Legacy. We've been scattered by size. Is there water over here? I kind of... The train looking a little bit like there could be some water. Could be a little bit of funny business. I am feeling fast castle, though. I think that's uh, nice, depending on if we find relics, right? If we can't find any relics, then it's just kind of bare bones. And, oh, okay, is that, is that shoreline fish? Is that like a pond? Um, yeah, it's just like a little pond. So not going to be terribly substantial. All right, so let's go up here and then back down to the base to drop off those sheep. Probably should do it a little bit quicker, actually. Yeah, because we could run out of sheep in the base, considering. All right, do a little turn in there, do this and this. Hey, thank you, Emco. 
Appreciate it. Thank you for the donation. Oh man, you know, I thought about doing um, a Mountain Blade Warband stream. Yeah, they um, there was a really cool mod for it, which is the Old World mod. So it's like a Warhammer Fantasy mod for uh, Mountain Blade. I was actually really, really tempted to do that, but I didn't know if it had any sort of multiplayer like ways to do PvP in it. So I wasn't too sure about it, but all right. So we're looking good here. We're looking nice and cozy. We got a nice sheep hole. So now we need to go discover where the um, where the relics are hiding out. To on um, gold should get us there, and uh, yeah. Still waiting for AoE and Warhammer Power Fantasy. <laughs> oh, you want you want them both, or like you're saying like an Age of Empires style game, and it with like you know, with Warhammer. Yeah, that would, I mean, that would be super cool, obviously. All right, so now we need to get this. Meditation Gardens can go, well, that's a pretty decent one right there. Yeah, that's a that's a great Meditation Gardens. That's a hell of a lot of resources. All right, get you guys go turn in here. Keep looking around, seeing what we can find. And cool, should be enough here. We're gonna stay on gold. And that Meditation Garden's gonna be giving us stone and a multitude of other resources, so. That is going to be pretty fat. Four is a little bit too much. Um, I think just having a couple building on that is going to be okay. And let's keep looking around and seeing who's nearby. Okay. So fast castle is definitely on the table. Okay, let's do that. And then make another official here in a minute. He'll keep supervising. Um, we see three relics so far, which is good. And, hmm. Oh, there's one in, um, you're saying in Banner Lords too. Oh, okay. Excellent, excellent. Keep creeping around here. We'll get a second official out. Meditation Garden's going to give us some fat resources. Um, unfortunately, not food. Warpug, thank you for the 49! Says, vacation funds for Poland pierogi. Dude, that's the first thing I'm going to eat when we get off the plane. I'm so excited. Pierogi is the food of the gods. Okay, so that second official is coming out. We do see one of our neighbors here. All right, so let's like scout back here and run back to the base. And then that second official needs to come out. Go supervise gold. And we need to get a couple of you guys. Um, one, two. Yeah, we're going to need uh, a little bit of wood soon. All right, so come here. You guys can build this. And we'll get a couple on wood just so I'm not completely naked. I mean, I could go like Turbo Fast Castle, which is completely naked. Um, but this is going to give us wood, gold, and stone, like in good amounts too. So that's pretty fat. Um, pity on that. Oh, you're fine, Sai. You're all good. You're good. I don't know what they're, they're worrying that I'm going to be coming after him or something. Yeah. Should be fine though. Yeah, should be secret, should be safe. Alright, let's cut, collect some taxes. And do we have any taxes to collect here? We do. Tax collectors are so so useful. Oh, that's right, shit. I uh, totally forgot. I'm gonna get supply blocked here. Okay, so we see three relics near us. Let's keep exploring out in the outer realms. See what we find. Um, should get a turn in here in a second. Alright, so we can get this house up. Cool. Yeah, and I think we're barely gonna be dodging the supply block, which is nice. Dude, thank you again, Warpug. Pugs are one of my favorite dogs, too. Glorious little creatures. All right, so we see four relics. If we can get, like, four relics, dude, that's going to be, like, really, really good. Um, taxes to be collected a little bit. And Jushis can, eight, like, it's cheaper age-ups, which is super, super strong. You can, like, hit castle, like, around six minutes. They think I'm the Tyrant already? I haven't even done anything yet. I mean, I could die, I could die very quickly here. For sure. This is, like, kind of a risky style of play. But um, it's very fun if you can pull it off. Okay, I don't even know who's in this corner, so I should probably go figure that out and see who my neighbors are. Um, 43 on bounty, so let's do that. Turn that in. You come back, supervise that, my friend. And one of you guys build a village here in case we get raided. We have a place to hide our dudes. Yeah, and the age up for Zhushis is, yeah, 1,000, so we're pretty close. So somebody just got feudal age just now. Hey, Templar! Happy early Christmas, sir, and hope you have... Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the holidays for sure, but I'm, I'm really excited for what's to come after, like... Old World Tabletop Channel, a multitude of other things that are going to be super fun, so. Alright. So pretty close to the Rapid Age up here. Um, Meditation Gardens being an OP landmark. We got Sai over in the corner. Okay. So we got a, um, we have a, we have a neighbor who's going to be eyeing us closely. Now, let's grab you guys, do this, and do the, um, which one is it? Yeah, this is the Shaolin Monks. Yeah, the Shaolin Monastery. Cool. Alright. So that Age Up's going to be on the way. We have the dreaded Jushi Fast Castle. We have a couple of you guys. Do this, turn in, come down here. All you need to make Shaolin Monks is food. So, pretty sweet deal. All right, people are now reaching the eight. And you see how like dirty this is? I didn't even do like a turbo Fast Castle and you're just like getting it so, so quickly. Okay, let's do a little tower here to prevent raiding, to be safe. We're gonna switch on to some wood and the berry bushes are going in full effect. 
Now we just need to grab as many relics as we possibly can. All right, so the first Shaolin Monk is going to be coming out. So we are going to roll up on the battlefield and grab this and this. Hopefully nobody comments on it, on how fast my age up was there. <laughs> I'd prefer to be left, uh, you know, relatively anonymous and safe. This is a cool looking map though, it's very big. All right, so that's going to be one Shaolin Monk. We'll get another one to grab this and come back here. All right, excellent. We're going to need to build a monastery soon too. That's why I'm kind of switching a lot into lumber here. We're going to have like non-stop waves of Shaolin Monks popping out. Yeah, and they can fight pretty well too. So if I do get attacked, they should be able to defend. Okay, so berry bushes. Let's keep that going. You come back, drop off the sheep. Okay, so yeah, you got that, buddy. You got that. And let's get another Shaolin Monk popping out here in a second. So let's do that. He can come down here. Grab this one and bring that back here. All right. Excellent. So can we get a monastery yet? Not quite. So we will hide it by the TC. It should be reasonably safe there. Okay. So the Shaolin boys are hustling. We're going to get at the very least three relics here. So that's that's very good for us. Okay, let's do this. Have you guys switch over to wood. Um, and then we can have you supervise that. Great. So can we get another Shaolin monk? We can. All right. So he's going to go down here and get this relic. And bring it back here. And then we need to get some military tech if we can. So we're going to get some Jugnu. Obviously, to support our uh, efforts. And the boys are coming back with the relics already. Outstanding. And we can make this into a spring all tower in case of any early aggression. So obviously, anybody who's on 2TC is going to be quite a bit safer than us. Yeah, people are stressing. Stressing their neighbors right now, it sounds like. Okay, so that's guaranteed three relics, which is outstanding. And then we need to unlock the previous dynasties at this point. Um, we don't want to be sitting in the potato, you know, potato dynasties forever. All right, you buddy, go grab that. So come back with this relic here and drop it off here. Um, we can get you to come out here and grab this and bring this back. And we're going to try and get as many as we possibly can. It's going to be tricky, but if we can get a bunch, then we're going to be very tyrannical for sure. All right. So a couple of you guys. I think we're a little bit too hard in the paint on wood right now. We probably need some deer, so let's move out here and go hit that deer encampment. Um, but relics are going to start coming back, and in order to be effective with our relics, what we need to do is get a market to balance our economy, so we can like spend that those resources, right? Okay. Let's get some food gathering. Let's go scout the map a little bit more. Um, we're looking pretty good here. He's got another one, so let's go up here and grab this and bring it back. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have so many relics, geez. It's gonna be savage. Okay, people are now reaching Castle Age, but a lot of the relics are gonna hopefully be gone off the map here. We're gonna see what we can do. Yeah, here's another one right here. The Shaolin Master is gonna get that, so let's drop that off here. And life's good, man. No complaints. So let's get the dynasties unlocked now and, and get try and get to the next, uh, the one that lets us just spam out cheap wood units. Uh, we'll make some more officials. Okay. Let's drop that off here. Okay, let's go to this and then bring it back if we can. The Shaolin monks are certainly putting that work in. They can fight off wolves, which is great. You know, one of the certainly underrated things about them. Okay, and um, excellent. Yeah, pretty close to getting there. Shaolin monks are dragging the relics back. Um, currently, we have four. We might need another religious building here. Let's so we'll slap down another one of those. Okay, we found blue. And that's uh, Mega Ben, it would appear. And um, this landmark is what, 340 to build? Okay. So we probably want to like hide some landmarks too if we can. So let's see. This one we can build the um, we can build this near where we're going to be doing our farms, which will be like right here. Okay. Somebody walled that. That's really funny. Look at that. That's Dark Hunter Ezra. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna try and bash down that wall if we can. You come back here. You come back here, and you come back here too. Okay. Ezra walled me out. Yeah, they're saying, I wonder who got all the relics. Okay, so we got our Shaolin monks now, which are awesome. So in order, in total, we got seven relics, which is pretty insane. That's a very, very good amount. That's very good. Okay, so this is going to be coming off down here. Let's move you guys up there. And now we need to transition into a farm economy here. This is what HRE wishes it could be? Exactly. It, it's There's so much truth in that statement that it's depressing. All right, so let's keep this going. We'll make some more officials. These guys are going to head here. We can even get started on stone a little bit if we want to. But we do have a uh, an army of sorts. Yeah, there's Ezra walled off a couple relics, but I'm happy to let some other people get them so I don't seem like the absolute, like, you know, like a terror in the night. Um, so this is going to give us granaries. Okay, so then we can start on the granary economy. So one, one, okay. 
Let's set it up like so. And let's see what this looks like here. I don't know if that's like the best spot for it. We probably should have scouted that. Shaolin Monk's trying to bash those down if he can. Um, we probably just buy our way to um, a second TC here. I think that would be smart. Okay, let's grab you guys and then get a little bit of an economic boom if we can. Okay, let's do that. Come back this way. Is there like a spatial issue back here? People are getting to Castle Age now. Um, yeah, there's there's a couple relics up on the map, but we have a we have a very good number, guys. It's a very very good amount. Okay, let's do that. And you know what? Let's be like uber uber greedy. Just make a third one. Okay, so that's why there's not a lot of space back here. That's kind of annoying. Oh well. So we're gonna have a pretty ugly farm system because of how I decided to set that up. But it's all right. And um, we are starting to gather some stones. So let's get upgrades. We have the Zhugnu if need be. Um, we do have a little stone tower with spring alts here. And people are now in the castle age, but we are very, very good on relics. All right, so let's go scout a little bit more. And uh, we need to get Imperial, get those Tithe Barns going if we can. As far as granaries go, um, yeah, I mean, this is kind of an ugly spot, but it's very safe, so I kind of like that aspect of it. Okay, let's come down here. Okay, good. The Shaolin Monk might be able to get it eventually. He's working for it. Now there's palace guards coming. All right, we're going to just save him. All right, so you guys get back. And um, yeah, the wood is being supervised. Uh, we're about to get this going. And we have a tax drop off point here with that special landmark. So let's just get a big economic boom if we can and just run back across the map. No sense in, you know, getting wrecked here. All right, so triple TC is going to be a huge, huge bike for us. So it's going to be very good. Let's get some racks. Okay, so it's going to give us access to the goodies. And then we can go ahead and do this. Continue making farms down here. All right, and get you down here as well. Yeah, the farm set, my farms, it's it's uh, it's actually, I need them to be ugly or else, you know, you, you guys will think something's wrong with me. You'll think I'm sick. All right, so do we grab that sacred site? We could grab it just for the extra gold and just set up like a, like a wild tower next to it or something. I don't think that'd be a bad idea. All right. So we're looking good. Military infrastructure is on the way. Let's start getting spearmen upgrades. Um, you know, we are in a position where we don't need to worry about relics too much. I mean, income too much because of the amount of relics we got. Start getting some upgrades. Get that triple TC economy going. And just as soon as we get tithe barns is when we start popping off. That's like that's like God's here. And I'm just buying wood to get this farm eco going. Um, all right. So we'll set up a granary here. We can um, start collecting taxes. So we need to get more tax officials out to collect more taxes. And uh, cool. Upgrades. We're chilling in Castle Age. Definitely going to slap down some uh, some stone walls here soon. So we can start a stone wall network here. Yeah, that looks good. And we don't need that like in the trees. Okay, so they're going to start working on that. And we just secure our little our little empire here. Finally, a game where Nanny doesn't spawn next to me. <laughs> yeah, Nanny is not near me. That is true. Nanny is secret and safe somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere on the map, I would imagine. All right. So let's get you. I'm down here. And outstanding. All right. So eventually that'll be cleaner. But, you know, for the most part, we have the trees protecting those farms. So raiding is going to be incredibly hard here. All right. How are we looking? Uh, let's set up another tower. Um, where do we want to set it up? We could set up, like, some loose towers around the middle just to kind of control these resources. <laughs> Granted, we don't need them too bad, but you guys get what I'm saying. All right. So village. We need to get a village here. So let's uh, set one up back here. We can do more, and we can unlock the other dynasty if we want to, which is Mount Lu. Imperial, yeah, it's what, that's the Imperial uh, officials one, isn't it? So we're going to save one of our Imperial landmarks for the corner. Like, we'll we'll get Imperial, we'll get aggressive, and then we'll build a, a landmark somewhere. <laughs> yeah, Byzant Dude, Byzantines, I've been having a lot of success with them in 1v1 lately. It's weird, like, you lose a ton of games with Byzantines, and then something just, like, magically clicks, and, like, you start winning with them. It's weird. I mean, I, like, objectively... You know, playing civs like Joan of Arc and stuff, yeah, there's no, you can't compare the strength level with those. Like, Joan of Arc is just stupid OP, right? Um, let's send the monk here, and we can do this. Get a little tower set up there. Get a little tower set up here. And Ezra has now reached Imperial Age, so he's going to start steamrolling people in the north for sure. I suspect Ezra will become um, a powerhouse on the other side. How are we looking here? Are these fully upgraded? Yeah, we need Imperial Age. All right, so now we just save for Impage. Let's get a gatehouse. We can get pagodas too. So we'll get some uh, pagoda in the back. One, okay. One and uh, two and three. 
Yeah, they're already fighting. It seems like really bad we can share. Okay, that's going to be a decisive crushing soon. And, uh, yeah, you know, we're, we're there. It's going all right. <laughs> so despite the, the farm haggardness. All right, so let's go ahead and get host. Yeah, it can lock you on Raiders Imperial Guards. Only two technologies can be researched. Let's do the um, let's do the Temple of the Sun back here, and then we can get aggressive, kill one of our neighbors. Um, but I want to wait till I'm Imperial here with China before I do that, right? Because Chinese Imperial is very scary, it's very scary. I mean, even though we're Zhushis, it's still it's still very frightening. All right, let's get you in there. Um, we don't really need that character though at this point, so we can just delete it. We have the Shaolin monks, and Imperial Age is on the way. So crossbows, palace guard, we'll start in all sorts of goodies. And um, we can delete this because it has no tax left in it. And we can get the proper uh, farm economy going. So let's grab you guys. Keep making bills. What are we at? We're at 82 right now. Here comes the sun. Yeah. I, I don't know what researches I want to research yet. So that's why I'm kind of like waiting on that. All right. Let's get into the village. Yes. We need to find a way to get some walls in the north. So let's do walls here and walls here. Looks like everybody's reaching Imp, but I doubt they have seven relics and uh, the same eco I have. Uh-oh. Look at this. This is like right up in my face. This is really uh, this is really sending a message here. So you don't trust me. Huh? Thought we were friends. All right. So let's get you guys. You just gather some stone here. It's fine. And um, you have the Temple of the Sun now. So it's going to get movement speed, gunpowder, and defensive structures, cavalry, and units out of combat. Yeah, we'll just do the unit speed for now. And uh, we need to get a lot of wood. We need to get a whole bunch of wood if we can. Yeah, we have a lot of gold, obviously. And we can get a uni here in a second, so let's get a university. We need to get our monks, so let's grab our monks, our Shaolin boys. Yeah, they're they're setting up walls there. Okay, and um, let's grab them from here. And then we go here, here, and um, we need to build one more pagoda as well. This monk is going to be chilling with the boys. All right, so yeah, my last Imperial landmark, I want to build in the corner somewhere. That's why I'm, I'm delaying it. Normally I would already have built it, but um, this isn't a 1v1. In FFA, we need, to, we need to survive. It's a tough life out there. Okay, so heading up here, we got two pagodas online now. Which is just going to give us a copious amount of free resources and a lot of wood economy. So let's go up to the middle and start rolling. So take this and this. All right. Yeah, HRE is, is definitely feels like a kind of a haggard sieve nowadays. As much as I hate to say it, because I love the aesthetic of the Holy Romans and the flavor and everything. It's just, they're just, they just feel so janky. All right, so Malians are here. They're, they're, they're a little bit suspicious. We have a good army. Um, are we being attacked at our walls? Okay, there's a wolf attacking. These walls are slowly being completed. All right, let's get you, do this. We'll switch into, I wonder, I wonder if we want to do like the Imperial Guard, like the Yuan. Did you saw the 1v1 tournament? You mean one of my tournaments or some uh, hosted by somebody else? Okay, so this is Mega Ben here. So we're going to go ahead and get a cannon placement here, because why the hell not? Um, or we could throw down a keep if we want to. Not kind of an interesting idea. Yeah, for now, we're just going to, we're just going to chill out here. All right. So are we ready for war yet? Do we want to get crazy? Do we want to chill? Maybe get fully upgraded first? Get some uni upgrades as well, which would be nice. We got taxes being collected. And um, yeah, food food needs to be maxed out as well. All right. Let's sell a little bit. Cool. Tithe barns we need to research. That should have been the first thing I researched considering how many relics I have, but I believe only a handful of them will benefit. Um, okay, let's get some more farms. Come down here. You guys can do this. And um, yeah, we can do some more farms here. All right. The Chinese steamroller will come into effect soon. Um, do we want to set up a keep here? Probably a good idea. So let's set up a defensive keep. Um, we can even do it like right back here. It's a very good spot. It's going to protect our relics. And if we do end up losing to like the Malians or something, if we decide to fight them, then we're going to be okay on the counterattack. What is our eco now? Okay, 100 something. So let's go over here, do this. And we can take some Imperial officials. This guy can go supervise that. Got to be on point with that. Let's get army tactics. And um, yeah, we see blue taking over quite a bit of ground here. We did also take control of various portions of the map. Just get arrow emplacements or hand cannon emplacements on these. And we see yellow butter on my teeth going pretty bananas over there. So, all right. Uh, what do we want to get? Speed. Looks fine. And uh, here we go, man. I think we're about ready to fight. We don't have like a huge bank though. I'm, I'm kind of spending a lot on upgrades right now. But yeah, let's get some grenadiers. 
and we can get some spearmen, some palace guard and whatnot, uh, build some gatehouses, and it looks like blue has kind of got us walled here, which is pretty funny. Yeah, we need to seal that off, actually, if we can. All right, so let's move north. Do we have enough production infrastructure? I suppose we, I suspect we do. Okay, let's set that up, and then you guys can come over here. Let's buy a little bit more, set up some racks. Okay, so we're almost supply capped here. We're going to need to stop producing villagers here in a minute. Okay. Looks good. Uh, oh, the EGC TV fan, uh, finals. No, I didn't see that. No, no, I didn't. Set up another keep there. You never know when we could get backstabbed or betrayed, right? As I'm about to just go get real crazy here. All right, so let's go say hello to the Malians. Let's go test their might, see what they're made of, right? Should be fun. Get some Elite Juke new and get you guys on some racks here. Oh, hello. That's a that's an interesting, interestingly big army here. Grenades. These guys. Spearmen should... It's a good thing I have elite spears. Oh, these are just veteran sofa. So I think we should be all right. Yeah, it looks like they're going to do a little counter raiding into my base, which is smart. Um, but overall... Oh, we're annihilating this army. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to lose some bills, but, you know, if anything, I could use the villager losses. All right. Yeah, no, this is going to be bad. I was a little bit nervous, but then I realized they weren't upgraded, so... Um, I believe we did lose some, um... Okay, let's get you guys on wood here. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. So, Sofa did not have much of a chance. Um, they are pretty... Uh, relatively upgraded. Not, like, super hard or anything, but we didn't actually get the wall done. He, d he dove and got my cannons. It's pretty funny. Um, alright. Let's get some bombards coming out, and, yeah, that is going to be... That is going to be rough. Okay, let's grab that, and do this. And we need to get more of this. A little bit more of that. And you guys come out here. Okay, so we see Ezra moving into the middle. Um, currently, yeah, he's he's got his his nasty villager legions, just grabbing whatever resources. He's grabbing all the stones, so he can wander, basically here. Um, but we'll have our cannons out in a second. And um, yeah, this one's going. I thought we were pretty. I thought we were pretty cool. <laughs> My favorite part is, as he says that, is like huge army of sofa rides through the gates. Like, yeah, it's very thematically fun. All right, so we need to pull some bills here. Your corner, I need your corner. It, it's nothing personal. It's a really nice corner for me to expand my empire. Yes. All right, so that's gonna finish in a second. We're gonna have a cannon emplacement, and um, let's move in. Looks like there's a panic keep coming down, which is smart. And uh, ooh, are those more relics? Oh no, those are cattle. Okay. Is he Castle Age still? No, he's not. Okay. I was gonna I was gonna feel kinda bad if he was. Okay, so let's just take down the cattle ranches, cut off food supply, do that, and um, yes, we get this. So cannon is about to finish there. Alright. So the demolition is underway. Let's go ahead and get some more siege workshops. So we can spam out rams, do that, and we can get the um, siege engine health. And then we set up our last landmark in the corner here. Alright, we see a lot of villagers scattering. Some of them getting chased. I suspect he's gonna maybe try and build a landmark somebody else, but I think he's probably got everything in this corner here. Alright. That's gonna be one down. He's trying to build some military. He had a lot of sofa, but um, that was pretty much it. Yeah, a lot of villagers just going down here, so that's gonna be the, the first one. Alright, cool. That was literally 25 minutes. I didn't, like, rush him, like, Castle Age timing, you know? Uh, alright. So, how are we looking here? Everything's looking smooth. And, uh, typically, I will say straight uh, peace, or I won't attack, but I didn't castle push as I usually do. I'm trying to explain, so you can see into the mind of madness here. Alright. So the base being cleared out, good. Um, and what do we actually get from this corner? I guess just a spot for our wonder and whatnot, right? For sure. All right. So let's get you guys do this. Build a keep here. Head to the corner. And um, are we fully upgraded? So cavalry, building health. Yeah, we can just get them all. We have plenty of gold. I don't know where he's hiding his last landmark, actually. I have no idea. Build a wall. Build a wall next to your team. Oh, you're worried about um, bro built a wall hugging turns base and oh yeah. Well, the wall was very close. Yeah, that that definitely like that definitely kindled my aggression. I wasn't going to attack him as early. I might have even gone the other way, but um, yeah. When I saw that next to my base, I, I kind of felt as if I was I was threatened there, so I had to had to go. 
All right, we can make Shaolin monks too. That's right. Yeah, we can make them out of the pagodas, can't we? Oh, that's super fun. I always forget about that. Yeah, J Jushis. Okay. We'll keep cruising around. I'm pretty sure you hit a landmark somewhere. Um, we need to stop making bills now because we're at 112 eco, which I think is adequate. Shaolin Monk's cruising up there, and um, I'm sure Ezra is doing the exact same thing on the other side of the map, just like terrorizing everyone. Okay. The Griot Barra might be his last line mark. I don't know. Should be. Let's see. One, two, three. Um, so one. Yeah. All right. Let's keep cruising. Certainly tough to get a sieve you don't play often, so respect to uh, our boy Sai there. It ain't fun. Although, I, I mean, I, I kind of like to play sieves. I suck at it. I think it's fun. Okay, so let's do this. And do this. Secure this land. And um, now we have a nice little corner here. So let's pull you guys back this way. And we can set up the Zhushi's library back there. All right, so those boys get to go hustle. And um, probably don't need all 24 of them to do that. So let's keep some of them here in the middle and keep grabbing resources. So what civs do we have? We have Ottomans to the north, which is very frightening. Ottomans are very good. So um, yeah, we got to put some respect on their name. You too. All right. So where do we go next? We have green down here. Green is docks on Byzantines. Okay, I feel like the olive homies need to be left alone. Let's head out this way. Head out to the middle, and we can set up some uh, palisades here. Do this. And we're good, man. We're good. Okay, so what do we got military-wise? Yeah, could start making some Shaolin Chads, which would be very fun. Hit the wood hard there. You guys keep purging all the gold from the middle of the map. You can see how Ezra is kind of expanding out and doing something similar. Um, Ottomans, though, could roll up on us with, like, a huge doom stack, which could definitely just kill us. If they have enough great bombards, then we're just in bad news bears. Like, it's just all bad. Okay, so let's get more military infrastructure. Chushi's library is coming up, and the walls of doom are going to be built here. Yeah, they're building the walls good. All right. So that should secure our bottom corner, which is a great spot for a wonder and also for our um, landmark here, right? If we get killed in our main base somehow, we'll have a place to fall back from. It. Unless somebody's stream sniping, <laughs> it'd be pretty hard to find that one. All right. Hmm. How are we looking here? Yeah, we got the granaries going. There's a little bit of space on the edge of the map, so let's get the farms augmented. So let's do this. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right. How's our eco? 88. It's a pretty good amount. And uh, we're all set. Yeah, so here's the thing. If you had a market over here, it wouldn't have mattered anyways because the trade route would be so short, it's not even worth the population supply. Whereas this trade route, even though it's contested, would be um, probably more viable. And I have seven relics. Uh, more than that, actually. I have one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven? Yes, it's, it's, it looks like seven. Yeah, I have seven relics. Including Tithe Barn, so like my passive resource gain per minute is going to be nuts. It's going to be absolutely nuts. Now, here's the question. Um, what do we want to vote for? Spearman and Horseman gain Fire Lanceman Charging. Judo, Crossbow, Fire, and Extra Bolt. Uh, the Cavalry. Cloud of Terror is, like, probably the most busted one. It gives your Bombards AoE damage, which is just crazy. Um, I don't know. I never, never had a market. Yeah, you never got that far. Got it. Imperial Officials. Yeah, we don't care about that. Dynastic Protectors does let us get those Imperial Guard, which are pretty nuts. But again, they're, like, they're super, super um, resource intensive, right? All right. This and this. Let's check our officials. So a couple of them are collecting taxes. So let's go over here and collect. I don't know. What do we want to experiment with this game? Like the Zhugnu and crossbow firing an extra bolt is pretty sweet. That's like a big damage galing. And then you can you kind of use crossbows as like hand cannoneers. The Imperial Guard are rad, I feel. Um, yeah, so we're going to go for the Bombard one. And um, God, the Fire Lancer one's cool too. Because then your Spearmen and like cheap crappy units become much better. Um... I don't know. Imperial, yeah. Imperial Guard plus Bombos is the meta, but I find Extra Bolt super fun, yeah. Um, Bombards and Imperial Guard. Yeah, the Imperial Guard are just so cool. I feel like we have to do that just out of flavor alone. All right. Let's set up all these, yeah, so we can make those Imperial Guard units. Standing. Um, you guys can go ahead, and we do have all the lovely, lovely cattle down here. We need to go, like, double wall up our regions, I think. So let's do that. And do this. You never know when aggression is going to come and from which direction it will come. So we're going to go wall that up here. All right. So let's get the upgrades. Do we need knights upgraded? Nope, because we're getting Imperial Guard, but horsemen should still be fine. 
We're upgrading. We're just hoarding wealth, basically, at this point. The Ottomans, um, I should probably wait till I have the Jushis upgrades before I decide to fight them. And I did forget to get the um, upgrades from the, uh, the the landmark here. Yeah, so let's just get all those. All right. Do that, and we can do this in four. Get some Shaolin monks. The Ottomans definitely will be the one we probably end up in Mortal Wombat with here. That would be my, my suspicion. Um, how are we looking here? Looking good. So let's get some more stables. Yeah, so we're going to be spamming out a ton of Imperial Guard. Uh, still going to stream in Poland? No, no, I'm not going to be streaming in Poland. But it'll only be like 10 days. We'll have videos up. And I'm, I'm going to record like a bunch of really good FFA matches between then. Um, then and, you know, when, when we leave. So we should have some good news here. All right, Sours. China's attacking me. Um, okay, so now is my opportunity to be the evil villain on the bottom side too. We'll get East Corner. Uh, okay, I'm trying to see the politics of this game. Who's in the bottom? Green is Docs. He's Byzantines. Byzantines are, um, they have a very respectable late game. It's, it's their early game that, in my opinion, suffers a little bit. How are we looking? Yeah, we're still just grabbing a ton. And see, we have a neutral trade post right here, which we could, we could, like, lumberjack back this way and actually get a decent trade. Yeah, we have a good bank. It's pretty insane. All right, so let's go. Let's go grab some stone down here. Um, we can set up keeps if we want to. Update this. Tax officials are going to be getting some nice upgrades soon as well. Yeah. The wall was pretty aggressive. When I saw it in my base, I thought you were planning on sieging me from behind the walls. That was my first my first instinct um, when I saw that. All right, so we got the bombards of the gods coming out. Hey, green's down here. All right. We maybe, maybe go after green since he's kind of like trundling on our borders here. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit, ladies and gentlemen. So green's taking all those resources, but he is a Byzantine bro. Oh, it's, it's a tough question. It's quite a, quite a conundrum we're in here. We have this gold node in our base. Might as well work on that. Uh, China is OP and I am playing them. China in FFA is OP. Zhushis is OP in 1v1, and probably arguably in FFA too. They don't have like a source of infinite gold, but if you can get your hands on like a relic or something, dude, you're just gonna be the cackle lord. All right, so let's cut you and uh, get these bombards. Let's kind of tighten up the army and uh, get those bombardos out. Cool. There's some funky tactics you can use where you can like build walls and force your opponent to fight in a lane. Yeah, we're kind of like, yeah, that's that wall isn't gonna work. Okay, so we need to rethink that situation. Let's grab you guys. Um, we did finish those. Um, the Byzantine Bros. The olive. The olive empire would never betray me. So I think we go north. Byzantines are way more of a threat. <clears throat> I'm sure Ez Ezra is, must have reached a conquer in one v one, right? Okay. Okay, Docs, Docs is, uh, you are my olive, bro. Yeah. We're gonna go north, I think, is gonna be the play. We don't even need forward supply lines to attack this guy. The boys, where are you gonna shoot? No, it's all good, man. I respect it. Okay, so we have our OP AOE bombards. The Janissaries are coming. We're gonna have a gunpowder duel. Um, all right, so let's get some Imperial Guard coming out, although they're gonna suck against Janissaries. So I probably should have thought twice about that. All right, so let's move up. You ready for the OP? Oh, AOE cannons. Oh, it's so OP. All right, so let's get you guys. And uh, yep, we'll just get you guys coming and this and, and these guys. Holy shit, we just steamrolled the hell out of that army, but we're also gonna get steamrolled here. We have the oh, we have the battle of the overpowered cannons, right? Duking it out. Fight cannons. Fight overpowered artillery pieces. Okay, so reinforcement should be on the way, and we did dispatch the Ottoman army. Um, and now the question is, can he match my macro and, and, and keep producing, right, for long periods of time? All right, so let's get this keep up here, and we can keep knocking down the walls, knocking on Heaven's door here. And um, the Imperial Chads are coming now. They will be bad against Janissaries, but overall should be pretty good. All right, so how are we looking? We're about to get in. Let's pull our whole army, and um, we can start spamming some rams out. Let's like get some Shaolin monks, just because they're super cool. So yeah, you guys chase that down. Chase, chase, chase. And the rest of the army is going to move in here. Let's move up there. And you guys can come set up some towers here. And it looks like that's where he's trying to harvest some resources. Okay. 
So we're moving in. We're going to see how quickly we can get this war uh, finished here. Certainly ain't going to be easy. Keep is about to finish, which is going to give us a fallback point, which is something I really like when being aggressive. And we see their main base now. All right. Wow, we're already in the main base. Okay. So the walls have fallen. Let's breach in. And uh, we got the rams coming. The dew-hostening begins. And let's move in. Let's move in and start uh, having some fun. All right. So we're going to run this way. No, he's got some cav there, so let's run up that way. You guys move in. Start going after these great bombards. So let's do this. Target the bombardos down. Do a little bit of raiding on the side, and you guys can go raid up back there. All right. Excellent. Nest the bees have arrived. Excellent. Good counter, uh, counter hunting here on his part. But we have gotten some good villager kills. All right. We need to get these bombards down if we can. And uh, he did manage to take down my bombards. Well played. All right. So let's just get more of those coming, more rams. Uh, did he have any resources over here? Not really, so we'll just kind of grab wood where we can and uh, keep moving up. All right. So yeah, it seems to be going well. I think I think eventually we'll break his armies. It's going to take a moment, but I think we will um, get there in time. Set up another keep here. Without his great bombards, he probably won't be able to do too much against that. And let's get some Yuan Raiders and some scouts. And um, yeah, now we're moving into grooving. A lot of Janissaries. Yeah, he's macroing well now. Well played. All right, let's get you back. Cannon emplacement, cannon emplacement, cannon emplacement. And now we're going to have ram, so we can actually do some considerable damage. Okay. Yuan Riders are coming out. Let's go ahead and get these Zhugnu. Keep is going to plop down. I don't know if he has any great bombards left. Like, I have 16,000 gold. I, I don't know if he can keep up with my spending. That's going to be the hardest part for Homeboy here. All right. I curse turn. Uh, from the grave, I curse turn to do more of a stream. <laughs> what is he talking about? I love it. All right. Did we get banded? Yeah, we did get all the upgrades. Okay. All right, so let's move in there. He's got some Janissaries and stuff, but I think we're going to be okay. Let's get the cannon placement and the burning oil, move into the base. And um, we should have another wave of Bombards coming down soon. The Olive Bros in the south are chilling. I don't think we need to worry about them. I think we truly have the Olive, the olive Homie Alliance. Let's pull back. Get our Nest of Bees moving up, shooting into the Janissaries here. You repair and repair. That's why I like to have some Villagers on Siege Pushes. I um, mean, he's going to try and Wolo low me, which is interesting. He might, might get something. Shit, I don't know. My, my bathing gear isn't great. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. He, he got like... Eh, he got like two units. Okay, it wasn't too bad. All right. So, Bombards, please. Keeps going to go down. Um, and this is a nice bounty because we actually do have some um, some resources here, right? All right. Let's grab you guys. Do a little bit of raiding off. Okay, he's got... Oh, wow. Whole other set of an empire there. And trading. Holy shit. This man was trading. I like it. Respect it. All right. So Ram's moving in, set up a tower here in the front, so let's get the bills, and we can set up a little cute cannon tower here while we keep pushing. Wow, big pocket of those great bombards that he's sitting on, Jesus. You guys see that shit? Nice flanking here. Very well played. It's gonna get a lot of my cannons, unfortunately. Not a whole lot I can do here, but the Rams are making uh, progress. We're blasting through, and guns don't do that much damage against Rams, so... All right, so what we do, did we get the keep up? We did not. Good diving on his part. Um, let's get some bombards and just keep hammering through. All right, so you guys get this, you guys get this. Take that down. He's got a nice little choke point where I'm having trouble, like, getting in there. Yeah, what do we want to do here? You take that, you take that. And have we done any effective villager harass? Not really. Uh, what is your gold a minute with all these relics? I mean, I'm mining too, so it's 1.6k, which is obviously great. But, um, yeah, so we need to gather up here. And the bombard should be arriving soon. Yeah, we got even more of those. Outstanding. And then we can get the, uh, the big nasty, big, big nastiness there. All right, let's move in. Take down this keep. Um, these bombards could get dumped on. We're going to kind of keep some troopers back this time to protect them. Let's do that. These rams uh, still being poked and harried by the Janissaries. Okay, so keep those pot shots going. It's only a matter of time before we break his back. It's gonna, it's gonna, you know, take a minute, but we will get there eventually. All right, so let's let the Rams just kind of keep clearing all this shit out. Looks like villagers are retreating back into the city. Um, nice, great bombard play. He's on my keep here, and uh, let's pull some of these bills and go repair that if possible, and take our bombardos and uh, move in and target this. And um, and actually, yes and yes. All right. You guys got for that. Let's get some Imperial Guard, some Imperial Chads. Even though they're not good against Janissaries, we have to send a message to my opponent that we're not to be trifled with. Are you ready to watch all these Janissaries get wrecked with my cannons at them? Because that sure as hell is what's going to happen here. All right, so you guys keep clearing. And um, in the meantime, let's set some walls here to make sure I don't get flanked again. Um, he's coming for the flank, so let's get these guys back. We have a couple spears to protect them this time, but not before we do some pretty lethal damage. 
Okay. Let's move you guys down. Pull you guys up. Imperial Guard are coming, and we do get the wall, and all this infrastructure here is being cleared. How's this looking here? Good, good. Okay, now we have six of these disgusting bombards. No idea how the fighting's going elsewhere. I like that you can, like, kind of patch enemy walls now. Um, you know, to give you some agency there. Uh, do all civs have the same, like, late-game gold capabilities? Absolutely not. Some are way better than others, obviously. Um, and, like, for example, my civ would have no way to get it. In well, I mean, you have the tax collector system, which is something, but it's not that much. Oh, he even had water and deep-sea fishing. Okay, so he had the potential here to be pretty, pretty sauced. All right, let's gather up our doom stack. He's not going to be able to, like, that keep's going to get knocked down in, like, 10 seconds. Um, do we have any Shaolin monks here? Let's get a couple of those bad boys to try and grab some relics. Okay. So let's set up some towers, towers, towers. We see some horsemen running out. Let's uh, gap them down if we can. Okay, let's pull you back. And let's wall this. Yes, yes. We're going to wall that to keep his reinforcements out. Okay, so now the Dread Legion of, of OP Bombards will move up. I need to know your passive uh, with all the rest because it's pretty serious. Our passive our passive income is, is probably pretty fat. This is what a lot of money can do. This, this amount of relics can lead to this. He's going to flank me soon in a second, but I'll, I'll be ready to defend it this time. He's going to kind of keep moving through, and uh, yeah, we did get him walled out there too. Yeah, Zhushis is just stupidly OP. I feel bad even playing him. Um, at least in late game, like the their this is this is in one v one. I don't know what their their record their ranking is now. I don't mind even playing as much in one v one, but FFA it feels pretty scary. All right, so the Janissaries are fleeing. Um, he's coming in for the flank, but this is what we were expecting. So let's do this and this. Now we just start blasting these guys into the shadow realm. Oh my god. Yeah, he's gonna get maybe like a couple of them. It won't be too many. We're gonna flatten that army for sure. Let's get some rams. Oh, I don't know why I just made a bunch of trebuchets. Don't ask questions. Um, do you have any resources laying around? We do. Some stone. Yeah, I, he didn't. I don't think he got any of those. All right, Shaolin monks are on the way up. Um, we have the Seagate Castle, the twins, the Sultani, and also a dock. Yeah, I believe. Oh, we can't repair that, can we? GG. Well played, Ben. GG. Okay, there's a dock there, so yeah, we're fine. I don't like when people say GG to me, like, because then I have to respond and they know I'm the one who killed them. It gives, like, a ton of information to everyone. But now they know that I'm just, like, kind of demolishing up here. Okay. Take that and then run it back down here. And, uh, cool. So, yeah, let's uh, knock down these walls here. Now what we can do is we can set up some trade here, um, like so, and do some trade up with this dock here. Yeah, Zhushis is very strong. I, I think they're, in 1v1, I, I, I couldn't comment on how crazy they are after the changes, but Joan of Arc is the one that still feels really bad. Like, they need to nerf Joan of Arc more. She's just, she's just stupid, how easy it is to play her. I think I have like an 80% win rate with the games I played Joan. I don't even know how to play her. Um, all right. So how are we looking around here? Yes. Um, so we got all that. We have some walls of sorts. Ben made the mistake of playing auto wall being next to... Uh, you know. I would have attacked any Civ there. So, wow. There's not that many people left. Doc's in the corner. Dark Hunter Ezra. We have uh, plenty of stone. Our passive stone income is very good. These are coming up. Um, that's a decent little route. It's going to be pretty respectable, I feel. And we got Imperial Guard, um, Yuan Raiders. This needs to be walled, perhaps. We gotta like reevaluate how our nation is gonna be walled here. All right, so that looks fine. Let's go build some towers here to kind of keep tabs on things. Hmm. Jushi is considered stronger in one v one than Jean. Really? Is that that is that like at a professional level, or is this like uh, it's just because the latter data would suggest suggest otherwise? Like, Joan still has a higher win rate in 1v1. But yeah, I can see how at, like, a pro level, maybe that's a variable, right? Um, all right, so we need to get another tax official. Looks like I lost one of them at one point here. Um, sure, could come into play. We're still lumberjacking over here pretty well. And how's the rest of the table doing? So Butter and Wookie are both still alive. So I think we just kind of chill out, honestly. I think this is where we, like, rest our hands for a while. I would disagree. I would say Joan is stronger, but I don't know. If you have some data to back that up, you know, I would I would happily change my mind. Um, all right. So how are we looking here? Trade. 
Um, not super insulated here. Probably a little villager. A little wall here would be nice. Okay. There's a janky wooden palisade. Okay, so let's knock down these palisades here. They're kind of obstructive. Okay, just doing a little methodical demolition. Should be good. Great. So what is this yielding? 72 a pop is pretty good. Definitely am not going to complain at all about that. You guys, in the meantime, is there any more gold nodes? Seems like there's a lot of good resources on this map for sure. Homie's going to go do this. And um, yeah, they're going to keep just plowing those down. So you, buddy, keep this going. And um, yeah, we can set that up like so. Wall that off. And that's a pretty good route. Uh, in FFA, I still think French is S tier. In 1v1, French aren't very good nowadays. I mean, it's just like, why, like Joan of Arc does kind of everything the French do, but just better. I mean, sure, French can produce villagers a little bit quicker, but like Joan's presence on the map is just so insane. I know that pros don't feel like JD is good against other pros. Interesting. I'd, I'd have to watch some of that. I'm a little bit out of touch with the current like high, super high level gameplay. I mean, I cast replays from like Conqueror 1 through 3 um, every now and then, but... Yeah, I, I'd be curious to see. All right, let's get you over there. Go collect some taxes. And um, we need to go ahead and get our tax official back. Shaolin monks are chilling out. And we got another relic now. So now we're up to eight relics. And we're... Oh, who's this? The old Wookiee, huh? I don't like that at all. He destroyed the dock. Surprise. How did he even know about that? He just like rolled in here and was just like, Hey, man. What's up? Okay, so yeah, he just rolled in and destroyed a bunch of stuff. It looks like he found a breach here. So let's get our traders, which we only had four at this point. Um, we could take our mobility over there and go chase them out, but it looks like he's leaving, so. Did he scout that I was trading, or maybe just good instincts? Huh, I didn't notice him come in there before with anything, and he just kind of ran in. Yeah, it looks like he's just torching down old docks and stuff. All right, let's get rid of this. Looking okay, fine. We don't even need it, though. Like, the Tithe Barn's presence we have is pretty freaking nuts. All right, so that's going to get walled, and hopefully we can, you know, finish this wall off here. And uh, set up a gatehouse here. You guys are chopping lumber. Looking good. And now we're hanging out. Yeah, maybe he's going to come around here. I'm not sure. I believe we have our haggard gates. Um, these are Japanese horsemen. Okay. So he's, is he coming back this way? I don't think he's able to get through that. Yeah, I don't think he's able to, and we do get the wall off there. Okay. Yeah, it looks like all those were destroyed. So that free trade is gone, and we still have this one, which we can definitely do. It's it's this this trade here is very easy. Um, so let's go go ahead back here and set these up. Okay, so we'll just change up our trade modalities, and we'll be fine. Can he really get through there? Are you serious? Okay, no, he can't. I was gonna I was gonna feel pretty bad. Oh yeah, he's gonna charge through there. So let's get our army here, move north. Go help out against the horsemen, because, yeah, we're just, like, patching up the walls. Not that it's, like, super important. We don't even, like, own that territory, but, yeah, it's, it's all good. The Olive Bro in the south is nearby. Um, why am I building a second one of these? Okay, so it looks like those villagers are going to get butchered. And um, we're going to need to call some more up north. I don't even know where he is on the map. This guy is Japanese villagers over there. I see them. And uh, our Imperial Guard should plow through them pretty easily. Yeah, you can see he's going to start taking some L's for sure. Pretty much lost the whole Horseman army in a matter of seconds. Okay, so let's set up more trade here. In the old Malian lands. And he's probably pretty jolly thinking that I'm completely defunct of trade, but I mean, I literally have one right in front of my base. So it's all good, but I still want to seal that. I don't like that area being like open like that. Just, it's another angle with which my opponents can come and, and, and troll me here. Okay, I, uh, I give up peace, says Butters. Butters playing Japan, so clearly some sort of a civil war is going on somewhere. Okay, so let's get the trade. We can go back here. So get trade, set it up back here, and then they can just come right out to the front here. And we'll see what that route looks like. It's not going to be amazing, but it's probably still better than nothing, no. I would suspect. Oh, it looks like the, Olive, the Lord of the Olive Garden is, is uh, bullying somebody right now. Wookie was next to Ben, said he could hear you attacking. That's pretty funny. Um, all right. So wall's going to be set up. We got our little keep there, which is cute. No more free trade. That was a nice trade route that we had there, but sadly it's going to be defunct. Looks like we have double China on our borders. I like it. Appealing to the to the OP nature of our civs. It's respectful. Um, let's go ahead and supervise this. Um, that's being supervised as well. Can honestly just have you start collecting taxes. 
And uh, what kind of a route is this going to be? 38? Ugh, that sucks. Is there any way we could get that a little bit better? I mean, I think I could fit one back here, which would probably bump it up to like the 40s or something, but yeah. Not super good. We've kind of lumberjacked a bit of an interesting alcove for a wonder here, too. Which is cool. Maybe if we can like focus on that a little bit more. You guys head over here. Go help with that. Why are you standing around? Go collect taxes. There's plenty of taxes to be collected, homies. There's plenty. Olive Garden and I are... Um, am I going to build... No, no. Building a wonder now would be suicide. Um, one, two, three, four. Four, very, four v one is like very hard to do. Like, And they're all, I would imagine, in good shape, so... I don't even know like, why I keep building this, Spearman. Yeah, it's weird. All right, so this region should be sealed off. No good trade there. There is this, um, which I'm going to go scout right now and see who's trading there. I, I suspect it's going to be Ezra up on the top. Yeah, uh, I'm sure myself or the other Chinese player are able to wonder right now. It's just, it's just a question of if it's a good idea or not. But yeah, this is still 40. 40 a pop. Um, let's get you guys come back here and then do this. Get all of our traders set up, and we can set them up on that new market. And we're going to go run up here and see what this trade post looks like. Just kind of exploring. Okay, so these are Ezra's walls. Looks like he walled in the player here. Okay. Looking good. Looks like we got some big layers of walls here. We're going to go decap that. And, um, all right. Yeah, sure. Let's just torch down this infrastructure here. Not a huge deal if we lose a couple units. And, all right, so you're on gold. Supervise this. And you, buddy, are just off in the tax shadow realm. Let's have you come up here and uh, supervise that if we can. Trying to knock some of this down. And we are getting a little bit of trade. Not amazing. But the Chinese keep here will fall. Um, all right, so Olive Master is down in the south. Don't know when, if, if and when Olive Master is going to attack. I don't know. Scouting the entire map is, at this point, easier said than done. There's going to be walls and palisades everywhere. But I'm, that's the purpose of this cav army I'm throwing away here, is to do a little bit of scouting. Imperial Chad's able to get the job done. No surprises. Let's decap the sacred site. Try and take money away and, and go see what, you know, else is going on in the map here. Alright, so clearly a lot of walls. Um, we see a town center from China and a couple monks idle. Looks like there is mortal combat going on over there. Did I see explosions or was that just the rebel? Okay, I wish I could get a little bit closer. Uh, can I see the trade over there? Not quite. Okay. Um, we do have the enclave of the emperor if we want to at any point. Got the decap here. And uh, we got 28,000 gold. Yeah, like we can't quite get past this part of the map. How goes the map fighting? Who fights who? So now we're going to fish for information, see what freebies we can get. Meanwhile, we're trading for 40, which um, should be a little bit higher if we can get this. Okay, let's see what that's going to turn into. 43. All right, it's something. Ezra, moving in. We'll send another guy over there. Wouldn't you like to know, says Wookie. I oh, know. I would, Wookie. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> Looks like the Byzantines and the Japanese are fighting here. Um, our knight is going to go and shut that down. I'm sure Ezra is the tyrant, I would suspect. We're going to go, like, see. Yeah, so Yellow's Empire is over here. That's Butters. The Lord of the Olives is too much garden for me. I know the Byzantines' late game is no, not a joke. So I don't know if uh, he wants to fight me here. I'd rather not be dragged into an open conflict. I'm feeling pretty content. Just kind of chilling out here. Um, all right, supervise that. And he moves out with his cannons. I wonder if anybody's fighting. Um, I'd wager you fight China. See, this is the advantage you get by killing two neighbors early. Is like I've taken care of my opponents, whereas their lack of aggression means they're still fighting at this point in the game, and I can just sit and bank resources. However, um, you know, being ahead isn't always the best. Uh, would that be a deeper set trade post? Yeah, we got our army here. Right now, we're definitely a tyrant now. I, I'll accept that. Um, need to get our horsemen upgraded. Siege engineering isn't bad. Uni, we got all the upgrades. Textiles, why the hell not? I'm going to be fighting China. It just depends on what flavor. Yeah, it's up to you, man. It's up to you. We will see how this goes. Keep seeing pretty good defensive structures. Yeah, they, they're great. 
Juicy is always tempting. I have no idea how strong as is. I have zero information on that. All right. So how's this trade looking? 43 a pop. Yeah, that's all right. Our passive gold is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Yeah, if I kill Ezra, it'll make the wonder that much easier. So here's my school of thought here, right? So if I move off and I do manage to beat Ezra, it's going to drain probably 80% of my resources. And then I have Byzantines and um, Japan coming at me from two sides after that. Because they'll know I'm... If I beat Ezra, they'll know I'm strong enough to win the game. Um, so yeah, it's it's very scary. So somebody's going to slap down a wonder right now. I don't mind. I'm, I'm enjoying. Let's go. Let's go sit together at the Meditation Gardens. Dude, this landmark is so good. It generates 60 gold a minute. It's like basically like a relic. Um... I don't know what he thinks is up there. It's kind of funny. All right, let's just get like a gatehouse here. There is nothing up there, Wookie. You can have it. Because I have the relics, right? So I'm good on resources. Is he coming down to fight? Yeah, he's, he's moving with rams and just killing like random towers and stuff. I'm going to defend my keep though, for sure. If he wants, if he wants to troll me there. He's moving with rams. The keep and cannon towers are on the way. I could go fight the old Wookiee. I don't know how that fight's going to go. Um, all right, let's finish the gatehouse. Keeps are getting pushed back. But if those rams keep moving south, then, um, yeah, I'm going to come up and fight them. The old Wookiee kind of acts like he wants blood. I don't know if I could beat him. I mean, his army's just spearmen and samurai, so for sure. But yeah, I don't want him to just get all these towers I, in, I invested in for free, right? All right, so let's go get these. Okay, that's too far south. Now you're at my base. So this is where we definitely like to consider getting aggressive with him. And I mean, I don't know if he's trying to kite me with these or something. It's, I don't know, it's some weird shit. All right, so bombard cannons have done their job, and now we probably would need to call some bills up to build infrastructure. Wookie's clearly up here, and um, yeah, he lured these guys, I guess, over there. They're just gonna die though. All those nice juicy units. Shall we uh, end this madness and go for um, China? Okay, we might have a battle with the old Wookie here. So as far as this goes. Let's go ahead and seal these walls once again. Um, although, yeah, we cleared those off. How are we looking on the south? Okay, a couple horsemen pushing. Um, yeah, I don't have that many villagers here. I feel like my eco in general kind of sucks now. Probably have lost a lot of villagers over the course of this game. All right. Yes, let's get you guys going. Our eco's at 104. Um, we can set up towers. I need to do a little bit of scouting here. And just go see where he is. I don't even know where this man is. It would appear there's water there. So is he just like cackling in the top of the map? You know, I, I have no idea. I feel like the trade is kind of shit. Like it's, I guess it's 43. Yeah, Japan's trying to make some towers here. They're memeing about. Japan late game is, is top tier too. It's very good. Okay, so he's got like a little lumber mill here. He's got his horseman legions. Okay, so let's gather you guys up. These Imperial Guard will definitely beat the, beat the brakes off these guys. Yeah, they'll, they'll dominate that fight. And then we need to get some um, some of these bills. I don't know, where do I pull from? I kind of want to keep that food count up because it seems like it's going, but it really, um, it can it can go very quickly here. So we can just do a, um, a shitty supply line and test the waters. And if I need to do more better supply lines, I will. We're going to move up into the old Wookiee's base and try and take him down. I don't know how rich he is, but it seems like he does have access to water here. It's pretty substantial. Set up a keep here. And then we can set up a bunch of stables. Alright. Cool. So we've gathered at the Japanese base. So we're going to pull them back here into our, our Dread Bombard Legion. And we're going to try and take him down. I mean, he's making mostly spears, which makes me think he's pretty poor at the moment. Yeah, so probably should switch out the stable tech for um, Rax tech. Okay. He's gathering his Yari legions, his elite spearmen of the gods. So Palace Guard would obviously be the ideal choice here. His spearmen do like nothing against them. Okay, ready for AoE OP cannons? Oh, that's so dirty. Yeah, Zhugnu would also be very good. 
He's trying to dive around the side, but yeah, he's not going to have too much success. I can just screen him. All right. All right, let's move you guys up and do this. And now we can start spamming you guys out. Change up our production infrastructure. He's switching into horsemen, which is smart. So we need to pull back a little bit. So let's pull our cannons back. And you guys need to retreat. Oh, sloppy micro on my part. It's going to cost me a handful of bombard cannons. Although the reinforcements should be arriving soon. So maybe maybe I won't lose too many. All right, let's fight in the choke point where it's less bad. And see what we can salvage. We just need to get supply lines here before we push. And um, Kirk, perfect. All right, let's get another keep here. With Tithe Barns, we're pretty happy uh, in regards to uh, most of our tech here. Okay, so yeah, we need we need forward supply lines. He's macroing well, so we need we're gonna not be able to send just from the base here. We are farming a hell of a lot of his units, though. Those guys are getting getting the dirty. They're getting it. Yeah, like I, we barely lost any bombards to that huge dive there. All right, so let's gather up under the under the business. Let's gather, gather here, gather, gather. Now um, we probably need to delete some eco, so let's uh, take this opportunity to delete those. And bombards pull back. We got the keeps coming up. We lose one, no problem. And now we just get ready to party. All right, so what do we want to make? Imperial Guard, yeah, Imperial Guard will be great. Let's retreat. And these bombards need to just knock down these stupid walls because they're just like totally obstructing my line of sight here. Here they come, maybe. Ezra says respect my wood, so clearly there's some funny business going on over there. We're making room for the push. Okay, so now let's uh, slap these down. And we'll uh, we'll try and get real aggressive here. We'll see how it goes. The dreaded Wookiee counterattack, I know. His army is literally all wood, so it'll it'll fold here after like 50 minutes, probably. Japan can hold for a while. They're very good defensive defensive civ. All right, so let's get you guys thumping. Here we go. Kill the horseman. Shoot in there. And um, now we get palace guards swarming here. We get a couple of you guys back to protect cannons. Just run on top of them, and there we go. All right, we'll see what we can do. Thing is, we can afford to blunder and let, like lose some things here. All right, so seven and five and five. Okay. Yeah, looking pretty rough for the old boys for sure. Um, let's get a couple siege workshops here. Okay. Do this. Yeah, Japan's done. A, they're gonna run out of resources. Jug New are actually the ideal span span here because they they will wreck like all these type of units like horsemen. And, well, not horsemen per se, but yeah, Japan's just sending out wood units. I wonder what he was doing before this. Okay, that should be good. Let's keep it going. Just run him out of food. The trades are going to be horrible for him. Yeah, Japan rushed. Uh, Castle rushed to get a couple of... Or no, yeah, yeah, it's very good. I mean, Japan is guaranteed like four relics, basically. Which is very, very strong. And now we can start on the siege workshops here in a minute. Um, we can mix in some nest of bees if we want to, just to like really mow things down with the bump parts. <laughs> Honestly, doing just so much damage. Um, we'll pull Vill soon too. We're at 105. Okay, so our eco is relatively well balanced. Let's get a couple of these guys. Shoot to the archers and shoot to the archers. Yep, that should do them in pretty dirty. And nest the bees are on the way. These guys are on the way too. Yeah, and now they're trying to run back, but those those bombardos do so much damage, man. I don't know how long he's going to be able to endure this for, man. It's uh, it's going to be a it's going to be a rough one. We're going to even drop more keeps to really, really augment the pressure, make it hard for him to push out. Um, we don't have anything coming from the base. We need to get some stables, too. All right, so you guys do this. Let's uh, set this up here. Switch to that and keep watching the fight. Oh, nice little spring alts. Nice, very cool. I like that. Mad respect. Okay, so that should go down here. Jug Nu are doing good with the palace guards, and you guys do this. And did we not finish that spring alt? We didn't. Okay, so let's repair these cannons. Repair, repair, repair. Bombardos, yes please. Japan is slowly losing ground. Slowly. Japan is one of the most like Helm's DP type civs in the game, so it's not gonna be easy. Alright, let's uh, get that. And um, we can set up a little cute tower here. Although, I think coming back and setting up stables first would probably be a better call. Yeah, just so we can spam out the, uh, the Imperial Guard. I just have to hope that I don't get like hit by anybody else right now. That would be that would be pretty problematic. But they have Ezra to deal with. Ezra is a tyrant too, so 
it's good that I'm not the only tyrant here. All right, so progress is happening. I mean, Japan's going to run out of resources here soon, for sure. I mean, these units are just trading so inefficiently. Yeah, Great Bombard Zio better AoE, correct. All right. Bajillion Bombardos, yeah, well. Okay. Let's just start hammering into the Archer lines, push them back, do this, and then we can kind of keep creeping up towers like so. Looks like he's got a Spring all of the Gods over there, so let's uh, go ahead and pop that. Pull you guys this way, you guys this way. He's got a lot of food, though, for sure. Oh, we stopped producing for a second. That's actually going to give him some momentum. That sucks. All right. Dude, he's just spam. He's got so much to spam. It's pretty nuts. <laughs> the Japan Zerg is real. All right. So, yeah, Rams are coming. But we're going to have the uh, Power Horsemen here now, the Imperial Chads. Should be okay. Let's pull you guys back. We need to keep these cannons alive. He's, he's got bodies to throw at it. We'll see how long it lasts, though, for sure. Okay. Once again, these guys are getting hammered. That's a lot of wood being invested there. Pull you guys here. Focus all these. And um, we might need to delete some eco to fully crush him. Yeah, but this is, this is going to be... Gotta be taxing his food. Although he is Japan. Japan has a crazy good food economy. Um, so, man, that could be part of it. Alright, so let's get you guys do this. Focus the archers here. You guys move up. Maybe we can save that keep. Maybe. I don't know. Just waves and waves. It's like a horde survival challenge from old Gears of War. You guys remember that? Alright, let's keep moving up. Keep shooting, and we gotta make sure I just don't like lapse in production like I was like before. Cause that's how they get you. Okay, guys. I'm taxing his Woody, Woody Go. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Horseman coming. Japan does have a uh, good wood, though. They can. I believe the nest of bees. Yeah, there's still another one over there. Shooting with those archers, too. And um, the rams. I mean, the fact that we're worrying about them. They are distracting us a little bit, so that's pretty well played. Uh, we got the bills here, so let's grab them, and we can do a little cheeky, like, wall-off here to prevent this, like, haggard horse rating on the side. Um, for the most part, though, we should be able to intercept it and deal with it. Spears. Got to make sure we're still queuing. Let's get some Yuan Riders. And uh, then we wall this to prevent flanks. And if we can just force this into, like, a lane battle... What do they call those things? That, like, game genre where you just, like, spam units in a lane? It's like an auto auto chest or something, I think is what it's called. Yeah. Anyways, let's get these archers. Get these archers here. Yeah, we'll get them eventually. It's going to take some time. Japan is very resilient, so. But we're getting closer and closer. We've, we've made this into more of a lane fight, so let's uh, go ahead and do that. Yes. Let the evil artillery feast. Yes. Yes. Good Anakin. Does he have any keeps or anything? Looks like he's got a couple back there. All right, let's move you guys up. Do this, 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 and this. So boom, 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 boom. All right, we'll try and take those down if we can. So the villagers have done it. And um, the Imperial Chad's still grinding away. Yeah, well, Tower Defense MOBA. Yeah, I'm thinking of like a specific kind of subgenre, though, you know? Okay, he's diving these bombards. Well played. He's going to get one of them for his efforts. And um, let's get more of these. How's our eco? Eh, it's pretty decent. Okay, I think the numbers are starting to finally diminish a little bit. Tithe Barnes is OP and just lets us do whatever we want here. Shoot in there. Trying to stop this tower. The, the MLG micro from the Wookiee. Oh, but all those archers are going to get wrecked for it. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, he's mixing in some rams now. I like it. They're not coming from this side, though, anymore. Okay, so we're making progress. Let's hammer these down, these down, and these down. We're getting into the base. It's it's a grind. It's a it's a hell of a hell of a grind for sure. Okay, let's get that. Repair this. The OP Chinese uh, cannons are still doing great. So we need to get these damn towers offline if we can. And um, what I need to do, and yeah, unfortunately I did lose those bills. So let's grab um, these villagers here. Send them up to the front. I'm gonna need more bills to really like press this. Unfortunately, that ram is, is cackling a little bit too hard. Man, this man has a lot of a lot of food and wood. <laughs> That's one thing he is not in short supply of. All right, so let's make some imperial chads. 
And the Bombards keep shooting into the Archers. Just kind of kill those like tightly packed uh, formations of units. And um, what did I want to do? That's right, I wanted to wood this off. Or wanted to see if I could get like a little wall off there. Alright. The units lost must be pretty nuts on this on this uh, this old battle here. Okay, we didn't quite get the wall off of the gods there. You know, it didn't happen. Okay, here come the horsemen. Let's pull you guys back. Um, is there any spring ults? Oh, he's making cannons. Okay, so he did have some gold stashed away in his little nest egg there. He was just being cautious with it. Yeah, it's like a legion tower defense. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, like old school Warcraft 3 um, kind of business. Okay, spring ults coming out. We need villagers to repair our existing cannons. Yeah. Oh my god. Give me the Yuan Riders and the Palace Guard. Give them to me, Precious. Okay, so focus those. Uh, you guys focus that. And um, cool. So yeah, you just lost like all those springs. All those springs for uh, not too much gain, hopefully. Go, my Zhugnu. All right, yeah, we just got all of his artillery here. Let's uh, thump that cannon down. Think of that. Yeah, that was brutal. That was brutal. All right, nest the bees on the right targets. And um, when those villagers arrive, we should be cackling pretty good. We have even have an official up here. Oh, you can go supervise that. Let's go, baby. Yeah, the big supervised place. All right, so bombard. Let's get that. Okay, where are those bills at? Here they are. So we need to wall this like side point somehow. Keep him from just getting in there. Okay, so you guys can go ahead and shoot down this and this and this. Start like trying to progressively wear things down. Did we get the wall off there? Not quite. Okay. Spears. How are we looking? Okay, so those are being knocked down. Soon, if we can knock down this wall portion here, then we can do a little bit of um, counter raiding. Then we can start pushing in and. Oops, those are knights. We don't need those when we have Imperial Chads, right? Okay, so yeah, these horsemen are being kind of held in the choke point here. He does have a bombard, so let's grab you guys and do this. Shoot that. And let's get you guys run up into the base and see if we can go do some farm raiding. We're going to try and do some run-bys here, because it's kind of troll. Yeah, just like grinding, like, food ego. Okay, Zutsu. Interesting. Okay. So doing the run-by, we're going to see how it works out. Let's pull you guys back, get you behind the artillery. Red, please. Oh, wow, there's some serious fighting going on. We need to see what his base looks like. Japan definitely can sustain here. Okay, let's get you guys in there. Reset our formations a little bit, and um, Springald's trying to make their way through. The old Wookiee will fall eventually, but it's gonna it's gonna depend on uh, the timing here. Yeah, I don't think there's any like funny business going on in my base. Okay, yeah, wow, he's got keeps all over the place too. Okay, he's gonna keep producing. Hopefully, he's gonna run out soon. I don't know if that's gonna be the case. Um, let's just lumberjack safely over here. Yeah, we could do a little bit of ram split pushing, maybe. All right, so the bills are nearby. Yeah, respect to the Wookiee, dude. He's always a beast. He's a beast in all of our FFAs. All right, let's get the spring alts. Get the spring alts and get the spring alts here. And um, Imperial Chads, let's keep them going. Okay, we almost have this cleared out. So if I can get that cleared out and seal that breach, it's gonna force us into like a head-on fight, which is gonna be really nice. Okay, a couple springs here and here. Dive that, and um, then we get that spring alt and that spring alt here. So let's get this one. And you guys can just go fight over here. Yeah, we got another spring alt. So he does have gold. He's just not like super gold up, gold wealthy. Oh shit! I, I totally idled on uh, production there for a minute. That's gonna cost us a little bit of ground. So we need to regroup here. Did we get the wall off? Not quite. Unfortunately, our own guys are blocking it, and we need to regroup here. Yeah, our resources aren't really like dropping though. Like, we're maintaining a status quo. And I, I suspect he's got to be hurting pretty bad. Okay, we got that wall off in, which is great. Um, we'll keep villagers producing here. Got to do this and do that. And do we have any officials nearby? We do. All right, so let's get round two going, baby. Let's have some fun. Let's go see what's back here. Uh, he's got a lot of spears still. The Imperial Chads should be pretty mean. Okay, do this. Probably mix in some Grenadiers. And we just keep fighting. Yeah, hopefully we run him out of steam. I wish there was like some sort of metric of data we could see where we could see like how the trade was actually going. Okay, so you need to go back down here, buddy, and just go supervise something else. 25,000 gold though. I mean, I guess it was good. a good thing I kept that trade going. He's rebuilding his old walls. Um, we could do some naval like trolling there, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, spring are great. 
It, it, it's, a, it's a certified you know, classic unit here. These archers are really, really paying the troll toll, though, man. Did we get that side walled off yet? Not quite. Okay. Yeah, so he's got some gold, but he's just using it a little bit more sparsely. Okay, palace guard chads keep coming. Let's get these bombards and shoot right into the center mass of that archer unit. That's going to just plow them with the AoEs that we do. So you'll see them. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so gross, dude. These things are so gross. Okay, Imperial Guard. Honestly, I should just probably spam like the Imperial Guard cavalry. They seem so good. Man, Homie must have had a big tank. Like a big gas tank here. Okay, looking good. Progress is happening. How's the rally point? It's a bad rally point. Gotta love it. Keeping our wood economy going, which is good. These bombards uh, clearly can't quite see what's in front of them here. So some ugliness. Have you guys knocked down this wall and this wall? Make a little bit of room, and the Imperial Chads are still on the way. Springald's, uh, unfortunately, a little bit unfortunate pathing for them. Just going to be dying before they... Maybe we'll get one Bombard for their costs. Oh, yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so now we start knocking down infrastructure a little bit and trying to, like, slowly clear space. I do see the Springald's there. They mix in really well. It's, like, very, very easy to miss them. All right, so that's good. And it seems that as long as I don't slip on my macro here, we should be able to get the kill. We'll set up some towers here to try and be a little bit obnoxious. Keep knocking down buildings. Okay, do that. Good, good. So now infrastructure is starting to fall. Let's uh, knock these down, these walls here. Whoa, just shoot this wall. There you go. All right. Yuan Riders and Zhugnu and Grenades. Oh my god, he's got like a million banked Ozutsu there. Are you guys seeing that shit? Look at those guys back there. All right. Let's shoot into the center mass of those bad boys. Oh, the AoE damage is pretty legit. Okay, Keeps is getting hammered. And we have a lot of units coming in. Ozutsu had pulled back. Yeah, he had money. Okay, he was just he was just being playing possum. Well, granted, Ozutsu are a free unit, but we're going to get a keep here. Okay, we got the keep, which is great. Japan's keeps are a little bit more expensive, so that's always welcome. Let's turn around and fight again. Ozutsu are an uh, interesting unit. They have good DPS. But certainly are better against buildings and those sort of things, right? Let's do this. Keep moving up. And the methodical demolition continues. All right, let's blast into you guys. And you guys come over here and hit this. Keep you guys fighting away. Palace guards moving. Got some haggard towers going. Um, we can move up here and start, like, trying to pop down a little something something. Shoot into that center mass there. Shoot into that center mass. What the hell is this? Are you guys seeing this animation on this shit? What is this? It's like the jankiest looking thing. Okay, this is really turning into a very sweaty grind, for sure. Very sweaty. Um, he has those Zutsu, so there's not too much of a point to build um, certain building types. Yeah, it's just like bad news bears. All right, so let's pull you guys back. Let you guys keep fighting. The Yuan Riders, giving it their all. The Tanagashima Gunsmith, showing why it's one of the best landmarks in the game. All in due time, baby. All in due time. That is uh, 29 Ozutsu. Jesus. I believe they still have their ranged armor. I think it's the um, the other type that they're having problems with. But yeah, we're making slow progress, but slow is like the huge keyword there. This is very, very grinding. Very grinding. Uh, he's got some spring alds mixed in, so we need to get these guys around the corner. So we can't like hit them as quite as easy. Yeah, they're having some pathing issues here. All right. How are we looking? Towers? Sure, why not? And um, we want to just spam out, like, yeah, probably Bombards, obviously, is going to be our best friend here. Getting onto those spring Springalds back there, i got to, like, zoom in to see them. It's kind of tough. Okay, there they go. Big thumping shots. Uh, where the hell are the spring Springalds? There it is. God, they, like, blend in, dude. The secret agent spring Springalds. And then get that and that. All right. So, Jugnu and um, the Imperial Chads are coming. We need to get more of you guys. We did get all of his artillery just about there. Just got to get that last one. All right, great. So now we pull you guys back and keep getting these cannon towers coming. Ozutsi might be able to kill them, but if they can't quite reach, then, you know, it's still a distraction of sorts. Jugnu. And um, let's start getting some rams in. I think that's going to be good. We have enough wood. All right. If we can kill Wookiee, we secure the cross-map trade, which would be very, very, very powerful. Okay, the numbers are getting a little bit lower of the fancy units. Let's get you on this. And you guys can go ahead and pop here. 
Holy shit, look at all the hand cannoneers. Oh, he was holding out on us, dude. He was playing playing like he was poor the whole time, but homie was is not poor right now, at least. Um, all right, let's so go make some towers here. Keep these guys going. He's got his own bombards there, so we need to do a little bit of friendly sniping. Those archers are running. Let's jump here. Keep the bills back, and um, yeah, we're we're getting there. It's it's an ugly fight. Okay, so let's get you guys right to the center mass. You guys need to shoot to the center mass of those hand cannoneers. Horsemen and Yuan Riders and Zhugnu. Outstanding. Let's come up to the north. Start bopping some of this terrain on the head. Yuvils, go set up towers here. We'll definitely screw up aggro. Okay, that's a risky play from him because my cannons hit so hard, they're just going to annihilate you even if you're on the walls. It's not going to save you. Okay, he's starting to hemorrhage resources. Okay, I think we finally got this Dreadmaster on the back foot. This is like the first time we've made progress in a long time. Let's pull you guys back in. Let's make sure not to overextend. And um, yeah, just keep farming them. Keep farming them here. All right, did we get that? Oh, come on, finish it. For the love of the gods. There we go. All right. Yeah, he's going to get quite a bit of value on my cannons here, unfortunately, because I was sloppy on my positioning, but let's go ahead and clean him up. Vils can repair, so anything that lives can be repaired. Uh, can we repair that? Can't quite click over his, like, little spear unit. And that's troll. Well, all good in the neighborhood. We've got rams coming in now, so the dew host is upon us. Let's get some grenadiers. Um, overall, we lost, like, one bombard there, so that's great. Okay, uh, so let's do this. And then you guys can start knocking these down. These villagers can go ahead and repair. So repair, repair, repair. He says your food income has to be insane, bro. It's good. All right. So we finally broke in the back here. Yeah, cannons just keep moving up. And um, we've repaired most of them, I think. So we're going to keep doing this. Farming the units as they come out. And um, rams are pushing through. Yeah, the other side is fighting um, pretty hard. I'm at 5k. I'm in. And started, I'm out now, yeah. 2.7k for me. So your units just traded worse. That's what I, t I was talking about. Like, it was, a lot of it was just, like, my armies were crushing his armies rapid fire. Um, which was there. I thought, well. So, we're gonna move down this way, and, um, keep moving across. Now we are, oh my god, look at this beautifully symmetrical farm here. That's, that's a, that's truly a masterpiece. Okay, so let's do this. Yeah, cannons are still moving through everything. We're gonna keep setting up infrastructure in his lands and um, keep getting some Imperial Chads. Because why the hell not? Okay, let's get that to keep here and get this. We need to knock down that gunsmith, actually. That thing's like a huge pain in the ass. All right, some more towers. Yes, please. We're getting there. You need to get more Zhugnu, more hand grenades, all that sort of good stuff. You could get a nice horseman dive on us here. He's, yeah, he's running out of food. I know, he, this, this man would, if there, this was an aesthetics contest and we were just talking about how good bases look, he would for sure have a good chance of winning. All right, so yeah, Bombard's unfortunately getting dove by horsemen, but we can make some more of them because we are just filthy rich. Although our gold is kind of diminishing a little bit, but it's a good thing we won this fight when we did. If he was able to like last a little bit longer, I could have started to run into some problems. So let's get that gunsmith down. That's how he's making those damn Ozutsu. And um, what we can do here is we can wall this if we want. Um, let's set up more towers around the base. Tanagashima gunsmith is down, outstanding. So now he can't spam any more free units. And let's switch to the Yuan Riders, just to kind of save money. And he does have a Legion of Spring Alts there. Okay, so let's move, get this keep down. We'll see how this goes. Move you guys away. Yeah, we'll move them up here. Get you guys to do this. And, um... Yeah, we need to get those damn keeps down. Those things are a problem. He was able to reroute, like, a second wave. Let's get you guys into the farms now. Have you guys do a little bit of raiding. Let's go back there. You guys do this, and um, outstanding, so you guys keep occupying them. A lot of the units coming out are going to get cannon tower, and that's kind of the idea, right? It's just to be annoying that way. All right, so let's go here, and then here. Get that. Raid the farms. Start diminishing his food eco a little bit. Yeah, I mean, anybody could wonder after this. Who the hell knows? Um, Wookie seemed like he really wanted to fight, though, the way he kept posturing towards me. All right, let's get all these. 
focus those down. Keeps going down here. That's going to be great. We've gotten this. Let's get back to the farms there. Now we've caught the spring alds out in the open. Um, they will get a bombard or two, so it's definitely worth. But you know, that, like having like ten wonders or eight wonders is going to certainly get you places. All right. So the farms are being harried pretty hard. Villagers are going down left and right. Um, so we've taken down the gunsmith. That, and I don't know where his last landmark is. It's probably hidden somewhere. Oh, yeah, it's up top. Okay. So well played. Yeah, he sniped my cannons. He's spamming horsemen, and my armies are spread pretty thin. So let's just make rams to save gold at this point. I think that's going to be better. Are we looking here? Yep, knocking all those down. Good, well played. Uh, his farms are, yeah, hemorrhaging villagers here. Hemor hemorrhaging. All right, so second wave of pressure is in. Let's go ahead and um, start supply blocking him here. So we'll take down those. Um, bombards are on the way. Bombard wave number two. Okay, so his farms might have stabilized now. These cannon towers are definitely farming quite a bit. So we're going to try and supply block the man. And meanwhile, we'll bombard down to Shogun a Castle in the middle. And then we know where his last line mark is too. So we might be able to just straight up kill him. Okay, we need to actually like protect these though and not be a potato. Which is, you know, for me is pretty hard. All right, so let's get you guys. Yeah, Bombard's going to the, the Shogunate Castle here. Let's just protect them and do this. All right, we'll see how many we can keep alive under the horseman pressure. So far, so good. Yeah, the, key, the town center is getting blasted. Those things are super raid bossy, though. And inside of that, we'll get you guys over here. I don't know why they're not shooting the TC. And we got the cannon. All right, so no, we can't take the pressure off. We got to keep that pressure on. He could recover somehow, or somebody else could attack me, right? The other players are killing yellow? Why would they be killing yellow? They should definitely be going after Ezra. Ezra is just a very scary FFA player. Um, you gotta you gotta go after him. Alright, so how are we looking? Yeah, TC's going down. Then we just go for the last landmark up top. We're in the farms. Indeed. He didn't have any relics or anything. He, he, must, he did have gold, and Japan can make top tier units even without gold because they can use the um okay i don't know what's going on here Some funny um dude jesus dude your base is crazy though look how look how much stone he has he he like made like an aesthetically beautiful empire yeah that's that's wild how nice his base is yeah no crazy defenses good wonder spot we're just like casually chatting while everyone's just like massacring each other on the map. Um, all right, so that should be the end of him here. Did he repair a landmark? Oh, Korra Storehouse, okay. Okay, so let's knock that down and um, then we just chill out. Okay, so we still have a pretty good resource bank, all things considered. 100%. Um, Wookiee has fallen. GGD Wookiee. So now we just do this, and um, we do a little bit of that, and we pull some bills up here, and we need to clear some space for, um, okay, that looks fine, and then it can come down here, okay. Wow, we sure have Lumberjack out here pretty well. Let's do that. Our military is probably pretty fat, I would wager. Why are you guys killing butters? When Ezra is cackling. I am weak. Why wait, Please why are they killing kill yellow though? Why I, I, yeah, there's a little bit of funny business going on here for sure. Alright. It's a nice little nice little layer, isn't it? Oh. That's it. Oh no, that's gonna be open there. We'll fix it when the time comes. Alright, so the army. Let's get rid of the spearmen. For now, it's fine. We can certainly replace them later. No issues. Um, we need walls. Yeah, this is a little bit crappy here. How the layout went. It's been 87 years. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they're killing you. Not like... Yeah, just because he seems... Um... Okay, so let's get this. They're, they're just killing our boy Butters. Um, so the traders are having to take a very long route. So let's get our trade routes and go um, here to um, down here would be the ideal spot, obviously. The walls are going to come up, and we need to get you and you, like so, and then get you to come across and do a little bit of a, a breach shield here. 
Because now Ezra is just going to wonder, and we're going to have to kill him. I mean, I... Yeah, this is like the, the most obvious thing. I don't have the bank to defend a wonder. That's why I didn't plan for it, just if in case you were wondering. Crabs, GG. No idea why I'm going after yellow. <laughs> Ezra's just been waiting, dude. Why, why would they... Why would they go after him? Okay, well, we need to mobilize an attack force quickly. Um, we may be able to do something. Okay, so let's move you guys across. And we literally have to march from the center here. Um, which is going to be ugly. So let's head here. Alright, we'll just set up a mill. In the meantime, or excuse me, this. Move our army out here. Yeah, dude, I, I don't know what they're thinking. That's some, that's some weird decision making for sure. Uh, all right, let's get some Imperial Guard. We're just going to have to go hard in the paint. I genuinely don't know why they went after you, dude. That just seems weird. All right, it's 125, really. Shouldn't it be way better than that? Uh, the, the trade route north to south here. So Ezra was attacking yellow too. Yeah, but why? Like, why? I mean, why would they agree to team up on... Uh, like, the Byzantine player in yellow should have allied against him. Like, you saw what happens if you leave China alone. They just, uh, they're just going to cackle all over you, dude. Alright, so now we're heading over. It's going to be incredibly tough. Our eco is, is too steep at the moment, so we need to delete some. But firstly, we'll punch our way through. Yeah. We have probably zero chance. But yes, I will go mid. He, he's been preparing for this a long time, ladies and gentlemen. A long time. The counter-sacred play would probably be... I mean... Ah, uh, no. No, it's not even worth trying. Because he's already got them secured and probably entrenched because he's been preparing. But, yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Okay, so the traders. Um, we're a little bit hard in the paint on the traders. So we're going to kind of diminish those numbers. We're moving this way. Yeah, his wonder's over here. All right. Moving in. Let's take down the walls here. And the villagers have arrived, so we'll move up. We'll see when we encounter resistance. You want to like build it like as close as possible before before um, pulling the trigger here. Yeah, he's gonna have some defenders, and he's trading here. Uh, doesn't look like it's much, but we're gonna move over there and try and do a little something, something. All right, we drop a keep. Um, this is probably a good spot for us to fight. The trade is 76, so it's respectable trade. It's not quite as good as ours, but you know, it's still pretty good. All right, so let's plow through this infrastructure here and just kind of move through the center of his base. And um, we can go ahead and do a tower here. Although, yeah, those guys should take that down. Let's move through all this. And then we can do this to prevent from being flanked, I'm thinking. We'll cut off that and just keep moving through. Yes, the gatehouse needed to go. Cannons. Yeah, maybe if Olive Garden can get in there. I don't know. Ezra was preparing for a long time and nobody was threatening him at all. I... I do not know what possessed those guys to not attack Ezra, like 2v1. Like, they should have... Like, yeah, he was just the cackle master in the corner. And China, too? China can go crazy. Yeah, he's he's obviously got Artie spam. Which is very, very frightening. So there's his Barbican. Um, he's going to have his last landmark hidden in the corner. Let's repair this and just keep moving through. Um, do we want to delete... Our food eco is pretty damn fat. Let's come this way. And... Um, do we delete some food eco here? As haggard as that is, probably. Alright. So, Imperial Guard. And pushing mid. It's a it's a dense it's a dense rat's nest to get through though, guys. It's very dense. He's got a lot here. Clearly, clearly there was some mortal combat going down. Okay, so Barbican, he obviously pulled his relics back. I believed you about Ezra though. I never I never disagreed. But I was also a villain, so of course, you know, my plan was to take out the Japanese and establish a cross-map trade and try and win off that. Um, we are making a little bit of ground, but it's going to be tough. Alright, so let's knock down the walls. We need to just keep... I haven't set up my forward infrastructure yet because I don't know where I'm going to set up, but... Okay, so it looks like he's going to start responding now. So we can get our cannons and just thump these guys. What are these even? Spearmen? Okay, yeah, no problem. So we do have some decent supply lines. It's not bad. You know, the troops can get here from uh, nearby. All right, so let's cancel that keep. I thought he was going to push a little bit harder. So we need to just keep pushing up and seeing where we are going to encounter resistance. Okay. So a little bit of resistance here. A little bit. He's probably all in. 
Um, he's got the cavalry, so we're going to delete this and delete this, pull you guys back, and protect the artillery. Okay, let's go dive that nest of bees, and you guys fight here, and you guys fight here. Let's dive, see if he can get by. Looks like he's going to. So we just kind of creep under here and defend these cannons. Yeah, he's going to realize I don't have any supply lines or anything yet. Um, here's his nest of bees. Okay. Hit this, get inside there. And um, overall, he gets maybe one Bombard Cannon? Yeah, just one. Could be worse. All right. So now we're fighting. And once these are cleaned up, you know, my Bombos can definitely trade into those. The Keep is trying its best to scrap. Okay, let's move out and shoot these. Imperial Chads can go target all those. Jugnu are going after random things. You Bills need to come over here. Okay. Got his bees. Most of them, at least. Yeah, well played. He managed to get onto the Bombards. So from here, what we do is we set up our infrastructure here, because this is clearly, like, where the resistance is met. All right. So we're getting there. we got 10 minutes left. Yeah, this is going to be a, a tough, tough scrap. All right, let's go get that Bombo if we can. Mr. Bombardastic. Okay, let's go get that. No problem. Villagers, repair the keep. Come on. Okay, um, Yuan Riders, Shug Noon, Grenadiers, more Bombos are coming, we're going to be able to start spamming them out here, which with our new trade, which isn't quite optimal, um, we should be okay. Goddamn, he's got a lot of those Bombards there. Alright, so we have to pull back and set up forward infrastructure? I think we do. It's going to have to be over here. Yeah, because this position just kind of sucks. It's, it's too close to his production. He's able to just, you know, build artillery right away and shoot at it. All right, so let's set it up here. Let's see all that. Yes. We can always pull more bills if need be. Probably not a bad idea to preemptively do that in case things go south here. And um, yeah, we're, we're, we're cruising. Let's knock down all this stuff. We got, what, nine minutes left? Yeah, and the, the Olive Garden is still pushing too. They're still making progress. We did manage to get a couple of these up. Okay, a couple of spears or, or horsemen cruising around. He finds the bombards. Well played. Well played, well played. Thankfully, we can just make a million of them. Not worry about it too much. All right, so then we get you guys. Do this. Let's have you go build the tower here, and then you decap that to cut the gold off. And, um, yeah, we just keep going. That's a lot of nest of bees, man. That's a hell of a lot of nest of bees. Yeah, he's making good progress. Good, that's, that's all I need to hear. Because clearly I'm taking the brunt of Ezra's, like, bank, which he's been accumulating for 10 years. Um, all right, Palace Guard. Let's make Palace Guard. Yes. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're getting in there. That's an expensive army. These are, like, hand cannoneers and shit, dude. Prison shank that guy. Oh, yeah, give him the old razzle-dazzle. Okay, so grenades. Do this. Big bombards, and um, yeah, that's a good quality army here. We're gonna need more Imperial Guard if we want to steamroll that, probably. Okay, troopers are on the way. Palace Guard, Palace Guard. Artillery, sounds good. He's a, my, my homie says he's one screen away, so the fact that I'm able to keep Ezra's attention here is good. Because that means the Olive Bro might be able to get it. Because right now, yeah, we need to like consolidate our forces. We're just kind of getting steamrolled a little bit here, but good. thankfully we have supply lines from the previous invasion. Okay, so Ezra's probably going to pull back to deal with the other guy now, but his army's kind of out of position. Um, do we set up some more siege workshops here? We do. We actually have a keep here from before, so we'll start on that. All right, we need to keep fighting, even if it's like a losing fight, because it keeps, uh, keeps my ally a little bit more um, sauced. All right, so we're going to dive. You guys fight, you guys fight. We got one nest to be. Let's see if we can get some more. Gather up. Make bombards here. And the other six bombards should be here soon. Yeah, they're they're almost here from our uh, from our renegade base over there. His traders obviously are occupying some of his supply. All right, so let's go team. Now we keep pressing because we don't want him to get there. Let's keep going. Let's get these Imperial Guard to try and ride them down. And um, yeah, we got we got the supply lines. Unleash the beast, he says. Yeah, so a lot of this is going to come down to the Olive Master. What he's going to be able to do. Okay, his traders. Apparently he's trying to maintain some economy, some semblance of an economy. Come on, Bombards. All right, let's, uh, let's move in here. Yeah, okay. 
<laughs> okay. A little bit of unfortunate aggro, but it is what it is. So one, two, three, and four. And you guys just dive those hand cannon ears. And yeah, for now we just make whatever we can. Great, so we got a couple of those down. Looking good. We're about to have another wave of bombards, but you know, only five minutes left. The homeboy is, says he's one screen away, so we're gonna have to just move through. All right, so we got that position. Um, and now this is going to be uh, eight, two, here we go, five. Okay. Did he get him? The wonder isn't being attacked. Tough, tough. So there we go, and let's get you guys up on these, and then we need to get a couple of you guys to come down here, set up the stables. Alright, so we're in the base. He's still amassing some units here. We're gonna just kind of like beeline it with our bombards though. We can't really afford to um, sit around too much. We'll make some rams too. Rams to the ram gods, ram to the ram throne. Alright. So the bombards will keep cruising. Hi, moving. All right, so let's keep going. Uh, we do see some production over there. You guys can come over here and set up some towers. Okay, so let's just keep cruising. We don't have time to really waste here. So we need to just start marching as far back as we can possibly go. Okay, that's where the wall is. Okay. How's the production here? Pretty good, yeah, we got, we got a good amount of production buildings now. That should be adequate for the rest of the game. All right, so bombards. Let's go ahead and nail down these walls. And we need to pull some bills. And what we need to do is do um, this, and then make sure to come over here and reseal that. Is he like riding around with some horsemen? No, those are just traders. We got what? Four minutes left. Ezra had some natural water here. Very nice. See, so he must have been fishing. If you fish and your opponent doesn't, it's like such a such a game changer. All right. Keep moving. We're getting close. Uh-oh. Game crash or game lag. Wow, I haven't had that happen in a long time. Uh, it's far away, but it, it you go quicker than you think. For sure. All right, so kill these traders, and you guys, um, let's just get some cannon towers here. And that will help mitigate the um, reinforcements that would flank us. Okay. He says 20 nest to bees dead. Man, Dox is doing some good work, it sounds like. All right. So we're moving in. Yeah, we're like kind of close. We're kind of close here. All right, so now let's delete some bills. Just get a bigger army. And now Ezra has m came to fight us. He does have a lot of nest to bees, um, but we're going to like run straight to the back of the base and see what we can get done here. All right, so let's uh, knock down these walls here. We need to get some of these, um, some Imperial Chads, and some Zhugnu all around. Let's dive into the farms here, is what we can. Cool, so we see what's going on here. Let's see if we can sneak these guys back here and get some uh, battering rams being built. Good flank right there. Um, now we need to get our bombards rebuilt. Okay, so let's gather you guys, gather up here. Get these guys going, and you Chads need to just go ahead and start sneaking, sneaking, sneaking. Wherever you can. All right, so if we can find a little spot for them to like, set up here yeah that's that's exactly what i'm talking about that's the good stuff right there all right yes and yes those little bombard cannons are coming um we need to set a breach point here if possible and you guys can bash on the walls holy shit it's like super laggy all right so here we come yeah i don't have time to like kill too much here granted the rams could um the rams could maybe no i don't have time i was gonna say i would like to go kill his um yeah, certain buildings to like deny him supplies and stuff like that. But yeah, we need to move in one more time. I don't know if we have time. I think he's got it probably. Did he reseal that breach? Did he? Did we like seal ourselves out here? Weird. Okay, a lot of horsemen coming. Maybe the Olive Master is going to be able to get it. Um, let's pull you guys back. Yeah, big horseman flank, obviously. It's very good. And now we need to do a little bit of this so he can't seal us out. We'll set up a keep here and um, yeah, keep cruising through. Fight these horsemen. Bring these guys in. We're going to have to like craft some like really janky siege. Um, let's go ahead and delete you guys for now. And just go kind of all in. We got a minute 29. Ouch, dude. Yeah, so we might need to power build some siege infrastructure here. You can see some of the buildings were damaged, but not quite enough. All right, let's head here and build some rams with our boys. And um, we could come and build some more. Yeah, he's got a lot here still, unfortunately. 
I was hoping Olive Bro would be a little bit um, further further out there, but not the case. All right, so Matt, move over here, guys. I think he's got it in the bag. I, yeah, I can't believe they left him alone, man. That would have been the same if like two people just let, let me tackle in the corner. Uh, all right, push back too far. Oh, uh, yeah, a lot of nest to bees. Probs GG. You guys needed to kill as not, <laughs> not butters. <laughs> <laughs> Poor butters, dude. All right. So maybe I, I suspect there was a blood feud of some sort. I think there. I know, but you have to look past blood feuds. Yeah, we we push through. Maybe another four or five minutes, we get it. But Ezra is obviously very good at holding, so it's going to be incredibly hard to do. All right. So eyes all red. I know. I know. The blood feud cost him the game. Uh, GG well played. Nice try. We got close. But no cigar. He was a demon in sheep's clothing. Yeah, I know. You can never make alliances with a, a top tier faction who's sitting in the corner of the map. Ever. It's like a, it's like a recipe for losing. And, you know, obviously that's what happened here. GG well played. Great game, guys. Uh, just imagine I had... Yeah, the fact that you had to fight them both, Butters, was rough. What were you even playing? Were you Japan? Okay. Japan's threatening, but not as much as China and probably in late game. Uh, let's look here and see. Yeah, so he he took a lot of terrain. And then his biggest skill was coercing the green player into killing yellow. That, that was the biggest thing, because that just guaranteed him the win. I'm too far away. Really well. Re good, good tactics, for sure. I didn't even really see him talking too much in chat. It just seemed like it kind of happened. Turtle Lake? Oh, God, no, dude. Don't put that evil on us. Come on, don't crash. I want to look at the map. It looks like the um, Byzantines got pretty pretty far. Let's see here. Come on. Oh, don't crash. I wanted to look at the map. It always does this to us. Okay. I think if you wait for the program to respond, sometimes it will it'll stay the course. But it looks like it's going to be a crash. Damn. So we don't get to look at the map post game. But you guys can see how insanely strong Jushis is. Like Fast Castle, grab like seven relics at the six minute mark and just go bananas. Um, we can do... Let's do a 1v1 game. I'll do some ladder and then we can um, we can cast a uh, cast an FFA after that. I know we couldn't look at it. Yeah, we couldn't. I'd love a game where you couldn't wonder. I think wonders are necessary because a lot of times you get evenly skilled players who just like are grinding against each other and it's it's kind of brutal. <laughs> the cringe from Ezra's comment crashed the game. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. All right, one sec, guys. So win or lose, we'll we'll do like a ranked game. You can do one. Let's see how this goes. Uh, so I only play Byzantines in ranked. I don't know how it's going to go, but we're going to give it a try. So let's fire this off. There we are. And let's, let's go play some Byzantines on ladder. Yeah. We'll do a cast at FFA after this one. That was some, that was some villainous scheming for sure. Your Ethron says, I killed 3,200. Okay, so when I fought Wookiee, I killed 3,200 and you killed 1,400. <laughs> yeah. Well, that you had no gold. Well, you had some gold, it would seem. Like, you were making spring alds and occasionally a couple, of, like, support pieces. But yeah, like, my army was pure gold, dude. It was pure gold. Hey, uh, Spade, thank you for the kind words. Stop by to say Merry Christmas. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for our trip. It's going to be fun. 5 a.m. waiting for another FFA. Good luck. Hey, thank you, man. Yeah, it's been tough climbing with just Byzantines, um, but we found we've had some decent success. Like if we look at our, um, yeah, we managed to maintain a decent win rate with them. You can see a fair amount of victories in there. Some defeats too, of course. The play was to ally with Wookie against the Tyrant Ezra. Yeah, yeah maybe. Wookie was also like uh, coming at me though. He was like, he had like 15, 20 Rams down and was knocking down my border defenses. So at that point I kind of just, um, you know, was a little bit, little bit nervous about it. All right, so we're gonna do Byzantines. Um, depends on what my opponent picks. We'll see. And back and forth across the map next to two hours doesn't sound us. Yeah, yeah. Without a wonder, Ezra and I would have just had an, a ten million year blood feud. It would have been miserable. Okay, he dodged. That's weird. Usually people don't dodge in ranks, but maybe he, maybe he feared the Byzantine match history. He's like, oh god, this guy only plays Byzantines. Terror. Hmm. The oily people slide yeah, slide through the ranks. They do. They do, for sure. 
Um, they have some okay matchups, Byzantines. I love their castle and Imperial. The feudal is just like kind of the, the scary point where you're like, oh god. Cast a turtle late game? No, dude, we're not going to do that. That's just no. We can figure out what we want to do for the next one. Do we want, um, let's put it up to a poll for you guys right now. Uh, all right, so start a poll. Um, next, FFA. Island or land? I am kind of leaning towards island. That's what I would have picked if it weren't for you guys. But we'll see what you want to do. All right. Byzantines on Arabia, you too. This guy's pure business. Let's see if he's a Byzantine enjoyer himself. Coming off a couple L's. I do that all the time. I, I had this like, oh, okay, he's a Zhushi player. So we're going to be playing Zhushis, which is very difficult. Um, I think Byzantines at Conqueror level have have like a 30% win rate against Shushi's Legacy. That's ah, rough. Um, Hippodrome I feel is kind of a must because of the prevalence of the uh, the Zhugnu and other things like that, but we'll, we'll see. I'm just going to leave that poll and you guys just vote. So yeah, I think you have to pressure Zhushi's. I don't think trying to eco with them is possible because they just they just cackle super hard. Island casting, landed playing. I'm casting. I'm casting. So God, dude, everybody just makes it 50-50. Always. Yeah, we're going to try and give him the biz. <laughs> we're going to try. Um, what mercenaries do I want to go with? The javelin throwers are pretty good against Jushis because they basically just spam Jugnu and all in you. It's pretty pretty rough to stop. Okay, let's do this. Go down here, look for some sheep on the bottom in the unexplored lands. And now we can go ahead and get this here and call it a day. All right. All right, so let's spread the olive oil all over the lands. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting aggressive in this game. Like, I don't think um, sitting back and trying to compete with their, like, farms that cost, like, nothing is going to work. So we're not going to do that. Um, Zhugnu are obviously the biggest trolls. I, I, they're so... I feel like I really struggled to deal with them with Byzantines. Hippodrome is a must here. If I go with Grand Winery, it's going to be too passive, and I think we're going to lose. So I don't want to do that. All right, hopefully we can have a better sheep run. Okay, so usually just two on gold is enough to age up for me. Um, you can go three as well if you want to get like an extra upgrade, which maybe wouldn't be a bad idea to get the uh, villager bounty upgrade. Yeah, of course it's 50-50. Yeah, and the cistern's all right. Um, probably will do. Yeah, Zhushis, you got to pressure them really, really quick. You got you to gotta pressure them fast. I feel like if you don't, you're just going to get wrecked. We're having a terrible amount of sheep here, though. This is not good. He's probably cackling with like 50 sheep right now. Okay, let's get that a little bit better. Go drop these sheep off. Um, berry bushes. Yeah, we have a couple of berry bushes near us. All right. There's another sheep back there. Looking good. Yeah, so I didn't move that sheep close enough to my base, so I'm going to pay the troll toll with that. All right. Let's drag you guys around. Yeah, horseman javelin can work. Longbows can also work, too. You can use the... Um, but I don't like western mercenaries because launch necks are not very impactful, in my opinion, in your armies. I prefer to get, like, Ghulam. Because um, Ghulam... Um, those guys, they, they mean business. They mean a lot of business. They're pretty great. So we're going to be going one sister into opening, which is pretty risky. But um, I feel that I need to keep up with Jushi's aging. If I go for more cisterns, then we're going to have a bad time. So, Okay, so once we get 250 on here, we're going to pull off and switch on to wood and different stuff like that. Uh, I, are you guys purposefully keeping it at 50-50? I almost feel like it's a meme at this point. All right. Let's get you here and set you up top. Okay. Let's keep going down this way. And how is that looking on food? Looking pretty good. Pretty close to aging up here. Just need to get that. And we almost have it. The 10's going to be turned in. And now we go ahead and get this. All right. So let's get the Imperial Hippodrome. We'll set it up here. And we need to go ahead and grab some bills. Switch them here and get them on wood. Go down there and help. And let's go down here. Yeah. Lands, launch next. They have their place for sure. I personally just think that... Um, the Ghulams and other mercenaries, because like Varangi and Guard are a little bit overpriced in my opinion. So having the um, having the options to uh, yeah, having the option to get like good quality men at arms is really nice. Just kind of looking for any like last minute sheep around the map. Five on wood is probably enough to be honest, but we need enough wood to obviously you know make more houses and get horsemen and things like that. Okay, there's a TC. So I suspect there's going to be a meditation garden down here. Would be my uh, prediction of the gods. So if he has a bad forward gold spawn, we definitely could tower rush it. Byzantines can do some nice tower rush play because they get basically stoned, you know. Um, so let's set that up. 
We're going to be able to build our second sister in here in a minute. Hippodrama's there. Very standard Chinese stuff, you know, under the mill. And uh, we'll keep scouting. We'll keep looking. We'll keep scouting for the goodies. Okay, feudal age for him. You see how quick they get it? It's very, very, like, stressful. Okay, so his gold is back here. Um, is he going to be going 2TC? There's his meditation um, gardens there. Okay, we have enough for the... Um, for the villager bounty, that's a really good one too. It's going to be giving him a hell of a lot of stone, which will be conducive to a second TC for sure. All right, let's start on that. We'll see what mil uh, buildings he's building. He could be doing like a really, really greedy fast castle, kind of from the looks of things. Um, he's not gathering stone, but he doesn't need to per se. Hmm, okay, we'll get a couple of you guys. Do this. Let's turn in, head over to the berry bushes. So then we can eventually get mercenaries. Okay. That's going to be finishing in a second. So we know where his gold is. We know where his berry bushes are. Um, for the most part, the schemes are on the table. And this hippodrome is going to finish. Ah, shit. I just screwed up. Probably gave him my scout if he's paying attention. Doesn't look like it, though, thankfully. So the scout's going to get away. All right. Let's get you guys. And we can go up here. And we can set up our second cistern. And connect it to this one. All right. So let's go scout down here. Get a couple horsemen and get the upgrade. And, um, yeah, now we're, now we're doing our thing. We're just going to pressure... Basically, until um, Castle Age comes. That's that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so two horsemen. I want to wait till I get at least two before I show my hand. And we're definitely going to go press his gold. We can't just let him sit in his base and, and, you know, cackle away at us. Okay, let's do this also. We can start gathering a little bit of stone to augment our cistern network. And, um, yeah, we need to see where, like, the relics are and stuff. Okay, so let's take these guys down, and we can get one and two, turn in here, and um, you can come down here. So we definitely, like, have to disrupt him. If we just let him do whatever he wants, then, you know, Jushis will definitely crush us later. So let's go hunting for some goodies, and we now have the second one there. Good. So get a little bit more on wood, keep you guys with the horsemen. We do have the bounty. So we're going to go see if we can find some of his gold here. He doesn't have a forward gold, so this tower rush is like very risky, actually. But um, it, it could pay off because we, we can we can tower his food his food stuff too, right? That's that's part of the game plan. All right, so let's go. We have the triumph at the ready. He's scouting it, so he knows we're here. Um, but let's see if we can get to his gold before he gets a tower set up. That would be pretty prime time. Okay, second TC is coming. Interesting. Um, diving that's going to be incredibly hard. Yeah, we can try. And see if we can get a villager pick here. At least delay it a little bit. Okay, and then we just disrupt this and do that. Cool. Get you over the top. Yeah, he's not going to make this easy for us. Yeah, he can get away with this for now, but hopefully soon we'll, we'll get the punish. Okay, so let's start hitting gold again. You guys come down here and here. We got the villagers coming, so we need to sneak them around this way and uh, wall off those resources and you guys can keep looking here let's get you and you coming down this way we need to get those bills in position if we can get that tower up dude i'm telling you we're going to be cackling all the way to the bank all right so now we need to get some archery ranges um yes okay so those guys are sneaking by and he's gonna probably pull to deal with this or at least try to all right so we're going to set that up. He has one Spearman, so we need to pop Triumph and go for the kill on the Spears. Ah, our timing's off. Yeah, uh, we're, we're in substantial danger now. Like, substantial danger. This is really bad. He, he got the Spear reaction out pretty well. All right, so we need to just run you guys around. And I was hoping you would only have one Spearman. But, yeah, this is, this is looking bad. We might need to just go Castle Age now and try and hope for the best. Okay, so let's go up here over the top and do that. We do have the archer ranges coming out, so let's get the archers. We're going to have to just aggro super, super hard here and go for, like, you know, the classical siege. Okay. So you guys, let's, like, keep creeping back here and see if we can do, like, a tower crawl, if possible. That's what it's going to have to be. Do this, build another cistern out here, and connect that to get the gather rate. Because he's on, he's on 2TC right now, so this is going to be... Very, very bad. All right, you come down here, buddy. Do this. Archers, come. Come, archers for the archer throne, please. Okay, he's still hunting me. And he did have the spears back there? I'm not sure. Okay. He's not going to let that happen. Let's see if we can lure these guys out and just, like, aggro them very hard. Okay, a little bit too hard on the gold. You probably are going to have to do... Although, with Byzantines, you have to um, keep keep stuff on gold because of the uh, your ram's cost. Yeah, he's got a lot chasing me there. Okay. 
So let's get this, this, and this, and do a little bit of pushing. These villas are scurrying away, and we need to find another source of food. All right. Okay, so hunt those guys down. Do this. You guys head over here. Get on the berry bushes. And we need to also get some mercs coming, too. Okay, he's trying to expand out this way. We do get another pick there, which is great. And um, these guys can do that. You villagers have lived. The ones who got away, as it were. All right, so we got level three cisterns, which is awesome. And let's save up for some merc tech. Okay, we'll just kind of keep harassing in this general area. And um, yeah, getting his gold is going to be incredibly difficult. All right. Let's hit this before you can get the cancel on it. Okay. Let's get these archers in here. Creep up a little bit. Yeah, he's he's got a nice little position here. Okay, villagers. We keep moving over here. Let's attack. Okay. Give us some more precious. Oh, we're going to lose our scout. That's unfortunate. Alright, so now we can start creeping here. And when we get some vision, that tower will actually be very, very impactful. And we can set up another um, cistern out here. Connect it. And now we need to get the um, olive garden going. Okay, pull back. Oh, my cavalry. A bit of a slip up in my car there. Okay, pulling back. Let's do this. He's got a lot of spears. Trying to snipe him, the tree line's kind of blocking me a little bit. Keep going here, attack, triumph. Okay. Can't, I'm losing sight in the trees. Okay, these guys have burned that down. But we do win the feudal fight there, which is kind of cute, but it's not going to win us any beauty contest. Now we need to get mercs coming out too. All right, so tower, let's get that back here. Move that way. Keep disrupting, and we need to upgrade our lumber here. We haven't like gotten any villager or eco kills. That's why I'm thinking we're losing this game. Yeah, the Greek fire rams do suck pretty bad, unfortunately. We have a little bit of gold. Um, all right, so more horsemen. Plenty of spearmen. Oh, he's mixing in some early palace guard too. All right. Okay, so I'm going to start hedging my bets and doing like a little bit of haggard strategy because um, this doesn't feel like it's working too well. It feels like he's very well defended right now. We're going to start mixing in some mercenaries with our olive oil too. I should have done that a little bit sooner, but it's all good. Not the end of the world. So let's move up, get that tower up. Just kind of keep like trolling and poking. Meanwhile, what we're going to do is set up a trade post and do some like cross map trade. It's going to be tough, but yeah, we're very behind right now. We're very behind. He's He's been able to successfully eco on uh, two TC here. Okay, let's get that. Gonna get that tower going. Let's do this and set up a market up top. And then we will just kind of tower crawl him here. Mercs are gonna be up soon. Um, as far as mercs here, probably the javelin throwers, although I don't know, it's hard to say. All right, so let's do this. And we can go ahead and tower his um, food over here. And just try and take some map control there. Okay, let's go over there and set up some more trade. We're just going to kind of poke around here and try and keep him in his base. Even though he's on 2TC, maybe we can deny some some resources here. Alright, let's move up with our archers, see if we can get some picks. Yeah, we're waiting for the arrow slits to finish. Alright, so we're going to fall back to like Hagger janky trade. And uh, you guys, in the meantime, let's go up here. Oh, hello. That was sloppy. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, let's get another spearman. Probably got to keep the pressure on. Okay, longbow, camel rider. Yeah, we're going to go for Kashyyyk's. Kashyyyk's are going to be really good. So this is our like our, our fallback option here. Let's get some upgrades. Do this. And, um, oh shit, okay. That's not good. Yeah, this guy's playing very well. And we kind of missed our window. I think he's got us in the bag, unfortunately. The fact that he's getting this like nice map rating and while being pressed in is very, very good. All right, so we're going to need to switch you guys. Get a couple more, um, couple more racks. Okay, we got the dudes coming here. It's garrison you guys up. So we just lost like four bills, which is really bad. But if we can maybe get some trade going, maybe we can squeak our way back into the game. Okay, let's pop Triumph here. Garrison up. And we have little towers here, which is cute. Let's pop that. And uh, yeah, we're going to see how this goes, man. I feel like it's going very badly, though. All right, so you guys head back to the base. Um, let's get on the deer camp out front. And did we take down his horsemen? It looks like we did. 
just about. So he did lose a lot of horsemen there for his efforts, which is good. And let's come down here and set up a tower down there too. Yeah, we gotta trade here. This is like our only chance, because we're just so far behind in pretty much every other regard. Alright. So you guys come. Let's get on the deer camp there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna continue kind of poking around, but trade is our only chance here, I think. Trade and like huge military blunders from my opponent. But yeah, we got like several food sources kind of walled off here. Which is cute. You guys get on the deer. And let's get a level 5 cistern going, uh, cistern network. So at the very least, we'll have that. But he's playing well. He's playing very well. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else we can really do here, except just kind of spam out trade. So what's going on here? He's got a decent little army. Uh, mostly spears and jugnu. Um, we can get some some Kashyyyk, so let's get some Lima Tanai mixed in as well. He might counterattack here, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Let's set up a tower just to be safe. So now we gotta like trade boom, which Byzantines can do trade to an extent. It's, you know, they get olive oil for it, which is really nice. So we can start producing like several waves of Kashyyyk here. Yeah, I should have activated the Spearman Militia, yeah. That is true. He's gonna be hitting castle though in a moment, maybe counterattacking. Or he could just stay in this age, which would be really good for us, actually. That would be, like, a huge game changer. Um, if he doesn't notice my trade, I might have a decent way back in here. But we're going to build another big feudal army and just try and press him here. All right, so we got the stone being gathered. We're going to be getting level 5 cisterns in a moment. And, um, all right, let's get some upgrades here. Do this for the inevitable Jugnu spam. All right, so that didn't connect. Let's do this, and perfect. All right, so let's take our army and go, like, press again. He's going to try and get that tower. If we can fight him, like, on that, that would be really good. All right, do that. Trade is going. Um, currently, yeah, he's got a good army. What is it? Spears, Palace Guard, eight spearmen. Yeah, I don't think I can take him quite yet. Um, we probably want to get some upgrades, too, if we can. Okay, let's get some more Lima tonight. Keep the trade going. The longer the trade goes, the better for sure. Um, that tower wasn't really like even controlling anything, so. Okay, let's do that. Build another house here. That's good trade though. It's it's 72 a pop, which is gonna really, really help get our economy back online here. Let's go take some Kashyyyks and company and go like do some raiding down here and we'll keep the rest of you guys there. The olive oil is, is, is not like fully online yet, but we're not out of this game yet. The trade might do something for us here. Okay, so he's trying to do a cute little tower there. We can wall that, and um, we can get that stone there. Okay, let's go down here. That was a nice little find for us. Granted, he's way ahead on, like, eco damage. He, he did a, a whole bunch earlier. Okay. We're chilling out there. That food source kind of sucks bad. It's very, very overextended. Okay, so let's head over here. Let's garrison up. You guys come back this way. And this is our opportunity to, you know, get a military blunder out of him. So let's go see if we can get into his base here with this core while our uh, main army here fights. Yeah, unfortunately now he's going to discover my trade though, which is going to be bad. But if we can get in and do like a little bit of damage over in his neck of the woods, that's going to be quite substantial. All right, so how's our army here look? Let's get you on wood. Let's grab you guys, do this and this, and head up here and attack. And is there any way in? I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so we need to just hammer that. Um, he has discovered the trade, so let's get our traders, pull them back this way, and archers, Kashyyyks, spearmen. Meanwhile, we poke into his base here. All right, let's get freebies. Let's do this. We have a lot idled now. Is there any food around? Man, yeah, there's that boar. Okay, that's what it's going to have to be. So he's going to discover the trade. He's walling it now. Um, this looks like it's getting repaired. See if we can get some of the villagers behind the walls. Sometimes you can still hit them. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. All right, so we're getting a couple of vill kills, which is good. We've gotten several. Let's pull back. And um, probably if we can crush his army in open field somehow, maybe. That would be something. Okay, you guys come down. Let's set this up here. Yeah, we need to pull these guys back because we need them to win this fight here, which is going to be the deciding the fate of Middle Earth. Okay, so how are we looking? We still have plenty of food. Um, the boar is going to pay the price. Okay, um, definitely could use some um, infrastructure in terms of upgrades. And uh, cool. Thankfully, Byzantines can build like turbo houses. So let's get turbo houses. Okay. Now we go head off his army and try and take control. Okay, what did we just discover here? Okay, fair amount of units. Let's pull back. Um, Lima and I, I, I really need to get the upgrades. Yeah, that's, that's not good. The boar food will carry us for a moment though. Okay, try and pull him into this tower here. Now we can turn and fight. Okay, so archers are doing good. Let's do the shield wall on these guys. 
And if we can find a way to win this fight, that's going to be huge. So let's get our Kashyyyks to go back and peel for those guys. Archers, do this. Archers are getting Jove a little bit, but let's target the Spearmen if possible. Okay, looking good. And um, let's retreat back into the base, pull him back under the TC ever so slightly. And Archers and Spearmen, yes please. Okay, so we're going to garrison up, get you guys back, pull back to the TC here. And uh, we're just going to try and use our town center to help out a little bit. Alright, so unfortunately that's paying the troll toll a little bit. Let's get the trade back online. And you guys get back online with the trade. It's fine. Let's get you in the TC. Like, we might win this, but it's not going to matter too much because I feel as if uh, he's so ahead economically that he can, you know, he can endure and we can. But I do have that trade going, and he didn't fully wall it, so that's nice. Yeah, if I had the armor upgrade too, that'd be pretty massive. All right, let's do that. Keep attacking here. We do have uh, our eco count is 54, which is respectable. Yeah, those damn Zhug Nu are so good. Those Zhug Nu are so hot right now. Hansel. All right. Are we clearing them out? Yeah, another wave's going to be on the way in. Um, we do have the, the boar providing us a fair amount of food too, which is nice. But I don't know if it's going to matter. Yeah, those Zhug Nu can just dive under the TC. It's, it's really brutal. Uh, ultimately, my, my harass was ineffective. I should have just ecoed, and, you know, that was that was what cost us this game. But Zhu, the problem is if you eco against Zhu Shi, they'll out-eco you typically, right? Yeah, it's like not like a good deal. Um, GG, well played. Yeah, we threw that game. That was really stupid. What do we could we have done differently? Maybe more mercs poking earlier. Like, I, I kind of was lazy on the mercs. GG, well played, though. Yeah, I'm Conk 1. I, I fluctuate between, like, like Diamond 3 and then, like, Conquer 1.5. But Byzantines, if I didn't play Biz, I think I could pretty easily get Conk 2. Biz definitely drag you down. Yeah, well, in retrospect, harassing Zhu Shi's is definitely a good call. Uh, the biggest mistake of the game, though, was trying to tower his gold when he had a, did not have a forward gold. We'll play one more game. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was stupid. We shouldn't have gone back there. That tower rush, we lost two villagers. Like, he had all the time in the world because I had to walk around. It was really dumb. It was really dumb. Zhushis can out-eco you probably because what they do is they get their Song Dynasty, which makes their farms cheaper and their TC cheaper. So they can get it online a little bit more efficiently. So It was a winnable game, though. I just I played poorly. He played well. You know, he played like a champ. Activate the Militia. I know, I, I rarely do that. I rarely do it. All right, we'll get you guys the Byzantine dub. It's going to happen here. Hmm. It's gonna happen, baby. We'll uh, we'll bring out the olive oil. We'll bathe them in it. And I wonder, yeah, so the tower rush was stupid. I think just getting like four horsemen and harassing and then ecoing myself or establishing trade behind that would have been smart. Yeah, those were those were those were the plays. Yeah, the hippo hippodrome just got nerfed heavily too. That strategy was way better before, um, but it's still good. I think against Zhu Shi's having some early horsemen is nice in case they Zhu Gnu pressure you. But yeah, we'll find out. All right, Hidden Valley, um, Byzantine time, and uh, yeah, we'll see what my opponent does. Oh, we got to go purple Byzantines. I mean, we got to stay in flavor, man. I think Byzantine's good. Yeah, I think they're good in some ways. What are you doing down here? Uh, playing Byzantines. I'm going to wait till the last second to tell him that. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. I'm waiting. Okay, so he can't counterpick me. Oh, I'll tell him once we're in the game. All right, so what's he going to be playing? Oh, a Byzantine mirror match. Interesting. Okay, well, this is one that the Byzantines can definitely do. Um, Island at 54%. Yeah, once I'm done with 1v1s, we'll, we'll go with whatever the decision is. Yeah. All right, here we go, baby. Let's fire it up. Do that. And we're going to go like a very safe Byzantine build this game. Um, I wonder if he'll like early, early pressure me. Okay, so it looks good. And where's our gold? Our gold is over here. Um, not finding any sheep, which is slightly concerning, but it's all good. He says no you. Nice, dude. I respect that. That's a good comeback. He got me pretty good there. For sure. The Byzantine mirror match. Yeah, Varangians are fun. They're really fun. I don't think they're like the best men at arm, but they're, uh, you know, they get the job done to an extent. Wow. Okay, there, finally we got some sheep. I was going to be like, are we just going to suffer in the pits of hell tonight? Are we not going to get any? 
Okay, we got you. Let's get you back on food. And then what we need to do is find our stone outcropping. We're going to do a more um, standard Byzantine build, which is very greedy, but it might pay off. It might pay off. All right. Yeah, the mercs are really fun. That's my favorite aspect of the Byzantines is like you can kind of really contour your playstyle to whatever you want and, and do well. Uh, I wonder if he's going to go Hippodrome on us. Yeah, I wonder if he is. Hippodrome seems pretty easy to counter by just getting like an early barracks, but could be wrong. Um, all right, so yeah, we have a pretty good spot for the um, the great vineyard down there. So we're going to do a 6-2-2 two, two, uh, two, two opening, which is six on food and everything else on... Um, this is like Ecobiz. I, you know, I, I've been uh, having good success with Byzantines. My win rate with them in the beginning was atrocious. It was just like awful, but um, it's gotten better for sure. Oh, is there any sheep left here? Not really. Okay. Well, this map has really good like local food. Like you got deer and like berries right next to your base. So I'm not too concerned about that. All right. So we will have a second cistern in a moment. Um, we'll probably place it up here and let's kind of keep creeping around. I'm thinking of going to, I want to go Western Mercs. The Ghulam are just so good though. Getting Ghulams are just like, it's so much more cost effective than, in my opinion, than the Varangians. But yeah, Varangians need some sort of a buff. They just feel like really haggard to me. Okay, let's go ahead and chop this here. So we want to get it close to minimize the amount of stone we need to use. Let's do that. Outstanding. So that's going to pop off. We almost have enough to age up here. And then we can set up our lumber mill in a moment once we hit these straggler trees. Okay, down and down. How are we looking? Yeah, all's calm in the front. All is calm in the front here. Uh, we have enough to age up now, so we can pull you guys and get them on straggler trees. Okay, let's turn in here, cut this. We're gonna go Grand Winery for sure. Um, I think it's pretty pretty decent under, uh, like for like an eco build like this. All right, let's do that. And then we need to get some Lima tonight. Um, he's still on gold. I need to see if it's going to be Hippodrome, because that's going to massively influence how we play this. Um, so we see that. He's got his second ahead of me, but I'm certain I'm probably aging up a little bit quicker than him, I would suspect. I don't know. Maybe. Is that within range? It is. Okay. So we're going to get our second one. Straggler trees are being annihilated. Okay. Can you guys get on the trees? Thank you. I don't think I saw what Landmark he was doing. Maybe he's not aging up quite yet. Okay. And then... Um, we're going to need to get more of you guys on stone, so let's go turn in. We're going to be going 2TC. He's still gathering, but it, I don't know if it's for cisterns or what it's going to be for exactly. Yeah, we'll we'll hit this spot because it's a little bit safer against early horse raids too. All right. So should be online here. The Grand Winery is going. I think he's doing a very slow age up, so I can probably pull a vill off the age up. And, you know, take it a little bit easier here. The winery? I've had a lot of success with the winery. I have. It's not like a. Gr it's it's a bad landmark, but like it doesn't mean that it, it doesn't work. You know, it, it still it still can get the job done. All right. So he's here. He's doing this. He would be very vulnerable to raiding with the way his base is laid out. Um, but you know, so too would mine. Goes both ways. Yeah. So there's not going to be too much early aggression coming out. I don't think. Uh, we're gonna hit the olive oil hard. Get a couple of kashiks to come out and raid. I think. Um, Stone is here. So we could do another cistern if we want to right now, which wouldn't be bad per se. So let's go ahead and get that cistern here and connect it because we're going to go 2TC. But yeah, I think we'll I think we'll be fine. I know it's it's wine and it's winery time, dude. Unleash the winery. It's going to be fun. Yeah, and that should be buffing all those. Great. All right. So let's get you on stone. Move you there. That cistern's going to be finishing. He's still level two, but he is going to be aging up about the same time as me, give or take. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be the case. So what I probably want to do is maybe get some early Spearman tech. Let's go see what he's building around here, huh? Let's go see what that's going to be. He hasn't scouted me too much, but he's, yeah, he's going pretty hard on the berries. Makes me think there's going to be some treachery, but we are going to have level three cistern. So we will have that advantage. Um, we still need a little bit of time while gathering stone here. So I'm thinking of just setting up a Rax, getting some Lima Tanai and pushing up and just like, you know, doing a little bit of very, very casual harass to force potentially an overreaction out of my opponent. We'll see. All right, so berry bushes are online. Have you guys turn and go to the berry bushes. And we probably want one on gold so we can upgrade our Lima Tanai to the next age. And yeah, I suspect there's gonna be some dread mercenaries coming out here in a minute. Um, yeah. Just wanted to FFA. Uh, hey, congrats on the win. That's a it's a good win there. 
It is a good win indeed. All right. Let's cut you guys. Get a couple of these. We're just going to run up and do a little bit of very, very light harass. Like, very, very light harass. Okay, we almost have enough for uh, the stone here. So let's turn in and go to the wood. There we go. Could be a fast castle for my opponent. Maybe like some sort of a Rangian push or something. I'm not sure. Um, I could do a little bit of a trolley tactic, which would be fun if it works. Okay, let's do this. Turn in. You guys come up here. Let's move for that. And we do see the mercenary uh, shack out now, so it is there. So let's run to the corner and just prepare for Mortal Kombat and set up that second TC right now. So we'll set that up and we will do it right there. It's a nice safe spot and it's right on the wood. So it kind of saves us from having to get a mill. And uh, all right, so we're going to do a little bit of a poke here. It's nothing serious, but we're going to we're going to say hello. We're going to say, you know, Merry Christmas. Okay, how's the food looking? It's coming along. We got a couple Lima and I. Let's get them upgraded. And to make the upgrade faster, we can switch to Dialectus, which will just make it really, really quick. Byzantines can have a lot of like neat little tricks like that for sure. Okay, so the second TC is coming. And the villager also should be coming. We're going to just like feign a little bit of aggression here. Oh, look at that. The forward houses. That's good for us actually because that's free damage. We can get on there and, uh, you know, take, take them down. Get those freebies. All right. How are we looking? We see the gold here. Um... Mercenaries will probably come out soon. Oh, he's already got Kashyyyk's. Nice. Thankfully, we have Spears, so it's not a huge deal. Yeah, the Spears should handle those Kashyyyk's, no problem. So the early Mercs? I, I, I like that. That's pretty cool. One to one there is a great trade for us, taking that bad boy down. And let's get a tower here in case more aggression comes. The Chad at Lima Tanai is going to fall, but it was good. We we got our Ion thing, and I, I, I highly suspect he's not on 2TC. So I think, uh, I think we're going to be in good shape here. All right, do this and this. Make it a little bit harder to raid. We already have Lima and I to counter what he's doing. And both TCs are producing, so we can switch on to gold now and start getting some of this uh, sweetness going. Yes. Let's get the olive the olive gardens going. Good, Anakin. Good. All right. Let's get those walls going. Do a little bit of scouting up here so we can poke around. Spears. We can move them to this side. Yeah. No. Kashyyyks are coming that way. All right. So we need to get the Lima and I hanging out over in that realm. Okay. So gold is coming up. We, we are for sure on 2TC, and I do not believe he is. I do not believe he is. Okay, so let's go get this scout going. Bake some more Lima Tanai. And the Olive Gardens will hopefully keep popping off. Unfortunately, that doesn't count as a mill. So you don't get, like, any mill upgrades, which is a really, like, Bronze Odia thing. But, you know, it is what it is. All right. So we definitely need a little bit more food. Um, that's enough on gold. So let's hit these deer here, if possible. He could hit Castle Age here pretty effectively. We're going to turn you guys in, come down, jump on the deer, and uh, continue walling this, and cool. We can even just like full-on wall that, I think would be fine. I see the raiders out front. Let's take our spears out and go see if we can like intercept them, do a little bit of work. But yeah, the 2TC is eventually going to outscale him, for sure. All right, let's get the food upgrades. He's probably pushing his way to Castle Age, but if I can just maintain a good eco and just cackle, then yeah, we're going to be good. We're going to be A-OK, -okay, my friends. All right, let's take our scout and go explore this map, see what resources lie out there. Um, we'll take our spears, have them sit here. And now we just kind of keep progressively working up to Castle Age, which we should have enough gold, I think. He's definitely going to get it before me. Yeah, we got the Castle Age. Okay, so Mercs, um, we probably want to do the, um, let's see, yeah, probably that contract would be good. So now we just go Castle Age here. Yeah, we, we basically just try and go to Castle which is going to be a Trixie Hobbits's, but we should be able to get it. Okay. Yep, stay on wood. We need a little bit on wood. Get another house here in a second. Yes. Outstanding. Let's get the upgrade here. And hopefully he doesn't come in with, you know, heavy duty pressure. We'll get a little arrow slit there to help out, but it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. It's not a fast castle by any stretch. Yeah, it actually it actually makes like little olive, um, little olive settings, which is rad. Golden Tower is going to be our landmark. He's going to get a lot of momentum against us, though. I'm feeling a little bit nervous about this. Maybe Fast Castle was the way. Okay, so let's get you guys do that. Um, we don't see any, like, heavy pressure yet, which is really good. A lot of civs, you know, when they hit Castle like this, would have, like, Varangians, like, knocking on Heaven's Door. And you would be in dire straits. Um, we could sell Olive Oil. It's definitely a tactic to try and age up faster. But, yeah, we should have a pretty massive economic lead over him. That's for sure. Okay, so he's coming. Let's garrison you away. Okay, he's got the mercenary contracts. Let's get some Kashyyyks of our own. Get you guys going. 
And um, yeah, we need to probably seal this wall, considering he's got Castle Age. It's only a couple of Kashyyyk's though. Alright, so that looks good. Now we need to get an archer range here. Um, yeah. Within Sister and Influence. We're still creeping. Castle Age is, is closing in for us. Let's get you back. If he comes in here, I got the spears waiting. Kashyyyk's aren't like the tankiest of cab units, so... He wants it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be right in that old breach there. There you go. All right, buddy. So yeah, not too much of a threat now. We do see more Kashyyyk's coming, so he's getting a lot of. This is like really good for us, because it's he's he's sending units that like aren't gonna be like too brutal for us to deal with, right? Uh, we don't need that. Let's go ahead and set up this wall here. All right, so we got that wall completely sealed, and you guys can go and just set up some more olive gardens. Let's do that. Outstanding. The rest of you guys hunt here. I mean, now we just need to age up. We need to age up like ASAP. Like five minutes ago, we needed to age up. All right, we got our Kashyyyks. We have uh, plenty of military infrastructure for the Castle Age. Outstanding, let's get you on the food here. We also have eco upgrades. Like, yeah, if we can get Castle without dying here, then we're gonna win this game, I think. Um, well, without taking too much eco damage is what I, I should correctly say. Let's get some Kashyyyks. Get you to set up another Merc tent here. And cool. So let's grab you guys do this and get the Golden Horn Tower. Um, where do we want to get that? Ugh. The space in this base sucks so freaking bad. Yeah, it's just going to have to go there. Alright. So the age up is coming. And um, one more archery range would probably be good if we can. Okay. So he's probably grabbing relics on the map, I would wager. But we do have that 2TC, man. We've got to be pretty well ahead. But here comes the push. We're going to be aging up here. Let's go for Angian Mercs. It's going to be mostly Ghulams and Crossbows. This is going to be like our army comp here. All right. Okay, looking good. Not going to be messing with Cavalry too much because Limit and I are very good. So they're going to be able to stop that. Thankfully, we can make this and grab Relics right away. So let's uh, actually do that and come back. Have you do this. And we need to get the Mercenary Contract upgraded here. So let's jump on that. And now we get the Mercs upgraded. Start spamming out crossbows and call it a day. All right. So he did not press us, which if he is not on the, um, if he's not on two TC, he's gonna be like super super behind. Let's go ahead and expand out here, and uh, we can get this to do that, and we can start getting some crossbows. Let's go ahead and get this out there for the, um, the influence to make a gatehouse here too. All right. So feeling like much much better now. Like he's got to be like preparing a push, right? Okay, so Lehman tonight. Let's get Ghulams and uh, let's get crossbows. His army is okay, but it's not that scary. Definitely not that scary. Yeah, I think like once we get a couple upgrades here, we're, we're going to be able to bully this horse. He might be able to get in here. Let's make some Brangians and some crossbows just because we need bodies here. Do this, and here he comes. All right, so he's at the gatehouse. Lehman and I are about to be upgraded. We have Ghulams and a lot of goodies on their way out. And whoa, I do not know what those guys are doing, jeez. Okay, so Ghulam in time. And um, do we fight? Hmm. Okay, we got a lot of power coming out here in like just a minute. So we probably want to wait for that. A lot of golds, a lot of Ghulams coming out. All right. Yeah, so I think we can chase down his army now. Like it looks considerably weaker than ours. So let's do this. Yeah, let's just hunt them and let's get some houses here because we have the upgrade so the houses are going to build super quickly. And now we just keep fighting here. Alright. Looking good. Yeah, that's a very brutal fight. Okay, let's get you. You guys do do this. Reseal that. And just keep hunting them down. Alright, and that guy's going to go build on the top side here. We should have another relic, so let's go get that relic here. And uh, we just counter push. Yeah, we just counter push now. So we're going to go dialect is here to get the um, the speed upgrade. Although, man, we need to just... The, house, the housing thing is really, really janky. This map is so claustrophobic. Like, you're just, like, stuck all over the place. All right, upgrades. Yes. And um, let's go Dialectus here. You can keep pushing out and just keep trying to further, you know, secure our advantage, really. All right. One this and do that. Okay. And do we get that? We did not quite seal that, but let's fix it. Now we try and take some map control and knock down some of his houses here. Um, we have the advantage. You know, we're economically ahead. I think his early Merc build it did not quite go as planned. We have, like, the huge Olive Gardens, too. All right, so let's move up. Um, get on gold here. 
and um, a couple of you guys can actually come here. We can do a little bit of eco pressure. Okay, so that wall, is it getting built? Looks like it never got built. That's unfortunate. Okay, so let's have you come up here, build this wall, and keep moving up to the base. Kashyyyks are fine, these guys, and um, yeah, upgrades and upgrades at turbo speeds. We're about to have level 5 too. Alright, so we've arrived out in front of his base. Um, it's Ghulam in time, and that's what's really cool about having them as your mercenaries. This is a really strong strategy on this map too, by the way. Setting up towers here on the high ground, and um, just cackling all the way to the bank. So we'll do that, set up that, okay. And um, I believe we have mercs here, so let's do this. One, two, three, okay, and then head up to these walls, secure them. Um, as far as the Relic Masters goes, yeah, we have one here, so let's grab that Sacred Site. Actually, let's drop this Relic off first here. Okay, so you guys have expunged the gold. So tower, gold this. This tower is very annoying, and I'll show you guys why in a second. It's it's very troll, what you can do with it. You can just set up like a spring all tower up there or something, and you can just go all the way to the bank. Oh, he's got a good army now, though. He might lose this fight. Um, all right, let's try and get that outpost here. He was watching. Um, so we could for sure lose this. These are mostly crossbows. Yeah, we do have a lot of Lehman tonight, though, so I think that's going well for us in the front. Uh, all right, so more of these. Let's get you guys on the wood, or yeah, we probably get them on wood and just upgrade that. Um, the fight actually was really close, which is great for us, because now we can get that um, siege tower here in a minute, and it'll wreck those crossies. So let's just pull back, and um, yeah, we need to deal with the front line here if possible. All right, so pulling back. The tower's about to finish, which will do some good work. Okay, so let's just retreat, we gather up here in the front, and we need to set up some more um, infrastructure if we can. So let's go set up all this here. Okay, we're pulling back. That tower is going to... See, yeah, he's pulling a lot right now to deal with that. Okay. Ghulams. Yeah, that's all right. And we need to get you guys down. And we can set up some more olive gardens here. So let's do this and do all that. Okay, so we're cruising back. We are going to lose three villagers, but... He managed to macro up a pretty nice little army for sure. Okay, so these ranges will come. And let's go ahead and um, set up the cistern network to help deal with them. Okay, let's do that. And then you can come over here, buddy. Connect like so. And do we have any more religious characters around? We do. Alright, so yeah, you drop off the relic in the base. Oh, you already did. Okay. They already did. Alright, so we gotta prepare for the counterattack here. It's gonna be fast and furious for sure. Um, we could be in some danger. I'm not sure. I felt like I was way further ahead than I am, but maybe he's not in bad shape at all. all right, so we'll do some sneaky towering there. We do have the Olive Legions, so we'll make some Kashyyyks. Um, as far as upgrades go, let's get upgrades. And um, yeah, the Olive, the Olive economy looks pretty fat. And yeah, let's go see if we can jack that relic there. Bring it back here. Okay, more racks. Upgrades are coming out rapid fire. He's gathering at my doors, but I think I have a good enough army to fight him off here now. We'll see. We will see. He's he's in my territory now. Although, I don't know. That army looks pretty savage, actually. Ah, we're going to see how this goes. All right, so let's get you guys and uh, set up a tower here, pre preemptively. Um, we can spam out archers. Once we deal with the front line, the archers should trade pretty well into some of those guys. Ghulams. Okay, he's got a lot of those guys coming back. Yeah, maybe crossies are better. Considering the prevalence of armor here. Okay, both sides are pretty beat up now. I think I got this here. We're setting up some annoying uh, infrastructure there to try and keep him in check. Yeah, he's in my territory now, so it's a little bit harder to fight. Alright, so let's uh, creep up the side of the map, see if there's anything we can shut down there. Great. And outstanding. So that was, that was good. That could have been way worse. Uh, we do have good upgrades now, so let's continue on those. Okay. So towering gold here. Um, we need to try and starve them out of gold. And what we need to do in response is set up trade. Because on this map, that's going to be very important. So let's do this. Do that. And uh, get ready to go to the next age here soon. So tower. Let's go ahead and garrison. And now we can counter push here. We want to tower this preemptively to try and secure all those to make it very hard. And let's go knock down. I like how he's using those outposts as, like, seeing sites. It's really cool. Okay, and back you go. We have all the olives. Yeah, see, so he's attacking with his villagers, but we can we can get out and repair, which is pretty funny. Meanwhile, attack, attack, attack. And um, let's go ahead and set up some more olive gardens here. 
just the jankiest olives that you can possibly get. He's losing a ton of villagers right there, actually. That's really rough for him. And uh, right on. Okay, that didn't get connected, which is very bad. That would have been nice. Um, great. So those guys got screwed over. We're going to steal what we can until his army gets there. And uh, right on. All right, so let's start setting up uh, some trade in the back shadows. So we're going to do it down here. We need to start working on this now, right? Because it'll, it'll sneak up on you for sure. All right, we'll do that. And um, houses, yes. Let's get a house here. Get a house here. And hopefully our food eco will be adequate now. Yeah, I don't feel like super confident in my army. I feel like it's going to be Imperial here in a second. I like how I'm just jacking his gold here. It's really funny. Uh, all right, so let's do this. And uh, do I want to like try and wall him in? No, no, we'll just take the gold. It's fine. Okay, so not too much siege play this game, actually, for either side. I have all the feudal upgrades. And we have the relic advantage. We should. I believe homie's bringing back the other one. Yeah, nice. All right, great. So let's set this up out here. Get that. And um, now this is level five. So we have, like, rapid fire production. Okay, his army's pretty good. If we can keep him off this, then that's going to be pretty fast. So let's go 200-200. And um, thankfully, we got the tower up already. But, yeah, his army's it's okay. I think we can take it. I think we can. Yeah, Relic, let's get another house back here. It's crazy how quickly Byzantines, like, pump out units because of the 100% efficiency. It, it's very bananas. All right, so he's got a good army here. He's coming for the towers. So if we could, like, keep drop that somehow, that would be huge. What I'm going to do is grab all of you guys. Um, firstly, turn in that wood and then come over and start grabbing this if we can. Yeah, I don't know how this fight will go. I really, really don't have a clue. Um, we do have that gold, but if he's able to get just sit on that gold, we're gonna have a bad time, right? We need to we need to do this. So we're gonna try and fight here. Set up another little forward tower. Um, seems like pretty good. Let's detach some units to go harass. You guys keep attacking there, and you guys can idle these bills. Yeah, his economy is probably hurting here. I would suspect. All right, so let's activate shield wall. Keep that going. Keep you guys going, and just kind of keep them off gold for as long as possible. And eventually, we can keep drop it. Also, like I said, so let's do that. And uh, I think we're winning this fight. It's, it's really, really hard to tell, to be honest. He's got all that, like, tower support, but overall, I think it's going well. Okay, so another thing we want to do is start setting up the siege. All right, so let's do this, do that. So we're ready to party. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's buy our way. We can start thinking about Imperial Age if we want to. We can leave all your friends behind. Okay, he's still towered up here, so let's pull back gather up and we can take a little bit more of a troll angle where we go under and shut down the gold all right so we got a lot there now um we have the sacred site you have the third relic which was out there so we got most of the relics on the map which is great um our food eco do we have all the upgrades pertinent to the age no we don't that's very bad so the gulams do we have any gulams in this army we do so they can make um can't the gulams make the siege engineering without the tech yeah they should be able to oh that's weird Shouldn't they be able to do that? Well, that's strange. All right, let's just supply cap here. Um, push out, start taking stone, or keep taking stone, I should say. We stole the gold on the back of his base, which is hilarious. All right, so let's make some uh, some of these. Some of these, all right. Let's make some haggard Greek fire and bathe him in it. And now we are going to secure this and um, do that. All right, start on that, and we can get our religious characters who are chilling. Grab the sacred site. And we're pretty close to chopping through and getting this sacred site in the middle, too, which is outstanding. All right. So it's almost time to party, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep it going here. Our eco is good. Let's get you guys gathered up. Okay. So we can just get some, like, tower emplacements here to be troll. Oh, he got the cool towers. Look at that. All right. Thankfully, our, our rams do have, like, flamethrowers on them, so they're going to be able to poke from a distance. All right. Shield wall activated. Obviously, we'll make them absorb more shots. And um, cool. Oh, the, the rams weren't quite in range. That's that's very unfortunate. Yeah, I need to, like, scoot up, but I can't quite get there, you know. All right, rams. Yes, take the tower down now. Get it. All right, get it. And the Greek fire is pouring on. Looking good. I think we've out macroed him, too. Like, we just have more stuff. All right, so that looks good. The towers are going down. He's going to be idling on gold right now. Um, you guys can just set up a little um, out. What I wanted to do originally was just this. And just wall him in there. And um, cool. So, yeah, that's going well. Let's pull you guys back. Do this. We got the keep coming up. Sacred site's going to be ours. And are we through yet in the middle? No. Because then we can go for a sacred victory, too. Towers. And you guys can go ahead and start on this. Um, we can start 
Yeah, maybe pull you guys to this and then come in and keep put a keep here to really guarantee that we get it. So we are kind of losing a little bit of ground here. We do have the sacreds. Um, how's the wall off going? It's going good. Oh, hold on. Hold up. Yeah, that's actually going to be very, potentially very strong. And these vills, are they going to make it in time? I don't know. I don't know if they're going to have the time to build a keep here. It's going to be dicey, but we're going to try it because we do still have a lot of aggression on him here. Also, a little bit of troll harass on the backside is going to be nice. You know, when you win on ladder, or at least come close to it, you don't want to be taking it from a fellow Byzantchad. Um, all right, so let's get our religious characters. They can come down here and then here. Get ready to go take that middle. We still have the Greek fire rams, and the keep is going to secure this point for us, which is going to be huge. And now homie's just going to be relying purely on olive oil. Um, you know, not going to be too many other good resources for him. We got his farms kind of corralled in too, which is nice. 14 bills. Let's get you guys down on gold and 17 on uh, gold as well. All right. It's going, man. The Olive Garden is uh, is pushing it. So we got that secured. And uh, we can go ahead and stop producing eco at this point. Middle, are we cut through yet? Not yet. Okay, the Rams can just go after some random houses, because why the hell not? You need to get more um, proper infrastructure here. Let's go ahead and do this. And uh, that can come over here. See, with like Byzantines, you have to be like constantly like micromanaging all these like little things. It's pretty troll. Oh, yeah. The siege towers in his farms is working. It's working. All right, let's gather up. Keep these rams going. Um, you guys got that, which is great. And now what we can do is we can build a couple more mercenary shacks and build some more racks. All right, so that should be good. Um, he's not going to have too much success here. This is looking pretty bleak for him there, too. He's losing a hell of a lot of villagers to this setup. All right. So Gulams, Crossies, um, we got five workers chilling in the towers here. He's losing a lot, let's repair that. He's gonna have to counterattack most likely. Okay, upgrades, looking good. Uh, we'll probably do a uh, FFA after this, yeah. Oh my god, look at that tower there, that's hilarious. Okay, so siege workshops also. So we need to start doing that. I mean, I know I can do siege engineering and make the Greek fire rams. His army's coming there now. Um, what we could do is, can you guys get down here and here? Yes, they can. Perfect. So we do this. So you wall that, and you start sieging from there too. It's really a nasty strategy on this map. Lima and I are actually one of my, probably my favorite spear unit in the game. All right, that was really good though. That harass there overall was very nice. Let's buy a little bit of stone, um, and can we do this? Unfortunately not, but let's get a gatehouse here and then start punching through this, this. Yeah, we'll just start working on that. Okay, crossies, I could age up here. Our wood eco is gonna need a little bit of milk here in a minute since we're about to run out. And cool, so we can get another relic. All right, so let's move there. Do that, and we can go ahead and build a stone wall tower there, which is very funny. Because with the Bizen memes, it, it shoots, it, it'll start shooting at the uh, villagers who are harvesting the lumber. Okay, what are these? Mostly uh, veteran archers. Okay. So make some gulams, so make some archers, and Lima Tanai, shield wall. Um, we can gather you guys up. So we're about to get that, and that's going to be very nasty. And then we can start getting speed upgrades for like mangonels and things like that. Okay, he's actually mustering a really good army. I'm very impressed. Uh, we need to find another source of wood too, so that'll be down here. Okay, did he get into my base or is that a wolf or some shit? I don't know. Okay, he's diving the keep here. That's not going to go well for him, I don't think. And uh, yeah, we have a lot of gold and a lot of olive oil. Just keep pouring, it, pouring, pouring that olive oil on. And then you can bring that over here to this uh, last one. Yes, my biz and memes. Keep going. Mostly archer units. It's all good. Yeah, and he's trying to grab that, but that's not going to happen. So now what we need to do is um, get that giant wall going here. Yeah, we need to, like, really, really deny that space. Because he's out of gold. He's just going to be the Olive Garden Master. I have 5,000 gold. I actually don't get how I lost this. Uh, you had 2 TC. Or, or 1. Okay, let's get in there. Garrison up. We could afford to lose some bills. We're a little bit overkill on that. I had 2 TC. I don't know if he was on 1 or 2. Yeah, I, I, I don't know I don't, if I could exactly explain why he lost this, but um, certainly, like, the harassing in Eco, um, I think it was a little bit better for us. All right. 
Let's gather you guys up. Go here. Keep pushing in. Um, we can start spamming some Greek fire rams. We could even buy our way to Impage at this point. Um, this tower is going to start blasting any villagers too that decide to come out. All right, so the Kashyyyks are moving, and now um, we're going to go Imperial Age. And now my Imperial Land Mage, I actually like the Palantine School a lot because it gives you just a shit ton of free units. Um, it, it's basically a 30% cost reduction on all of your core Byzantine units. The the other landmark is good, but like, you know, Mangonels aren't like bad. It's not like we need to replace them, right? So there can only be one pit lord of the Byzantines. So it's going to be me. All right, let's get into the farms, do a little bit of grass here, do this, do this, and um, we do that. We're going to be impage here and keep attacking that way. All right, archers, we got the keep up. This is a good scrappy game, though. This is very, very scrappy. Um, he played very well. All right, how are we looking here? Do we need trade at this point? No, not yet. Okay, and we almost got this side fully walled. We have the sacreds. Um, looking, looking tough, although he's holding very well. This man is, like, scrappy as hell. Let's see. I'd have to, have to look. Yeah, I can't say right now. That's for sure. But yeah, he's he's about to get Imperial here. The Imperial Bizon memes. And we have enough gold to upgrade, like, everything, too. The Palantine School of I'm Too Weak? Yeah, I know. So, all right. Start mixing in some bombards. FK. GG. Well played. That was a good game. Well, let's look at income stats. Because clearly the fights didn't go as well as he thought, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. Man lost 40 bills and doesn't know. Yeah, I mean, he did lose a shit ton of bills in various engagements. That's true. His economy looks nice, but I have something similar here. Mine's definitely safer. Um... Okay, economy, I mean, okay. So look at the income stats. 21K gold versus 8K. And 36 food to 31. Probs there. GG, well played. Yeah, I mean, that's like, dude, look at the income difference. We crushed him on everything. <laughs> that was that was like 21K, 21K gold against 8.3. Oh my God. How do you get more food? Um, probs, more farms. Let, let's see, bill count. Okay, we're, we're talking, we're talking it out like gentlemen here. I built farms super early. Yeah, I did have those early, that's true. Let's look at the timeline and look at the villager count. I also had more bills all game. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know what more I need to do to explain it, you know? Like, look at the villager difference. Yeah. GG. GG, well played. All right. So, um, yeah, that was fun. The Bizon memes got it, baby. Uh, did we? Did it? Oh, the score didn't go through yet, I don't think. Yeah, it will soon. Did it go into my match history? Let's see. Um, yeah, solar ranked. Okay, good. Yeah, so we broke even there. I would have liked to have shown you guys some non-Byzantine mirror matches. Um, all right, so clearly you guys want an island FFA. So the island FFA is for sure. And then let's do this. Start a poll. And um, next game, one more 1v1 or FFA. All right, so you guys vote. I'm going to chill out. I can do like one more, one more 1v1 if you guys want. Yeah, <laughs> that was fun. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. But whatever you guys want, we can jump into either one. I'm going to go grab some water while you guys vote. How would you feel? I also had five relics. I had five relics. He had he had none. So that's a that's a big variable too. We had map control for the most part, yeah. How would you feel if Relic added Tom Bombadil from Lord of the Rings as a playable hero? <laughs> that's such an obscure reference. God damn! All right, looks like we're doing the FFA. So um, yeah, let's fire this off. So we're gonna cast this. So the first person here was Nanny Yori. Wow, all right, you already got it. Yep, you can host. Na Nanny with the steel chair. Nanny was the first one there. I mean, the fights didn't seem to go that well. He said I was losing fights, but like, 
most of them were, I think, him getting chased back. I mean, he had a little bit of success when I was in his base that one time, but no, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Yeah, Nanny's Nanny's already got it. So, yeah, sorry, he beat you all. He was the top of the list here. I'm doing very well. Hope you guys are doing great too. It's good to be back streaming. You know, feels weird not doing it. Okay, so Nanny should have a lobby up, and we'll um, wait to, for that. It's going to be an island FFA, probably a custom map of some sort. How you doing, Allied? Hope you're doing well. Uh, gonna host some tourneys this week. I really love the 1v1 age tourneys. It's it's really cool to see all the, the tactics that the high-level dogs are kind of scheming out. For Byzantines, um, I've been going 2TC a lot. I would say that most of my success with Byzantines, and uh, this is all I play, these are all Byzantine ranked games, are have been 2TC games, like 100%. Yeah, like uh, that was French, that was a 2TC game. This was, uh, yeah, like t this was a 2TC game. Because Byzantines, if you can get to Castle Age with 2TC economy, dude, you can just run people over. Because you have, like, the Olive, so you have extra units. You get Ghulams, who can then build Manganels. Like, it, you can do some serious Castle Age pressure. 1v1s are good times. Thanks for putting your rank. Oh, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't care about I mean, as long as I get Conqueror for the season, I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> you need to mine gold instead of salt? No. He seemed like a nice guy. He just, uh, you know, I get that sometimes too. Like where I've, I've, uh, you know, I'll lose to a Joan of Arc and be like, you know, and, and I have to fight back the urge to like make a snide comment like about Joan of Arc, you know. <laughs> it happens to everyone, you know. It's no problem to our homie there. He played well. It was a good game. He invested a lot in the like the early mercenaries, whereas I didn't. I think that was a big differentiating factor as well. Uh, all right, so let's find Nanny here. Should be on our friends list. Professor Finbar. I assume the lobby's already ready to go. Can I like cast from here? Okay, Nanny Yori. It's weird. I would like. Why can't I just cast from there? Right. It says they're in the game. All right. So scrolling down. Looks like Poor Smeagol didn't get in. The the hard times. All right. Where are we looking at? Joan of Arc is what brings the most salt out of me. Yeah, he said turn loss. Yeah, yeah. We 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 uh, we probably had our second TC up sooner. I would suspect. Okay, let's find Annie this way. So we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Can I not? Can I not like spectate from here? Oh, that's so annoying. Okay. Am I just like scrolling past their name or looking in the wrong area? Online friends. Okay, let's close everything else. Thank you guys for joining this boomer stream. As each year passes, I become less competent at figuring out technology. I'll do a 1v1 stream sometime soon, too. I love, I've been playing a ton. Just off stream, mainly. We're, we uh, we launched just loading in now. Sounds good. I do think the best mercenary route for the for them is the... Uh, the Western mercenaries, I think, is the worst overall. Like, longbows and launch neck are decent. But the thing is, like, Kashyyyk scale well into the Castle Age, too. They're basically Castle Age knights to an extent. So, like, the Golden Horn Tower is going to be producing Kashyyyk as well as, you know, Ghulam, which is crazy good unit quality. Whereas, like, producing a couple launch necked isn't, like, as impactful, in my opinion. I mean, they're still good, but, um, yeah. The Longbows are interesting. There's kind of a, a, a 2TC Grand Winery mercenary build where you build uh, Longbows with all of your olive oil from your Grand Winery. And what you do from there is you then just defend your 2TC with Longbow, which is like what English do. It's, it's kind of cool. Very fun stuff. All right, here we are, guys. No more games. Zoomer brains don't work. Uh, we're all better at something, right? Like each generation kind of has its strong suits, for sure. Um, I think that like millennials, like the elder millennials, definitely are like the most like tech tech savvy generation in terms of like hard technology. So like building computers, like the, the hard wiring of things, right? Whereas like the younger generation seem to be better on, you know, mobile devices and those sort of things, right? Like we know how to suffer and do like Microsoft Excel documents. Like, you know, I, I feel like that's not like a common skill. Yeah, Streltsy are good, Genzits, but I also think that the um, getting the Grenadiers with China is very strong too. Technology's become very ridiculous the past four years. I'm a comp scientist and even I'm scratching my head. Okay, it's not just me. Yeah, it's not just me. Fitzbro's in the game, really? <laughs> Isn't he a streamer? 
That's pretty fun. Oh yeah, he plays Byzantines. Oh yeah, good on him, right on. I've watched his stream a little bit. Seems like a, a nice lad. All right, let's fire it up, man. Now, spawning on the north side of the map, ladies and gentlemen, it is gonna be Rexosaurus on Zhu Shi's Legacy. Over to the east side of things, we do have Nani Yori. Nani Yori is gonna be rocking Joan of Arc. So Joan of Arc is gonna be sailing around the islands with her shotgun, causing all sorts of havoc and uh, doing it to it. Over to the due east of the map, we do have God A. God A is gonna be on the French. So already have two S tier civs on islands. The French with the guild hall is one of the few civs that can just get whatever resource it needs and cackle all cool. the way to the bank. So we have two French players right out of the gates here. Now on the south side, we are gonna be rocking Japan. Now, what are the big strengths of Japan on an island map? Let's just like kind of think about this. The Tanagashima gunsmith is very good. Um, obviously being able to just pump out Ozutsu okay. as well as bombards in a defensive situation is very, very nice or hand cannoneers if you're really on the defense. But yeah, Japan also has the four relics guaranteed. So they're at the very least going to be getting 75, 150, 225, 300 gold a minute nonstop from their Yorishiru. So um, I think that is pretty good. So yeah, Japan definitely has got some teeth. Very good defensively. They have better keeps. Japanese keeps will be harder to deal with when invading an island. So the rockets in tandem with the higher HP pool could be very, very nice. Now, down on the south. Oh my god, we have the best island here. Dude, our boy Ender. Oh man, this guy scored. Holy shit. He's playing the English too. Um, he got his own little personal dock, or island I should say, or pool of water, a pond. And there's plenty of deep sea fish. So you can literally have your entire food eco back here if you're Ender, completely safe. You don't need to worry about anybody coming and getting that booty. And uh, you're gonna be able to just, yeah, laugh it up. That's really, really nice for Ender. Now over to the Northwest, we are gonna be seeing an Ottoman player who is gonna be helmed by Jordan. Jordan is uh, gonna be the king of great bombards. Ottomans, yeah, great bombards can fight back against navies super well. They will thump down boats and they'll do some big, big damage. So yeah, Ottomans always a force to be reckoned with and they build free units out of military schools. So if you have four military schools on your main island, you know, even if you're, you know, starved of resources, you can keep making Janissaries and all that different sort of yeah. stuff. So somebody in chat asking, is the Fancy Spectator layout only for 1v1? And the answer is yes, it's only for 1v1. Now to the Northwest, it is going to be Fitzbro. Uh, he's going to be on my beloved Olive Oil Brothers, and uh, it is going to be the Byzantines. So Byzantines on island maps, they are not bad um, because their farms generate olive oil, which can then be spent to make, you know, varying good quality units. So you can go, one of my favorite ones on island maps is to go the Delhi route. So you go for the mercenaries that give you elephants and then you load up like 20 elephants and land on somebody's island. And they're like, what the hell? This, there's no Delhi players in the game and you're just there, right? Grand Winery is for sure the landmark. Uh, that's a very, very good choice here by Fitzbro. It's, uh, it's gonna give him that solid uh, olive economy. He's probably gonna go for an engineering school, be able to build hui hui pows, all sorts of fun stuff like that. So um, yeah, as far as the best islands go, definitely Fitzbro here has like an S tier island. S tier island here for Rexasaurus and S tier for Ender down in the bottom. Like all those guys are gonna be laughing it up all the way to the bank with their easily, easily defensible islands and uh, you know other goodies that they bring. In Byzantines, I, I, you know, we, I know people like to give them a lot of grief about their win rates, um, but I think it's a civilization which has a lot of potential and honestly is pretty good if you're somebody who plays them a lot. If you're somebody who just, let's say you're playing, maybe you've been playing for a while, you're playing you know, at the diamond level, platinum level, whatever, and you just decide to pick up a sieve. If you go and pick up England, you're immediately gonna be winning you know, a fair amount of games, at least probably around 50%, right? You'll do fine, but Byzantines at first, you'll probably have like a 20% win rate until you figure out the mechanics and how their cisterns work. Like little things like this, like Dialectus, being able to get 250 research speed on your cisterns. Like if you have the micro for that and different things, man, oh, it is so, so good. So yeah, definitely don't sleep on the Byzantines. I think they're a pretty good sieve. Um, I just think some of the other new sieves were obviously overtuned and when they're brought into check, it'll be a, a better day for us all. So yeah, the battle's on. Nobody's done anything too crazy yet. We can fast forward to the current live state of the game as on the top side, we do see the Lord of China or Jushi, I should say. Um, Jushi will be very good here. Their bombards will be disgusting. Oh my God. Fitzbro reaching Feudal Age with his Grand Winery, hitting stone very hard. He's obviously gonna go Penta Cistern, which is the way to do it. Um, this is, now check this out from Fitzbro here, guys. A little bit of fast forwarding catch up and now we're there. Um, he doesn't even go for water out of the gates. He, as a matter of fact, just immediately goes Triple Cistern, hitting stone very hard. Gonna be probably going two TC, yeah. Uh, triple uh, or three cistern double TC build, which is good, but not going to be playing water, which I can't. That's an interesting choice. We're going to have to see. I mean, sure, he might be able to get cast a little bit faster, or get that second TC going, but but yeah, that's uh, that's fun, man. <laughs> is that wind? No, that was the Aja. 
Yeah, the Hui Hui Pals will perhaps be here at uh, some point. So England are going to be going the Abbey of Kings. Oh my God, the King of England. That's so haggard though. The Abbey of Kings is definitely not um, ever going to be as good. I mean, the King is good situationally in 1v1 because you can get a Knight out really early on in Feudal Age and pressure your opponent and do things behind it. But having the uh, Council Hall to be able to make longbows or crossbows when your island is invaded, I think is, generally speaking, going to be much, much better. So. Over on the east side, what do we got? Japan. Uh, oh, it's Contende. Oh, I haven't seen him in ages. He was one of my buddies who I used to play Total War with back in the day. Right on, man. But um, yeah, he is going to be going with the... Oh my god. Oh my god. What is Contende doing? Oh no. Oh no. This this is... Is this what I think it is? Is this going to be a dreaded Shinobi invasion? Who is going to get the Shinobi though? Oh my god. The Coca Township. That is so janky. That is so janky. Oh my god. It's the, uh, it's the Shinobi. Where are they going to go though? They're just standing. They're reflecting. They're like listening to... Uh, they're writing haikus while they stare at the fish in the water. All right, so we have to keep an eye on Contende. We really, really do. Over here, we have the French. they currently getting Chivalry, which is a very strange choice here by God, eh? Chivalry is an extremely gold expensive upgrade. It's 200 gold, and um, he's not even really building French Knights. So, yeah, this is a this is some hard memeing. I mean, he's going to need like 10, 15 Shinobi to really do anything substantial, right? Looking at the Olive Empire, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, how could you not love the Byzantines? Look how glorious this empire looks. 2TC... Uh, aqueducts running everywhere. All the homies are hydrated. They have they have a good sewer system, I'm sure. You know, it's great. They're, they're doing awesome. What do we got on top? Jushi's Legacy and Rexasaurus. He is uh, currently going to be getting the Shaolin Monastery. Is this a fast castle? Um, it does not look super quick. I mean, eight minutes is not the fa certainly not fast by castle standards, but again, with uh, docks, it could be a little bit quicker. But, you know, the Shaolin Monks can go invade other people's islands. If I were Rexasaurus, that's what I would want to see. I would want to see the Shaolin Monks getting on boats and invading. I think that would be the strongest, uh, strongest for sure. So a couple of colonists have set up in the middle. We do have uh, Nani Yori. Nani Yori, a, a very, very solid FFA player. Really, really knows how to play the FFA game well. Um, Joan of Arc is sitting on the Middle Island, hunting boars and whatever else she can find here. And uh, yeah, School of Cavalry here is a great call because if your main base gets destroyed, but you still have the center island, you're going to be able to fall back. Um, what are the ninjas doing, by the way? Are they going to land somewhere? Like where? I feel like I should just not pay attention to anybody except the ninja master. All right, so we see the water ninjas. Yes, they're here. In the middle, a little bit of a cont uh, contest, but Joan of Arc is going to be very brutal in the middle. She's going to be able to bully most things, right? And we see a TC coming down from the French. Um, oh, but the Shinobis have arrived! Oh no, he's karate kicking that guy! The Shinobi gets in and prison shanks the villagers down. Is he going to be using his torch on the tower? He should definitely run away here, but... Oh, he, he did the anime teleport! Oh my god. That was so troll. So he came out and killed one of the villagers building a TC, and now he's sitting here. And I imagine the rest of the Shinobi are going to be following suit. Uh, we don't know where they're going to be, but yeah, I love that he went Shinobi. That's so, so hilarious. And yeah, there's going to be a couple more. If they teleport in and kill the villagers, that is going to be such a massive setback to Blue. He's going to be banished off the island. Now, we do see Fitzbro setting up. He's going to be setting up a couple outposts, which is good to defend against French knights. His transport ship is harried by Rexasaurus, so Rexasaurus is going to be seeing this information here. Cistern also being set up. It's very good because it can give building damage reduction as well as augment your economy nearby, so... I would imagine there's going to be an excellent, excellent um, sister network here on the Middle Island. But yeah, you got to get there if you can. Now, what is Contende doing? This man is an absolute lunatic. He's setting up uh, what appears to be a wall around the sacred site. Oh my god, here comes the Shinobis. Are they going to get that villager? They could kill this tower easy. So they move in. Um, if Contende were to use the sabotage on the tower, that would be pretty big. Is he going to use it, though? He's just going after the TC, which is pretty Bronzodia. Definitely needs to just sabotage that tower and do the damage. Okay, they do the anime teleport, and they do get away. So the Shinobi is going to be circling about, looking for whatever they can find. Uh, no other island invasions. Looking at Red, Nanny's just kind of ecoing and chilling, having a very, very good uh, kind of fishing presence. We're here for God A, kind of the same thing, but certainly in a worse situation. The fact that a second TC hasn't gotten up is going to be very tough. Over here on Old Fitzbro, it's looking very, very uh, gold, <laughs> golden olives all over the place. It's looking great. And he's got a good foothold in the center. He's been able to grab a big 8,000 gold vein here, as well as a stone outcropping. And down to the southwest, what is Jordan up to? Jordan on 2TC, double military school, making spears. So Jordan is getting a good military and two TCs, but doesn't seem to be fishing too much. He's got a little bit of fishing going on. But where are the Shinobis, the jank? Are they still around? We see the sacred site being walled, but 
Yeah, there's one villager building that. This TC is eventually going to finish. And now the Japanese Shinobi Lord is going to be circling around the coast looking for uh, prey wherever they can find it. And, uh, yeah, man. I don't know. I, don't, I feel like it's not going to go great for Yellow. I mean, these Shinobi, they could kill Joan of Arc 3v1, probably, if they actually turn and fight. We're going to see what his micro looks like. But these Shinobi do get AoE cleave. They're not fighting back. A little bit of bronze micro here from Contende. He needs to turn around and fight, and there he goes. All right, so now they're going to be fighting. Did that guy just throw a torch at that horseman there? All right, can they take down Joan of Arc? No, she's too OP. So Joan of Arc AoEs them, shows those ninjas who's boss, and uh, they get sent back to their uh, to their anime body pillows where they will uh, spend the rest of time. All right, so another uh, Shaolin Monk landing on the island. So we got the Shaolin Monk landing. Um, he's getting shot by TC. He's probably going to be dying. Uh, should use Body of Iron if you can. Some people are reaching Castle Age here. We do see Teal reaching Castle Age as well. The Mongols are really, really, really good here on island maps. They're crazy strong. Uh, they, they can obviously get pretty good resources. And uh, the fact that they don't need stone to build wonders is such a massive boon for them, right? Wonder Woman wins, I know. She's OP. The anime nerds weren't able to take her down. So over here to the wall stop, yes it did. It looks like Contende gave up on those efforts. Um, are there going to be Shinobi? We do see the floating gate coming out, so now there is going to be some free gold relics over here for God A. He's going to be aging up with his guild hall here, which is built in a good spot because it's not within range of the coast, so that somebody would have to invade him to really get that. But overall, um, several strong players here. Several strong players for sure. You can see the scores reflected on the side. The most recent update, of course, we can see the uh, respective civilizations tied to the players. It looks like the English player does have the lowest, um, the lowest, uh, okay, he's building the white tower in the back, which is a heavy tell that, that that's a wonder position, right? Uh, you, you build a wonder and then you have white tower in Berkshire in front of it and you just kind of hold on your island here. But England really needs to age up. They're pretty behind at this point at the 14 minute mark, but it would appear that they are going to be aging up. Manny Yori setting down the red palace. Is it going to be somewhere? Um, no, okay, it was just castle age there. Not Imperial. Joan of Arc wasn't that crazy. And um, now she is uh, still only level two. Joan of Arc should definitely be looking on the island for some prey. There's clearly other people here who um, have some things that she could farm experience for. Okay, no crazy conflicts though. No Smeagles, no Barkshire invasions. Uh-oh, look at this. We, we have a theft. Rexasaurus with the uh, Shaolin Monk lands on the island and does steal the relics from the Mongols. So um, certainly I would imagine the Mongol player isn't going to be too happy about that. God A has reached Castle Age as well. Any landmarks being built on the island doesn't look like it. And the French have gotten their foothold here, and now they are all going to be duking it out for the middle. Joan of Arc versus a ninja, a matchup that happens more often than you might think. Thanks, <laughs> anime. Yeah? yeah no, not something I've ever seen before. Not something I have ever seen. All right. All is calm on the Western Front. Jordan reaching Castle Age. Jordan is our uh, mighty Ottoman player. Military school is popping off around the blacksmith, so, I mean, you could... The Ottomans could literally just like spam whatever free units. This is a bit of a mistake. He definitely needs to switch the military schools <coughs> to be making men at arms. Sorry, I got caught, something caught in my throat there. Uh, so then he could actually do an invasion. If he gets those good quality units, Jordan would be able to move up and probably, you know, potentially invade Fitzbro and do some really nasty damage. Because Fitzbro is playing turbo greedy here, which honestly is the same thing I would be doing. I'd be playing as greedy as humanly possible um, on island maps. You generally want to, but he doesn't really have a whole lot protecting his main island. If the Ottomans decided to just take their military school units with siege engineering up there, he could probably kill at least a TC and a handful of villagers before the Byzantines could uh, respond. So keep is going down in the middle. Joan of Arc and Annie are going to be duking it out um, over this objective here. But I think the keep is going to finish looking at the eco count currently of Fitzro. He's pretty good on eco. He's at 91. Joan of Arc does get some experience though, but the keep is going to be going down. So the Byzantine memes do get the keep up and uh, will be able to fend off the French. And I would imagine the Byzantines will probably respond with some military infrastructure here. Granted, it's only one cistern, so it's not like they would be producing very quickly. And the army of Joan of Arc uh, does fall. I believe Joan actually herself died too to that keep. So... She got blasted pretty damn quickly. So what is Jordan up to? Are the military school switching to good quality units? Now they are. So men at arms have been picked. Now the military school is going to be coming out for Jordan. On the bottom, Ender is just being English, uh, cackling with his Abbey of Kings. The White Tower is there. He's grabbing what relics he has. Over to the East, Contende, uh, getting Shinto shrines. Currently his Yoroshiru are there. Um, he has deposit deposited two of them. He does have an idle one here. But the Lord of Shinobi, he has not struck in, uh, in quite some time. I think it'd be hilarious to get like a 200 sack of Shinobi and just like run around with those. That'd be so funny. All right, so war junks, a little bit of naval conflict here. We do see Rexasaurus battling the Mongolians. The Mongolians have a decent AB too. Five 
but overall the Chinese Navy is a little bit stronger. Wolo low in the middle, but we do see the veteran spearman of the Zhu Shi of Rexasaurus takes the spearman down, and God A is not going to be getting that relic. Another cistern being set up here, and we do see the beautiful, beautiful aqueduct going across. And uh, now he has damage reduction of 10% on this keep if he wants to. Certainly it's going to be able to bully the French off. Um, looking at the French here, they like the French don't even need to play the middle though. They can just like have their guild hall and just sit in their base and laugh and drink wine and eat cheese and all that other sort of stuff that they enjoy. But I suspect they're going to fight for this because they don't want to give up their school of cavalry for free. Yeah, we can see the knight upgrade coming in. So elite knights are coming out for Nani Yori. In the back of the base, we do have the Guild Hall as well as the College of Artillery. Interesting. So, Red Palace has been one of the most meta, super strong island landmarks, and even in just regular FFA. But going for this, that's really curious. I mean, I guess Royal Culverins are super, super good. So, that gives French access to those. A uh, little bit of a coastal invasion here. So, we do see Contende battling it out with a God A. So, the Japanese Navy seems to be winning these engagements. Um, looking at the uh, old blue player here, the French, he seems to be kind of hemorrhaging boats. In Japan, do they have their unique tech for boats? Yes, they do. And a lot of naval upgrades coming out, including armored hulls. And yeah, it looks like, uh, looks like this French player is going to be forced back onto his island into the pits of, uh, pits of uh, oblivion there. That is for sure. So yes, in the recent patch, there was a change to the guild hall. The guild hall now uh, produces 50% less stone. But even still, that's more of a 1v1 thing. In FFA, it's not going to matter as much. A lot of houses being built in the back by Nani Yori. And it looks like Fitzbro here in the middle is cackling in olive oil as he continues taking the lion's share of the good resources here. Likely going to be, you know, this is a, a god tier wonder position. And Byzantines are pretty good at defending too. Olive oil being set up. So if you're Byzantines on islands, you don't really want to be exclusively relying on um, fishing. And this is really interesting. Look at this. Fitzbro actually, no fishing economy whatsoever he just does not care at all he's just straight up playing land eco which can work with byzantines because you need the olive oil right so arguably that's a little bit more prudent more towers being set up here and the byzantine meme empire is uh keeping its push going cannon tower here from nani yori though is going to be able to fight that off blue on the other side does have a nice foothold got a but japan looks like they might oh my god what is going on he's building like stone towers Okay, blue could be in serious, serious danger. We do see the dreaded uh, stone tower coming down. A lot of barracks going to be produced. And blue's army seems pretty, pretty rough. I think that overall Contende is going to be getting the kill here. Meanwhile, on the south side, our English player just, you know, really just turtling and hanging out on his island. And he should be Imperial soon and build uh, probably, you know, mostly farms. You could even cut your fishing eco and just switch it to farm eco. For England, that probably is smart because their food eco is so efficient and also generates gold. So you would want to do that. Look at this, Jordan building just the great stone walls around his empire. Seagate Castle is set up, and uh, he is Imperial now. Uh, does he have the Mehmed Armory? we got the Twin Minaret, and yes, the Mehmed needs to be switched on to the uh, Great Bombard production as soon as it can. All right, so yeah, the Ottomans, they're there, and they're ready to go, man. In the middle, Nani Yori appears to be losing a little bit of ground. Granted, this uh, tower is up, and it is now stone, so a stone cannon tower should be pretty impactful. Looking at the bank, Fitzboro is definitely like looking like... Not like a wonder anytime soon, but it's it's a good economy. It's a very, very good economy. Yeah, yellow seems to be dom dominating this engagement. And the French have lost most of their food eco on the coastline. All their landmarks are here. And oh my god, look. Look, there's a shinobi. Oh, he's shaking down the eco count. Oh no, look at dude. He's straight up front. He's Steven Seagal front kicks that guy, dude. Or more like Anderson Silva, but... All right, they're going to keep shanking. And dude, this one Shinobi has got... He's he's the top-ranked player in his Call of Duty lobby. He's got the most. He's got the best KDA here, for sure. Uh, yeah, just literally we just saw like five villagers go down there to that Shinobi. So that is very, very rough. And he's got his little island situation. But um, at the end of the day, does Blue even have the bank to do anything with it? No. Blue is basically dead. The Japanese are just going to eventually steamroll them here. He's already got trebuchets out. So that's kind of a bit of a foregone conclusion. Um, any other conflicts on the map? I don't think so. He's going for the new guy. Yeah, he wasn't messing around there, dude. He wasn't messing around. All right, so Japan encircling the island. Uh, somebody in chat asking about what boats the English get in Imperial Age. They get access to the beloved Karak, which is uh, pretty standard on a lot of civs. So the French coming out to try and uh, defend their lands. A couple Japanese spearmen, though, should be able to fight them off. Contende didn't bring a ton here, but he does have hard spearmen battling these veteran knights. Um, spearmen do kind of get karate chopped there, but that tower might be able to help fend them off. Ender has reached Imperial Age, so our English player on the bottom. Uh, Berkshire Palace, for sure, somewhere. Berkshire, Berkshire, Berkshire. It's got to be Berkshire. Um, it's just so powerful. Oh, Wind oh, Wingard. Wow. Players are doing off-meta. I mean, 
I guess Wingard is cute because you can spam a mass army of Wingard Rangers if you want to and just have like a super cool elite army on your island, but overall I just think that is probably not going to be quite as good. So, yep, nobody's messing with the Byzantines. They're just kind of cackling and doing whatever they please. Big Navy coming down from, uh, <laughs> we'll just call him Wake Up here for now so I don't get a uh, karate chop by YouTube, but a little bit of a naval fight. It's going to be Naniori battling it out. Naniori was clearly coming to attack Fitzbro, but it looks like uh, Naniori does get intercepted by the Mongol fleet. And Fitzbro is going to be able to live it up here, and uh, he's got uh, building a lot of markets. Is he going to be trying some sort of funky trade shenanigans? We'll have to see. Mongols are going to be torching these, though, so probably not going to go down. Looking at green, he got three relics on Jushi. That's pretty good. Uh, those three relics can be slapped into pagodas if you want to, which is pretty awesome. Oh, wow. Five relics on Rexosaurus, dude. What a chad. Man, he got so many. Got so many. So blue is going to be the first to fall here. Uh, Traction trebuchets. The Dark Lord of uh, Shinobis. The mall, the mall ninjas have arrived. And uh, yeah, this French player is toast. GG, well played to God. He's, he's, he's learning. He's doing his thing. Fighting a, a, a very scrappy Shinobi master down here. So certainly no shaming going down. The Ottomans uh, are summoning their inner dandy dragon tactics where they sit AFK in their base for 90% of the game and then build a wonder. That seems to be what's going on over here. On the other side, we do see the French falling here, the spearmen moving up. It's basically just the TC. Rams are being built by Contende, and also villagers are going to be hustling up. So that is going to be... Uh, good night, sweet prince. That is going to be all that she uh, all that she can do. Nanny Ori with a nice navy circling around. Currently in the guild hall, what is being banked? It looks like it's food in the bank. Very interesting. Um, I'm surprised that hasn't been switched to gold or a more valuable resource, because food is very, very plentiful on these type of maps. Uh, beautiful olive garden economy. I, I'm, I have to admit, I'm a little bit inspired by Fitzbro's like, olive oil on... I mean, it, it's slower to age up, but... Considering the mechanics of the faction, it seems good. And we do have the foreign um, engineering school, so he's probably going to build like a million artillery pieces and just try and, you know, win with that. Yeah, the Shaolin Relic Lord. You ain't kidding. Naniori uh, in the middle. Oh my god, he's going for it! He's he's going for the Red Palace in the middle. Oh, but his main base is so close to dying. Is he going to make it? I think he is. I think he's barely going to make it. There are a couple trebs. If the, um, if the Japanese player had been a little bit quicker about it, he would have gotten the kill. But the Red Palace is going to finish. Oh my god, and he holds on, dude. And Red Palace is certainly hard to kill. Japan would need some serious stopping power to come in and get this. And Contende is still only in Castle Age 2. Um, Rexosaurus is still in Castle Age. Um, oh wow, big invasion here. So looking in the north, Rexosaurus landed off the coast, came down here, invaded the Mongols. And the Mongols did not appear to have the ground-based infrastructure to fight this off. So the Mongol player could actually be in big danger right now as they're hemorrhaging casualties. Palace Guard do have two ranged armor upgrades, couple spring ults nearby. Could take those bad boys down, but we're going to see if the Chinese player is going to be able to get those. So a couple people might be going down here. We're going to have to see. Um, the Mongols are in a really, really bad position. They have a huge navy, but not anything to really uh, do to this uh, land-based invasion here, right? So Nestebi is still shooting away. Is China going to be landing more reinforcements? Yes, the second wave is coming over. Seven villagers, battering rams, uh, crossbows and spears, and more rams. It is getting on there. Up at the top, Japan clearing the island here. And look at that. They set up their Tanegashima gunsmith here. So that's good FFA fundamentals here by Contende. Knowing that you want to split your landmarks up if you can. I mean, if you, if you not always the Byzantine houses here being built. Um, obviously sparing some room on the mainland. But they, they do give a little bit of vision. But this is kind of risky here. Kind of curious. It's got all these markets. Is there some sort of weird cheese I'm not aware of? Some sort of Bizon meme trick? I do not know. <laughs> try relocating Mongols. Go ahead, try. I know they can't. But the Mongols uh, do rally a bit of a defense. Some veteran Kashyyyks have arrived, but now we do have villagers coming out for Rexosaurus. Rex is going to be setting up a siege workshop. Rams coming out, and the Mongol defenders are definitely going down. The Mongols have also have had an idled eco for a long time. They haven't been producing, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe a couple villagers here and there, but they're suffering for sure. So, Gade's landmark is being attacked. The Red Palace has been spotted. Um, it looks like he is able to muster some defense over here. Uh, the Battle of the Middle is still going down. And wow, look at this. Nanny's Navy came over and crushed this. And it looks like uh, Fitzbro is going to be pushed off the middle potentially. Although, he just relocated down here. So, I think, is he just building these to be annoying? Yeah, oh, he's building them for stone. That's right. It, it's Of course, it's stupid. Yeah, he's building them for stone to try and get a wonder out. Um, probably going to be wondering pretty quickly here. Yeah, he's already got 6,000 stone in the bank, so... Definitely on the horizon. He's building them for stone. I do the same thing. I just It just like took me a moment to re register that. All right, on the other side, Japan is going to be loading up. They did manage to get one relic from the base here. Uh, the Mongols are getting rammed, and now trebuchets are on their way out. And yeah, you definitely need to kill these TCs, because they're just farming your armies as they pop out. But I suspect Teal is probably going to die, unless Teal can you know get a bunch of villagers. Let's see his eco. Uh, he could sell all of his, his wood. 
and bank food for a minute and try and build his Imperial Landmark in the middle so he has an opportunity to kind of run around. Um, looking on the bottom side, we do see the Ottomans just basically AFK in their base, which I love, you know. The auto chads are hanging out. English with a big navy. Holy shit, that's a good navy too. Karax, Hulks, uh, some demo ship support. You gotta love it. It's gonna be two players falling here. Currently, I'm surprised Rexosaurus hasn't gone imp. The Mongols are harrying the coast though. Look at this. They're trying to get a little bit of revenge on the homies, but I don't know how well that's gonna go for you. So town center is gonna be taken down here. So it's being repaired. And uh, we do see military infrastructure now being set up on the island here for the Chinese, for Zhushis. And Zhushis still pushing. Fitzbro definitely is preparing for a wonder. I mean, you can see the walls coming up and uh, military infrastructure being built. Lima Tanai are such good spear units. The fact that you can get spear units that can mitigate range damage, I believe by half when their shields are up, is so good in the late game. Makes them very good defensively. And yep, that's going to be the White Stupa going down. He didn't have the opportunity to build it elsewhere. Um, Mongols mustering a defense. Men at arms coming out. China does have a lot of crossbows, which are going to be able to potentially farm them. And they are mass producing here. Yep, yep. China's got a lot of momentum. And that is going to be that. So Blue's hanging in there. Nobody's trying to kill Blue. The Bizen memes are just spamming out um, houses and uh, markets to try and get that stone economy, which is hilarious. One of the big strengths of the Bizen memes and the FFA. On the other side, what do we got? We got the Karax circling about. And they could shoot down these walls of the Ottomans, but I suspect they don't want to have an international diplomatic disaster here. So they're not going to be messing with the Ottoman Empire. They saw what happened to Constantinople. They're like, no, thank you. Uh, over here, looks like uh, Japan is coming to try and finish off Blue, which is hilarious. It ain't going to be easy, though. Blue's got the Red Palace here. That landmark is crazy, crazy good. And uh, did we see the end of the Mongols? Yeah, landmark is on the run. That's their actual town center. It's on fire. Chinese army's chasing the villagers. Mongols are trying desperately to get some infrastructure here, but they're basically building men at arms, which are countered by the existing crossbows. So not going to be great for them. And let's take inventory. Step redoubt. Uh, what a cat. He's in Imperial Age. White Stoop is down. Town Center is about to go down. That will go down also. And then just the Deer Stones would be the next one. And that would pretty much be it. Yellow and God seem to have a truce. Yeah, you think so? It do this doesn't look like a truce to me. This looks like this looks like some, uh, some blood feuding for sure. I mean, this isn't blood feuding. It makes sense. Japan wants to finish off the French. You definitely do. Because then you can secure all these island and all, all this wood is yours. And wood is like spice. It's like the Dune universe. It's like the spice. So you want to get that. You want to get that for sure. So it looks like the aging up is going. A little bit of trade going here. Nice trade from Nanny. That's very good. Nanny Yori is going to be a tyrant. Uh, for sure is going to be rich. I mean, look at Nanny's bank. Uh, Guildhall is probably banking stone now, right? Yep, yeah, it's banking stone. Which has been nerfed, but it's still going to be enough to get a wonder. And gold is going to be coming in in pretty good amounts with all these trade. Oh man, that's really, really clean. That is really, really clean for sure. So the French here are able to survive. The Chad God is able to hold in the middle. And yeah, this doesn't look like it's going to be peace now. It's actually going to be the Karax of Ender coming in to try and take down the Ottomans. But the Ottoman Great Chungus is from the coastline. Going to be thumping down some of these boats with proper micro, but pulling back here. Okay, so they pull back. Japan's having some fun. This, this man likes to play crazy stuff. Obviously, I see some of you in chat saying, you know, yeah, the infinite wood landmark would be better, obviously. But this is just like pure memes, and it's very fun. It, it's kind of inspired me. I think the next time we play Islands, I'm going to go a mass Shinobi rush. I'm just going to get like 30 of them and, and land on somebody's island. That would be so funny. All right. So still Daka Daka firing in the middle. We do see Naniori losing quite a bit of villagers here to Fitzbro's keep, which has been able to hold on. And there is going to be a cannon placement being built. And Fitzbro definitely just cackling it up. Yep, getting as much stone as he possibly can. I'm um, looking at his uh, his stone in income. It's close to Wonder territory, but not quite. He's got 73 on wood purging through his main island, which is going to be running out. Wonder being set up at the Palantine School? No, foreign military. Obviously, and because then you can spam nest of bees, which are insanely good on the defense. But yeah, Ottomans here are getting pounded pretty hard. And this is a huge win for Fitzbro, because if Fitzbro is one neighbor who has good siege potential gets taken out by the English, then he's just like straight up in wonder territory. And I don't know if anybody else is really, really thinking of, um, of going for a wonder like in this immediate moment. It's going to be a hard island to crack. Byzantines are, are pretty good on the defense, though, in the later ages. Um, the damage reduction from the cisterns will give uh, all of your buildings 25% uh, less damage, which is huge, right? So you can pop that on your keeps and your uh, static defenses. More olive groves are being set up. And uh, yeah, he is going to be feasting on olive oil tonight, ladies and gentlemen. But Nanny might be the most powerful economically with all this going. A little bit of a naval engagement. Nanny Ori is going to be coming across with a beautiful navy and pushing back the uh, Japanese war junk squad. The Japanese navy, definitely weaker. And um, oh my god. Japan is trolling so hard. Look, they just landed a couple of random ass Ozutsu here and they're just popping these villagers. Oh my god. This is uh, this is wild. Yeah, they're getting in there. 
And the French rebuilt their TC. Look at that. Oh my God. They rebuilt the town center and it has the upgrade from the Red Palace. So it has the Arbalist uh, projectile. That's so funny. So Japan is going to have to come back and, uh, you know, teach this old man a lesson. Oh. All right. Bizon memes. I'm pretty comfortable in the middle. Naniori readjusting the uh, eco here. Uh, Joan of Arc is nearby. She could call in her riders or um, she's only castle age Joan. She hasn't gotten that much experience yet. But once she's Imperial Age Joan and she can call in the cannons, that is when shit is going to get very, very real. Yeah, she'll be able to push these keep off and probably push Fitzbro off the middle. But like Fitzbro is just memeing so hard. And this is, I mean, not even memeing. This is a, le a legitimate strategy for Byzantines in building all these. But now we get some Royal Cannons coming in. Royal Cannons going to start pounding down all these buildings. And uh, looking at the Stone Bank, currently it's, uh, it's not bad. He didn't get any relics or anything, so he's not laughing too hard. And we do see the camels. So the camel riders will be given the camel support, which is really good. That's why I think the camel techs are one of the top tier ones for Byzantines. So um, Byzantine mercenaries come with all the upgrades of the civs you get them from. So they give nearby infantry armor, which is so crazy powerful. It is so crazy powerful with Byzantines. You can do that with Rangians and give your Lima Tanai plus two armor. It's like really, really, really fun strategy. So Joan of Arc is still Castle Age Joan, but she's going to be moving up for the experience. And does she get it? And she's going to get it in a second. She's charging in. So Joan should get quite a bit of experience here. And she does. 90 experience for her. And now she can start just farming these buildings for experience and aging up from there. So Japan is circling the coast. They have their Atakabune. Oh, that's so cool. What does this thing do? Anti-structure specialist. Vulnerable versus incendiary ships. Cool. So Japan is nuking down the Byzantine uh, building spam on the coast, which actually is going to help Byzantines in a way because they can just rebuild them, I guess. It's not going to help. They can just delete them, but it's causing a little bit of havoc. And look at this, a big invasion here. We have the English invasion in the south. They have invaded the Ottoman Empire. And that seems like, oh, the King of England. I love it. The haggard King of England leading a coastal invasion that is going to get crushed. Oh my God. He's going to get bombarded in the face. So England attempting to invade the Ottomans, but it is going to be a crushing one-sided. He was not the king for very long. That was a, a pretty foolhardy invasion for sure. Yeah, now England is going to have to rethink their strategy. I mean, they have a big navy, but their landing force is... I mean, invading Ottomans on island maps is awful. It is absolutely awful. Because, like, their great bombards that they get for free from the Mehmed Armory are just going to plow you, dude. You're going to have a really bad time. So Joan is um, clearing up the island here. The aqueducts are being knocked down. Byzantines are getting close to wandering for sure. Fitzroy is probably going to pull the trigger soon, sooner than later, because he's got a god tier position, right? He's in the corner. Um, the other players are probably going to have problems, you know, coming over, I think. Yeah, they're going to have issues. For England, James, that's what he was yelling for sure, but it didn't go so well. You know, sometimes motivational speeches don't work uh, like they do in the movies. Yeah, and the English Navy is going to be pushed back, and he's going to be going back to the drawing board. That is for sure. Jushi looking pretty good. Um, they have stolen the Mongol island. The only player to have fallen so far is the Mongol sacred site being captured by Joan. It's pretty wild. Yeah, Joan can just kind of do it all. She can take the sacred sites, and yeah. The sacred sites on this map are a good counterplay against the um, Wonders. Cannon's a little bit stuck up here, so Joan not going to be... Uh, Getting the cannon support that she knows and loves. And we do see the Navy of Japan circling around, taking down whatever they can, killing the markets. But I think the Byzantines got what they came for. Now they're just going to try and get as much wood as they can and should be good. Yeah, Fitz, Fitz might go for a wonder soon. Oh my god, oh my god, he's going for it already. Jesus, that is risky. Um, he's either brilliant or this is going to be, you know... It depends on the skill level of the lobby too. Like if the lobby is mostly people who aren't, you know gonna be able to react well maybe but he's going with the cathedral of divine wisdom this is really really ballsy though his bank is now pretty much gone granted yeah his olive oil is gone too it looks like he was selling olive oil to get money and um yeah that is a ballsy ballsy one so i personally think i don't know how well are people gonna react to this um seeing the skill level of the lobby i feel like fitzbro might be able to pull this off seems like we have some newer players in this lobby uh, I don't know how well they're going to be reacting, so um, I think he might be able to edge this one out, man. Yeah, this is an extremely fast wonder. Extremely fast. It, and, you know, it could work out. Nani Yori will react very well. Nani Yori is a seasoned FFA player for sure. Um, and I suspect Green will too. Rexasaur seems to be pretty good. But, yeah, he's going to need... I mean, like, you got to you gotta react quicker than this. Like, as soon as you see it being built, you need to be heading over there if you can. Japan can also go and clear off the coast. That would be very nice. Use their boats to kind of clear. But Fitzbro has a wonder. Is Joan going to be going for the FFA? Oh, wait. Joan's going to go for the Sacred, maybe. Oh, no, but the Sacred site's being camped. Oh, man. Joan of Arc is not going to be able to get that easy. Um, currently, we see keeps being built. 
So, all right, so he's gonna go for the counter sacred play. Um, currently, these keeps should definitely be closer. We're being built a little bit far back, but not the worst thing in the world. The Shinobi are gonna teleport over the walls anime style. They are, dude. They're gonna, they can teleport on top of walls, not over them anymore. So Shinobi teleport on top. Um, yeah, and how is Joan of Arc gonna get that other sacred? With the Red Palace guarding it nearby, it's not quite guarding it, but it's certainly close. Uh, we do see the big English Navy coming over, but like, it, I don't care how big and thick your Navy is, you need landing forces, and you need to be able to do something about that. Nice little uh, demo ship there from Pittsburgh. Currently, where is he going? Is he going to be loading up in these transport ships? His coastline's going to be pounded, but like, that's, uh, I don't know. I suspect the other players, uh, is it going to be a counter-sacred attempt here from Joan of Arc? The Wonder, the Tracker, I mean, they still should have about three minutes. Um, yeah, they have four minutes before... Joan needs to get her clutches on the sacred site. But a counter sacred could be a big play. But that's the question is, how is the rest of the lobby going to be reacting, right? Yeah, blue is blue is um, definitely on death's bed. I mean, if blue, let's see. Blue's landmarks got destroyed. Nanny Ori should definitely go kill blue real quick if they can. We see cannons gathering over here. Nanny's navy is on the way. Where the, where do the Japanese, how do they even die? Oh, they must have all come down to the coast and gotten killed. Yeah. By the demo ships. Okay, interesting. Now the Japanese Navy is going to be on its way back, killing some Byzantine infrastructure on the way across. Um, Joan of Arc seems to be wanting to invade here, but like maybe going for the counter sacreds could be the play here. It does not seem like people are reacting very well, honestly. Um, okay, we see transport ships coming. That's good. You need to load villagers up on that. The Ottomans do have that great bombard legion, which should be pretty disgusting. I mean, this is going to be a hard hold for Fitzbro for sure. But he's, uh, I believe he's a con uh, like a conquer two, conquer three player, so should be well suited to handle this or at least try to and your navy has arrived and the french are walling off the sacred sites and now we see oh look at this this is a oh brilliant counterplay here by fitzbro he's going to be decapping the sacred site that's so good so he lands with his nest of bees there are three keeps up here though so the keeps might be able to diminish his army yeah i think the keeps the french keeps are going to be able to hold probably japanese coming across here as well um joan of arc has not gotten that sacred where is she okay so Joan of Arc is, is she in there? No, those are royal knights, but there's currently no, um, yeah, he's trying to deny the sacred time for as long as he can. Overall, Nesta Bees killing that keep rather quickly. Rams coming out, the Greek fire rams are coming, and this counterplay could work. This could really work, and then Nani Yori's going to be behind on pressing the wonder, right? What the hell are the Ottomans doing? See, this is, the, the Ottomans should have landed on the coast like five, like two minutes ago, not five minutes ago, because that was when the wonder started. We do see the French coming across, and on the other side, um, Joan is probably in the boat. Yeah, she's going to be trying to grab that. Um, ain't going to be free. Sacred Sight's going to be held on to. Wonder Tracker's at 11 minutes and 51 seconds, and it looks like um, he might be able to decap the wonder here. Yeah, I think he's going to, the Sacreds. Really, really well played by Fitzbro. That was a beautiful, beautiful, like, like counterplay. Uh, a couple Chinese Grenadiers coming in. Awesome stuff. And we do see the Navy coast getting pounded. Um, why have the Ottomans not landed yet? Get over here and start pounding those big, thick bombards into the base. The English invasion's coming too. So they are going to be invading. Um, and now the sacred sites are being decapped though. So Nandy's whole play is pretty much off the table. Yeah, Nandy leaves and realizes that they now need to help with the land invasion. Yeah, well played. No, Fitzbro is not Corvinus. To my knowledge. I'm pretty sure Fitzbro is a different person. Uh, Cor Corvinus is, uh, is, 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 is old school Salami. Fitzbro is a Twitch, I think he streams on Twitch. I'm pretty sure they're different people. Yeah, it could be wrong though, but I, I'm pretty sure they are. So Japan is, is literally killing Naniori's navy, which is a big mistake. Um, we do see Contende landing with some villagers and some Ozutsu, but killing uh, Nani's navy here is certainly not going to be helping. But the sacred sites have been neutralized here, so that was a really, really good counterplay. Um, granted, he does have all of his nice nest of bees trapped on the middle now, so they might not be able to get back and help defend the base. And the Ottomans... No, no, don't, don't shoot that! Oh, God, the Bronze Odia attack! No! You need to fight Fitz... I mean, they should win. Like, with competent attacking, he should not be able to defend. Like, once uh, Constantinople is going to get the wrath of the Ottomans again here in this game. No, no, no. Do not attack him, dude. The Japanese Navy is looking like it wants to attack here, but we see walls being pounded down. And over on the other side, we do see the Nesta Bs pushing uh, the other players off the middle, which is certainly good. Still getting a lot of uh, resources here. And the English army is on its way up. Now, oh my god, shoot the bombards! Shoot the army! Stop moving! Just shoot! Dear god! Shoot, Jordan! Jordan! <laughs> Alright, there he goes. Now he's firing. This is, this is how the damage is done. There you go. That's good. Alright. 
So now up on the top side, Nanny should have a landing force of villagers coming. So Nanny is, is gearing up to invade. This is like, this should not be a good winnable one for uh, for the Byzantines. Like the Byzantine bank is not that good. They can only make wood units and their wood income. Dude, no, don't run. Oh man, okay. They're, they're, they're fleeing the scene now. If they had just been shooting the whole time, they could have gotten those, uh, those kills for sure. But it looks like they're going to pull back. Let the keep do a little bit of DACA. And it certainly will. Uh, Byzantines do have decent olive oil. They can produce some olive units. Uh, oh my god, talk about a god tier angle. This is a really good spot. Nanny could land here and start pushing. That would be brutal. Byzantines in the middle still pushing. And uh, yeah, he might be able to take down this keep. But now we see yellow moving up with some uh, dreaded Bronzodia ram. So hey, every little bit counts. Every building you can knock down, every resource you can force Fitzroy to spend is going to be um, pretty good. All right, so the Ottomans need to get some villagers and land, and they need to get there again. Um, Blue, obviously, is in no position to help. Blue, yeah, I wouldn't, you know, expect them to even help. Hey, Japan's at least trying, though. They got their keep up. They got Rams coming in. Fitzbro should not hold this. I don't know how seasoned of an FFA player he is, but that was very, very ballsy. Um, and now we got green landing, so that's going to be the Jushi army. does have some grenades and decent quality units. Towers are on the way up. And the trebuchets are knocking down the aqueducts, which is going to disconnect a lot of that. And yeah, they should do some damage and force a little bit of an eco hemorrhage. And in the middle, what do we have? If Nanny had somehow shut down that middle situation too, but... All right, so the fight is on. The Jushi's army engaging the Byzantines. The Lima Tanai are probably going to get karate chopped. And now Nanny's coming across with what appears to be a good invasion force, but surprisingly no uh, villagers. You, you always want to bring villagers. You always want it. So the Byzantine army definitely losing out here. Trebuchets are still knocking into whatever they can, killing barracks and various infrastructure pieces, looking at the Wonder Tracker. We're at eight minutes here. And now the English army has arrived. Yeah, that was a very, very bold one. Um, now the English, I mean, this is a very erect English army. Yeah, the Byzant memes are probably gonna fall here. Um, the Ottoman player has also landed on the coastline. Good, well played to you, Jordan. That's that's good. So Jordan lands here, and now he can start pushing again. But he just needs to make sure he doesn't go after the wrong stuff. Yeah, just start butchering all the villagers um, right now. Yeah, you need to just take down. Don't don't attack the random farms. Attack move. Attack. You click here and attack move. Just kill all the villagers. So the Byzantines were able to clean up the Chinese invasion, but now Nanny is arriving as well. Um, Wonder Tracker is currently seven minutes and thirty one seconds away, and uh, we see all these villas just getting cut to pieces. This is the end of the Byzantines. That was. A super, super risky wonder. Like, literally six people still alive in a lobby. Very alpha, for sure. <laughs> Very alpha wonder, yes. But at the end of the day, um, now look at that. They're, as long as they work well together, the Byzantine should fall. Now, if you're in his position and you still want to be playing this game, I would delete the wonder and just be like, I'm sorry, it was a prank, it was a joke, but um, I don't know if that is how that's going to go down here. Yep, we see all this in the middle. Of the the uh, they still yeah still still have some units here. No landmarks built in the middle though. Um, all of his landmarks are there. And Aniori has made it to the back, so the wonder is going to get pounded. And um, yeah, that's going to be it. He didn't have enough of a bank to really defend with good armies. Like the Byzantine army is archers and spearmen mostly, so it's going to get wrecked by all these individuals. So now Nanny is probably going to counter wonder. Let's see Nanny's food situation. Um, we're currently looking at Aniori. Pittsburgh's Wonder, the Cathedral of Divine Wisdom, is going to pay the troll toll, so it is going to go down. Nanny does not have the resources to Wonder right now. Probably has a, a bit in the Guild Hall. Only 1,500 stone. It, it builds slower now, so that is going to be the it, and GG to Fitzbro. That was a very bold strategy, dude. Incredibly bold. And I loved every second of it. I, you know, I thought, like, maybe the players would not be able to organize well enough, but I'm... I have to say, I'm proud of the, this lobby. They did a great job. They they subverted my expectations. I thought they would struggle more, but they got in there, they landed armies, and they fought hard. So, yeah, now, oh, he just lost six great bombards. Oh, it feels bad. That feels really, really bad. <laughs> Ironically named Wonder. Yeah, the Divine Wisdom. It was a good attempt. It was a really good attempt. Very, very, you know, Byzantines can do that. They can build spam buildings to get stone and, you know, get good Wonder defenses with the uh, Presidium, I believe is what it's called. Yeah, the Presidium. But uh, that was too many players. It was just way too many. Yeah, that was too many. Maybe if he had waited another, like, 20 minutes and then done it, he would have had a better gold bank and could have spammed out more artillery and mangonels and, like, crushed the attackers more easily. Maybe. I don't know, though. It's still hard with, like, six people in a lobby for sure. All right, so two players have fallen. Um, the Mongols have fallen and the Byzantines have fallen. And uh, the, Olive, the Olive Garden's looking great, looking absolutely awesome. And transport ship's heading back. Everyone's kind of returning to their various empires, and um, Nanny still just banking stone. So it's still going to be a while. 11,000 gold, though, for Nanny is pretty fat. Nanny's got that huge trade going. Uh, it's not like a ton numbers-wise, but I mean, 50 and 50 is pretty respectable. That's going to kind of get you what you need. And you can see they're uh, getting that passive income, which is super nice. 
All right, so looking on the bottom, um, Blue is still alive in the game. <laughs> Look at this like beam battle. This is this has just been going on for um, this has just been going on for so long. There's a bunch of random just haggard Ozutsu here, just like duking it out. What are they even doing here? I guess they're just keeping Blue in check. Uh oh, Blue's back, baby. God is gonna win this game, God A. He's 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 coming back with a wrecking ball here. So it's it's time. So I wonder if this invasion force is gonna be using the Ottomans. The Ottomans, let's look at their bank. Currently, um not too bad. They have good food and wood, but yeah, certainly hurting in the primary resources. So if Japan were to harry the Ottoman coast and then they got backdoored by the English invaders here, like the Ottomans could die right now. They lost a lot of their great bombards at sea, and it uh, looks like they are going to be producing more as they come. And uh, yeah, he, that's what, he wanted hard mode. He did, and he got it, for sure. Our community is very scrappy in FFA. You know, we have a lot of really, really good FFA players who are, you know, also good in 1v1, but not going to be like, you know, high conqueror level or anything. But, you know, maybe like platinum diamond skilled in 1v1, but in FFA, they could certainly call them conqueror, right? If there was such a ranking. And uh, looking around here, what do we got? The old Jushis taking wood off the islands. Contende uh, lost his Tanegashima gunsmith, but the Ozutsu are moving up and just pounding these landmarks down, backed up by the elite Onobugeisha. So the ladies of Japan are quite, quite pissed off here as they're moving. And uh... <laughs> hey, Byzantines are. You take that Byzantine slander back, Smeagol. I legit think Byzantines are a solid FFA sieve. And I think they're good in 1v1 too. I've been, I've been really enjoying them quite a bit. Um, but Byzantines at FFA aren't like S tier, but olive oil is a really good resource. Not only can you sell it for gold in a pinch, but on top of that, you can make good quality units for most of the game, and you could just keep banking it and, you know, do very well for yourself. I think Byzant Beam's got some great, great tools, for sure. Alright, so Nanny's army, is it going to be invading yellow here? Okay, the rocket sinks the ship, but Joan of Arc's ship is intact, which is very dicey. But looks like there's going to be, oh, oh, did Joan go? Joan's ship went down! To, JB, to uh, Davy Jones' locker with her. But yeah, going to be invading yellow here, interestingly Got enough. Landing some knights. And this isn't a force that is designed to kill, for sure. It's just there to raid and, and stress out yellow, right? Yellow, though, I mean, is pretty busy on this island. But yeah, that's going to be a formidable force of knights. If Joan of Arc had landed, I might have thought there would be a potential death on the table. Because, like, you just kill these landmarks and it's GG. Like, I don't know if they know that. But yeah, the Coca Township, the Town Center, and the Floating Gate. Because this is destroyed at the moment. Oh my god, what a what a haggard way that would be for um Oh my god, are they gonna die to the landmark snipe from Nanny? Just like the casual like night landing. And we don't see I don't think that Gello's noticed it. I think Contende is like focused up here and hasn't noticed his giant French army land on their, their shore. So the Coca Township's gonna go down. Town center will be next and then the floating gate. Wow, that's actually really grim. That is really, really grim indeed. Uh, looking around. All right. So what do we got? No other conflicts. We do see uh, the Japanese Navy has corralled in the English at the bottom. But that is one dead landmark. And um, Contende's other landmark is Toast. Wow, this is really bad. Contende needs to get some spears out. Where? Oh, I think he's probably capped and he's not deleting his boat. So Contende needs to delete all of his Navy right now and come and defend this. The Bronzodia defense is going to be... Um, yeah, Joan of Arc should be able to swim, and while she's swimming, she also gets experience points. That needs to be the next uh, tale of the tape there. So yeah, I think I think our Japanese meme lord is just going to be falling. I think this is the end of the road for him, guys. The town center is going to get torched, and from there, um, we are going to be seeing the, uh, the floating gate probably go down as well. Okay, finally he's producing spears, but the French might be able to fend them off. Although he's rapid fire producing. Oh my god, look how many he just panicked! He just like panicked and produced like 500 of those. Like, oh god, there's so many. And Hende does have a good bank too. He's certainly sitting okay on that. So looking around here, Keep is going to be getting gatted down by the Japanese warships. But as they die, more spearmen are going to be coming out. Nanny is going for the landmark snipe. Yeah, just straight up ignoring. Leaving the hand cannoneers to farm the spearmen is pretty cool while using the knights to do it. And this landmark is going to burn down potentially if it doesn't get repaired. So that is really, really nasty. Oh my god, is he going to die? He might. Floating gate's getting low. Knights are turning around to fight. Definitely. I don't think that Nanny knows that the other landmark is also dead on, on the island elsewhere. So, yeah, that would have been a really, really haggard kill for sure. But, yeah, Japan, at the end of the day, they have their knight, their spears, and they're fully upgraded. So, they should be able to deal with these knights just by kind of forcing their way out there. But, yeah, if Nanny had gone for the floating gate, that would have been a base kill. That would have been very funny. Okay, a little bit of raiding here. We do see Rexosaurus coming with the Jushi Navy. And the Jushi Navy does kill a ton of the traders. Also intercepting the trade on the other side. So this could be wonder time for Nanny Ori soon. When the guild hall banks enough stone, it's currently at 3,500. We could see a wonder on the table. 
Although there's still a lot of players. I, I don't know. I don't think Nanny could hold, honestly. Not with how many players are left in the game. Like, more people need to go down for sure. French Knights are just riding around the island. While the Spear Legions chase them. Japan, quite pissed. Here they come. Oh my, oh, uh, Shin they hunt the Spears. If Joan of Arc had landed here, though, that would have been a kill, 100%. Nanny looks like it might be war between Rexus Aris now, Nanny. Nanny has mustered a massive French Navy. Like, massive. And is going to be hunting down the um, Chinese fleets now. Nobody really doing anything with this fallen base. Looks like there was a Shinto shrine. I do not believe there's any relics laying around the ruins of the Byzantine Empire. Over to the east, we have a lot of spears. Spears still harrying these knights, but Nanny already taxing the micro of this player. The Yari Ashigaru did save the day. They did with their long spears. Japanese spears have extra range, too. So they can fight from several ranks, which is really, really cool. Um, kind of like uh, the phalanx of the, uh, the Abbasid and the Ayubids. All right, so now it's going to be a big, big fight. Um, Jushis probably will not have a good time against Nanny. Nanny has Joan of Arc, and if Joan of Arc comes back, she's going to be able to come in like a wrecking ball and uh, summon cannons and just do whatever, right? It's just nastiness. Okay, nice demo ship play. We see demo ships coming out as a counter from Rexus Ars to deal with a lot of these big ships, and that's, uh, you know, you got to be careful about spamming all, only big ships when uh, demos are out there, but with enough numbers, they'll defeat anything, obviously, right? But there they are. Any trade here? The Ottomans look to be going to the middle of the map, maybe going to be trying to secure a piece of the pie for themselves. The middle is still pretty solid. Um, there's a lot of trees on the middle, and even a gold vein on the other side, which has uh, copious amounts of gold, so those guys are going to be living it up. Nanny coming for blood. The demo ship's going to be very good here. That's going to kill four of those well. Talk about cost effective, but overall I think Nanny's gonna be able to spam and just, and just torch all this down. Yeah, it's just demo ships and warships being spammed, but Jushis are gonna be forced back. And if I if I were Nanny, I would I would go for the kill. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Joan is like a necromancer, she is. Yeah, and these are no mere boats too, these are bow chads. Bow chads do have the nest of these placement, so they're they're definitely China's definitely got the best navy in the game. I think or Jushi and China, I guess, is uh, is the app description. But yeah, boats are being farmed. Nanny has reestablished trade. It's 50-50, so that trade is going to be living it up. Ottomans getting a piece of the pie as well. So now they're getting 37 trade. If they were to go, like, right here, it would be slightly better. But even still, that's kind of just like... Yeah, Japan's base is getting attacked by the mighty English. And uh, the, the Yari armies, dude, 73 spears. Oh, my God. I don't know. They might win. I mean, these are elite longbows, though. They'll do a ton of damage against those spears. Is England going to be landing for the kill here? They're trying to. We do see more horsemen and troopers coming out. So if the Yari armies do indeed go down, that could be the end of the road. TC being repaired and the township is still broken. I feel like Shinobi should scale better into the Imperial Age or later. Like there should be upgrades. You should be able to upgrade your Shinobi to elite Shinobi or something and scale their cost appropriately. Um, you know, those, those little things I think would be really nice. Japanese Navy here, though, is screening out the English reinforcements that are trying to land there. And has Na uh, Nanny claimed naval superiority over the Chinese? Yes. Um, the ships are attempting to reproduce here. Uh, on the other side, we see the boats uh, yeah, able to shut down most of the Zhushi coastline. And they'll be coming back and around, I am sure, in due time. Nanny with the big trade. If Nanny can kill green, then a wonder would be viable for sure. Uh, question from chat. When's the Papa Turn webcam coming? Oh my god, dude. You don't. You don't. I, I don't think any of you guys want that. I'm not saying I'm bad looking or anything. I'm just like, I don't know. Personally, I've never really like, when somebody's streaming a game, I like to watch the game and not their face, but I guess the reactions can be fun. Seeing somebody's facial reactions to like absurd moments is fun, but yeah. Anyways, they're going to be circling about. We do see the Karax uh, harrying the coastline of the Chinese. Rexosaurus able to muster a defense and the Nest of these ships uh, nice and OP. Japan setting up all their houses on this conquered island is pretty hilarious, and it seems that they're going to be having a bronze war with the uh, English here. The Lords of Bronze will be dueling on the south side of the map. They're going to be having at one another. And I wonder if Nanny will do an invasion force. Is Nanny going to be getting invaders ready? See all these units? These are just like from summons from Joan of Arc. And, uh, is she not Imperial yet? She is. Okay, yeah, she's she's Imperial Joan, but it's just the melee Joan. I think ranged Joan is probably better on island maps because her sh uh, cannon does uh, building damage. So. That'd be nice. Yeah, Jushi getting in there, man. Big, big work. We got nine of those bad boys, and uh, the Duel of Fates continues out here at water. What is a... Uh, I've seen that. Correct me if I'm wrong. You guys got to enlighten me on the Twitch feed, because we don't really speak it as much over here on YouTube, but... Malding is like a combination of being bald and angry, right? It's like it's like a commentary on, like, you know, the the, the demographic that would play this genre. Although I've seen mal I've seen it used for like games that even younger audiences play, but it just means you're bald and angry, right? Yeah, I suspect it. Hey, the wife is here backing me up. Hope you're good. Hope you're doing good, darling. Hope you're doing good. 
feels more old timey without the okay, cam almost like baseball broadcast. All right. Wow. All right. So in the middle, the Ottoman army has landed. Not quite sure what they're doing. It looks like they're going to be securing some gold. So the Ottomans making sure nothing's going to get too crazy here. And uh, it looks like there is a blood feud here. Yeah, a bit of a blood feud. They're, they're going down. I think these two are going to be fighting for the foreseeable future. I think Nanny is going to be just going all out to try and kill this player. And uh, vice versa. They're certainly the two big powerhouses in the game. I would see that, say that Rexasaurus and Nanny Ori probably are the two strongest players left in the lobby in terms of what I've seen. So whoever wins this duel of fates between these two guys is certainly going to be uh, dictating the future of the game, I think. Oh, you're so angry you're pulling your hair up. Oh, okay. So you're so angry you're pulling your hair up. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And making yourself bald in the process. Mad, mad and balding. Okay. BC says balding about 100 times for a stream, yeah. So it's basically just like a different, you know, vernacular for commenting on salt. Yeah, okay. I got it. Hot dog stream with Age of Empires. Okay, so obviously big naval fight going down. Not a ton of really dynamic commentary to give you guys here. It's mainly just Karak smashing their sausages with bow chads. The bow chads should be uh, favored here. But a landing force coming in. Oh my god, Joan of Arc, dude, with the backstab. She, she lands with her champions. We're jacked. And why is she retreating now? She was all up in there. Oh my god. Joan of Arc landed here, guys. And cannons are going in. And look at this. Jushis has like almost no production on the island. I guess they have a little bit. But Joan of Arc's bringing her own solo army. Just pure filth. And uh, keeps her going down here. Yeah. So a hot dog stream for this game. How would we do that? Um, it'd be hard with eight people in FFA. So here's maybe what you do. So, okay, all the cannons die that Joan of Arc summoned. A little bit of a rough positioning is going to get those killed. But Joan is on the island and can summon infinite armies over time. Depends on when that's dealt with. But So, hot dog stream for FFA. So, here's my conceptual idea. We have FFA. And if you're the first person to die, you have to eat eight hot dogs. Um, if you're the second person, you have to eat seven. But, like, I don't know if, like, the average person in our community could eat eight hot dogs. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know I could. I can I can bang down eight of those wieners. No problem, dude. But I, I don't know, like, if a healthy, normal person can do that. <laughs> yeah, it depends on the bun. If you use white bread buns, it's not so bad. But if you use wheat bread, they're way harder to eat. Every time someone caps the King of the Hill Sacred, you got to eat a hot dog? Oh, that's interesting. That's See, now we're getting into some interesting ideas. Well, because then it rewards you for surviving, right? If you're... Okay, Joan of Arc's going to go down here. Looks like the Chinese army does find her up in the north. Um, grenade launchers could easily hard counter that army. And overall, um, they're going to be chilling out. But Nanny is producing nonstop. If Nanny were to land, like, 20 villagers and slap down a couple keeps here and go full military aggro, maybe. Dip the buns in water and go Kobayashi. That's so disgusting, dude. Soggy hot dogs is just pure filth. I could eat eight hot dogs. I feel like if really pushed to the limit, I could probably go over 10 for sure. <laughs> the average American lunch, that's actually a very true thing. Like anybody, let's say you're from Europe or from Asia, like most people from Europe or Asia that I met in college, like I, I had a neighbor who was from Beijing and when he got to America, he was like 120 pounds, like a, a relatively short gentleman, you know, five foot five, 120 pounds, very lean, very fit. But after living in America and eating fast food and getting addicted to all of like the foods and sugar we have and all like everything, he was like a good 240. Like same height, obviously. <laughs> and it's very common. Like people, if you don't watch yourself in America, you can gain weight so quickly. So quickly. Every time Joan dies and comes back, you have to eat a hot dog. I would just hide her in the back then. Yeah. I don't know how we would do it. Anyways, guys, back to the actual commentary. Sorry for the nonsense. Hopefully it's not too annoying for you guys. Joan of Arc has um, inspired all these dogs, and it looks like there is going to be a bit of a landing force coming here. So we do have um, we do have these docks being set up. Transport ships, uh, that's good. That invasion is how you end it, right? Like, these naval conflicts will probably go on for a long time, but wow, look at this! The Shogun is coming from the south! But do you feel like you could eat eight hot dogs at this moment? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm actually hungry right now, so I could do it. It wouldn't be pleasant. I would probably feel sick afterwards, but yeah, I could. All right, so, wow. The Shogun Navy landing on Nani Yori's coast. That is really troll. Because Nani's entire food, e like, food economics is tied into uh, fishing. Yeah, I believe it is. Is there any farms back here? No, Nani is Nanny is um, currently kind of running out of resources a little bit. Uh, 13,000, yeah. So another naval fight. Japan just cruising up here out of the blue. This is super random. 
But Japan, you know, remembered when all those French knights landed in their territory and is coming for vengeance, ladies and gentlemen. It's on. I have to say, this is a wild FFA game. This is a real wild one. Jushi is going to be counterattacking, and Nanny's whole game plan kind of disrupted pretty heavily here. But the Shogun, the Bronze Shogun, the Lord of Shinobis, is on his way. And uh, it's on, man. Nanny should be able to fight this off. And Japan will probably take quite some time to muster another army, although the Atakabunes are coming back now as well. And it looks like, are they all going after Nanny? Oh, I think they might. there might be an alliance against Nanny now. They may have uh, kind of politics, being like, hey, Nanny's French, we need to take them down. Yeah, that, that could very well be an option. Very well be an option. Ships going down here. It looks like the uh, Jushi are able to fend them off. Jushi has an amazing bank. 50 idle villagers. Definitely need to get lumberjacked in here. Middle is still plentiful, though. This game is certainly not anywhere near finishing. I think that will probably get um, a, a two-hour game. Maybe an hour and 45 minutes would be my guess. What do you guys think? Nani. Nani says Nani to the Japanese, yes. And the Japanese are going to be leaving now. And now Nani Ori is going to be continuing the legacy of uh, battling with Jushi's legacy and is going to be moving up to the north. Dude, Contende is the lord of the shinobi. The bronze, the bronze shinobi tactics have emerged victorious. He has outlasted the likes of Conqueror 3 player Fitzbro over here. So the, the, clearly the shinobi have done it. All right, so where is he going with I feel like he just like randomly sails around and just attacks. Oh my god, oh my god, look at this. It's so haggard. Oh, I love this like little like like back and forth ferrying he's doing. The Tanegashima gunsmith is back online though, so that's not going to happen. Um, it looks like the blue player did die. The Ottomans came in and killed God A while all that was going down. Uh, currently, the stone bank is at 7,000, so still not as... That would have been 14,000 gold in the previous patch, but now it's a little bit more range in here. And big naval fight potentially going to go down. Obviously, China is favored at sea because of their uh, SDBs they have. Still a little bit of trade going down for Nanny, but it is being heavily disrupted. And uh, Nanny's bank, like I said, not amazing. Um, Nanny probably going to be switching into some... Oh my god, look at the... Hey... For anybody who says my farm positioning is haggard, just take a look at this. This is next level. Okay, they're preparing for a wonder. Nanny looks to be, you know, scheming some wonder space back here. But this is this is like some seriously shitty farms. Let's be real here. And uh, is the invasion going to happen? Doesn't appear to be so. Nanny already does have a decent little concave here and is sniping down some of the ships. But where is Joan of Arc going to be going? She's loading up into a ship. All right, the English invasion is coming. Oh, yeah, baby. He needs to build his infrastructure away from the coastline. Otherwise, Japan's going to come in and just crush it with his navy. But the bronze battle on the south side is on. Japan producing what appears to be elite Onibageisha, which is a good call against his army. Oh, please move your trebuchets away from the coast. Come on. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. Flee the coastline. Japan's going to be here with its Doom Legion soon. And Aniori is going to be pulling the transport ships away. Meanwhile, the... Uh, it, yeah, it looks like straight up the the, uh, the Chinese have won the naval fight. Nanny Ori's out of gold, so Nanny's going to have to do a bit of a desperate landing force, I think. Yeah, we got Jones Champions and the Elite Horsemen and the transport ships over here. The trade completely shut down. So Nanny Ori went from being probably the biggest power in the game to certainly being in a bit of a dire situation. A little bit of trade. We see demo ships coming out. And the English Invader, man. Probably going to be able to take this man down. I suspect the Shogun and Castle is not going to be long for this earth. We do see Rams moving in. And all of these are going to be torched down. The entire base should be taken. And uh, then Japan is going to have to uh, probably re rebuild on this island over here, which is not a terrible island. It doesn't have this weird choke point. But yeah, you have the, like really, really safe fishing back here and different things like that. So that is on the table. Is Yuji going to counterattack? I wonder. And where's Joan of Arc going? Okay, Joan of Arc is looking for a way in, looking at the Navy here. It appears to be in good shape. Joan has landed. She could su summon a cannon. Oh, God, not the dreaded hiccups. Not today, guys. Not today. Yellow trading a little bit. It's a little bit janky, but you know what? I'll take it. Um, it's 20 gold. Could there be better trade? Nah, you could go up here. Trade trade a little bit further away. But overall, it's kind of you know, not super insignificant. But. Demo ships coming out. Nanny should be able to clean this up with proper micro. These demo ships should be able to chase down these boats and kill at least two of them. Um, it looks like, yeah, sending them all after one, you should definitely split them up. Chase really tax your bonus micro. But at the end of the day, one goes down, and yeah, that fleet gets torched pretty bad. And Joan of Arc, is she on the coastline? I think a Joan of Arc landing is is, is your best bet. Because the Chinese don't really have good infrastructure on their island. I mean, it's not bad, actually. I take that back. Rexosaurus has de decent infrastructure. So Contende's base is getting plowed by the English invaders. But the English invaders are running out of steam. Oh my god, he queued up like 12 rams at the one shop. Hell yeah, baby. And the Shogunate Palace is going to live once again. Once again. 
Down goes the battering rams, the Shogunate Palace able to defend, and the English invaders are squashed again. For the millionth time. And what are the auto chads doing, by the way? Um, currently looking at Jordan's bank. Jordan does have 11,000. Jordan appears to have just been purging all the resources off the middle. Um, currently one relic in the tithe barns. So you get castles there. Janissary only... I, you would just literally just want only Janissaries and Great Bombards. Maybe some Spears for Chaff, but... Yeah. Here comes Nanny with a big demo fleet. Holy shit, that's a lot of demo ships. Is Joan going to be doing her landing? Yeah, it looks like it. Um, it's not going to be as easy to land considering the walls have been made, but Joan can summon cannons and deal with that. So, yeah, man. Aniori coming back. Looking for a little bit of revenge here. A lot of these big chads are getting nailed down. Looking at Rexosaurus, his bank is okay, but his gold is going to be, you know, siphoned once he runs out on the Mongol Island, although he's not even mining it here, really. So another couple of big ships go down, and we do see these moving in, and that's going to be another one. Another one. Hitting it, and where is Joan? Joan's landing here. Are there villagers? No, it's just horsemen and champions. Is Joan of Arc herself not with this invasion? That's definitely a mistake. Um, you, you would want her. Yeah, I guess she's not going to be there. Yellow trading as well. Purple playing Farmville in the corner, and looking at Contende here, he appears to have survived the Japanese invasion, so the Bronze Shinobi place will continue, and uh, yeah, England just kind of chilling out at the bottom also, not doing a whole lot. Just getting their free gold, yep, that's what you want to be doing, building more farms as you progress. The Abbey of Kings, the English King, does he actually scale over the ages or does he not? Yeah, feels like a little bit janky. Naniori's trade being shut down by the Japanese, so Japan is just cackling all the way to the bank here, trying to dominate the trade where they can. Nandiori being attacked on several fronts, I think, uh, has drawn the ire of several players here. But this has got to feel pretty bad. <laughs> oh no, they just like landed. They're just like, I can't get in. I'm too weak. Where are the battering grams? Okay, so here they come. We got Joan coming now? Yeah. So Joan, Joan of Arc is coming. And the... Oh god. Oh, this is going to be a massacre. Oh no. They need to retreat right now, dude. They're already like ready for it. This just feels bad. This is going to be brutal. Because Joan's going to land with like one ram and... Oh no! Now they're ready for it! Oh no! That's going to be rough. Alright, Nest of Bees are going to start just destroying this army. And I wonder if they're going to run. Um, we do see the ship coming and the uh, navy is also on its way over. So Currently they're trying to go loose formation and run, but they're getting Nest of Bees pretty hard. And um, yeah, certainly not a good way to go. There's nobody, no way into the base. The entire base is walled, so... Joan of Arc is going to summon a cannon, probably, but, you know, she's not going to be able to do a whole lot. <laughs> oh, no, the saddest landing party, dude. Jo Joan of Arc, this is what happens when you let a 19-year-old girl make your military decisions, right? All right, so she is uh, <laughs> having a pretty bad time here. Oh, my God, Joan of Arc got blasted. Oh, my God. And uh, the rest of the army is also going to get slapped up. All right, so more demo ships being spammed out, but Rexosaurus is adapted and started switching to the junks. And the junks are going to be, um, you know, nuking in and yeah, just killing all these boats. They're obviously a counter to them, right? So you can see it's not cost effective to use those demo ships in that way. It's like the end of Rogue One. Yeah, I know. That was rough. That was very rough. A couple rams have been built, but they're too far away. Yellow, dude, what if the, the Shogun ended up winning this game? How, how ridiculous would it be if Yellow, the Shinobi Master, pulled this out? I wonder if he's going to be counter-invading England. I don't think so. England is just making these big, big armies here and then just moves across and then doesn't build supply lines as well. Um, all right. So, all is calm on the Western Front. And the Charlie Brown rating. Yeah, they're like slipping and falling and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty good. Dude, you know would be really funny? You just have like a huge food bank and just make like a 200 sack of Shaolin monks. That'd be so funny. They're so cool. <laughs> Historically accurate, yeah, that situation it was. Um, trade is okay, 25 a pop. Um, we have Jushi's library being built down here, which I love. No research, wow, he has not gotten his Jushi's tech yet. That's crazy. So Rexasaurus should for sure get it. Um, what would you want to get? Probably, oh man, this is tough. Probably the, uh, probably Cloud of Terror would be good. And then the other one, the cavalry are nice too, but I think the crossbow one might be better for defending and considering you're uh, probably, man. Yeah, Imperial Guard are just gold, so if you can trade. Yeah, it's probably just gonna be the cavalry and the other one as well. All right, so how's it going here? A little bit of a naval fight. Joan of Arc uh, spamming out demo ships to try and survive. Currently looking at the stone bank. It's gotta be pretty fat. Um, okay, so. It looks like Nanny did claim the stone. Did Nanny claim the stone? Yeah, wow, a long time ago, actually. 
there are going to be some keeps on the shore fighting these off. Joan returns to the battlefield, and um, Nanny went through that stone real quick. I'm surprised nobody's trying to get to the Biddle either. It's, it seems like there's tons of free resources and sacred sites here, and people aren't really moving for it. I Guys, I have to say, I don't know how this game's going to end. Um, triple Tithe Barn, maybe, maybe Jushi's going to wander in the top. They are getting 240 stone a minute, so after a while, it's going to come into play. And, um, yeah, the Jushi's library could be in danger. We see Cloud of Terror as well as Dynastic Protectors. So it's going to be the standard fare, you know, getting the Imperial Guard and the Yuan Riders. So those bad boys will be very good. We've seen how good Imperial Guard Cap are. They're one of the best. And, uh, oh my god. I love, my favorite part of this game, I think, are the bronze invasions. Just, like, landing with, like, just, like, ten units and trying to, like, take the other players out. I love this. Like, what are these samurai? How did the, the samurai think this was going to go? I mean, they might take down a couple spears, but England's, like, throwing boulders at them and shit. And, uh, yeah, they're going to have a pretty bad time. So what are these trade ships doing? Trade ships seem to be going around the coast. Full trade for Japan. Looking at the bank of our Japanese overlord here. He's doing pretty good. Zico is, uh, yeah, he's not got a lot on food or wood or gold, but seems to be hanging in there. And on the other side, it looks like the Jushis have uh, successfully killed victory over Nanny. But the question is, can they kill Nanny, or uh, are they going to be able to? Are they going to try, even? Or are they just going to contain them on the island? Because that's a very viable tactic, too. You just contain somebody on the island, and, you know, then there's not going to be a whole lot they can do. I'm an island boy? Oh, my God, yeah. So, so crappy. So shooting these various docks. Um, are we going to see any chads coming out? Currently, Rexosaurus. Getting basic upgrades, so Siege Engineering, Steeled Arrows, Master Smiths. Makes me think that there's going to be a landing force. Yeah, Siege Workshops. It does look like those bad boys are going to be doing it. Man, look at that. The um, Meditation Gardens, too, by the way, are generating 119 wood a minute. That's actually really nice on this map. That's like having a relic for wood. So Nanny does muster a bit of a defense army. It's not much. Nanny's bank is rough. The Eco is 54. Um, pretty much hemorrhaging resources in every regard. Keeps were built on the mainland, but... Nanny seems to be in a, in a bad position right now. Very, very bad. After being the tyrant in the game, but if Nanny had been able to execute the kill on Jushi, you know, get in there with the death, the death blow, could have been a different story. But are there going to be villagers brought on this incursion? I don't, I don't know. Definitely should. You never want to invade somebody's island without villagers. It's like, at least bring like eight at this point in the game, because that's going to give you so much agency on, uh, you know, building infrastructure and doing all that. Purple has literally been AFK. Not actually AFK, but oh my, oh my god, are you serious? Is Jordan going to go for a, Okay. So the Ottomans are preparing for a wonder. It's a ways off for sure, but it is in their mind. This is a nice position. Um, although Treb's landing here could reach it right away. Although on this island, you don't really have any choice. It's kind of a crappy island. Arguably, it would have been better to go rebuild on the Byzantine island and try and like have that situation going, but no. Yeah. Elite Mouth Samurai are hunting, and it looks like Jushi's is going to be losing a uh, its landmark here in time. But they already, if they have the upgrades, it doesn't even matter. It's not a huge deal. Landing forces gathering. Our villagers being pulled. Yep, villagers are being pulled, which is going to be good. Nanny is really, really in huge trouble because Nanny, man, the bank is rough. 12,000 wood from the Guild Hall, I believe. Yeah, it looks like there was a Guild Hall collection recently. Maybe not. Hard to say. Transport ships here. No, these are hulks. They will get wrecked by the Bow Chads if the Bow Chads actually turn and fight them. We'll see if they do. Joan of Arc is reborn, and fishing boats are just looking for areas to uh, grab whatever they can. Jordan has a good chance of winning this, for sure. I mean, Ottoman Great Bombards with Janissaries defending in the island is really good. Like, really, really good. Ottomans are a fun tip. They're very powerful. Very, very powerful. Oh, Nanny just lost, like, 20 bills. Oh, God. Oh, the humanity. Nanny's at 36 eco. Oh, God. All those bills. Joan of Arc's just like, die for me, peasants. Die for me. Oh, my God. That one boat just killed so many bills. Nanny Ori is down to 29 eco. If the Chinese decide to land and actually micro properly, that is going to be it. Yeah, green is looking pretty thick for sure, but green doesn't have any trade. Um, currently, uh, good trade here for the Japanese who are setting up their stables. The English, the Bronzodia duel of fates down here continues. Um, looks like nobody is emerging victorious in that situation. And Ottomans definitely have good wonder play because they control both sacred sites, right? So they're going to be able to hang in there. They will hang in there for sure. All right, are we going to see an invasion? Yeah, I would like to see it. Yeah, Nanny had a good run. Nanny had a very good run. But this is going to be um, probably the end here. Assuming the attack comes through. I, I don't know why it hasn't landed yet. There you go. All right, move over there. Um, make sure to land before the keep... Uh, Shoots down your boats. Yeah, how many bombards? Four bombards. Yeah, some villagers as well. And Rexosaurus is going to be landing here. So you got to unload, 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 unload. 
Oh god, please don't lose anything to that. Come on, there you go. Alright. So the landing force is there. Nest the Beast can start shooting the keep down. And, um, yeah. Now Nanny can make wood units, so it's going to be spears and archers. That's pretty much it. And uh, Nanny does have a bit of a navy, some hulks, but they're going to have a bad time. So Zushi should be able to get in here and make a meet the sushi. You know, that, that I think is what's going to go down. Okay, on the Bronzodia duels in the south, um, nothing crazy going on. Ottomans just preparing for a wanderer, as expected. They've gotten into the base. There's literally only horsemen to be spammed out and archers. Joan, Joan can muster a good defense, though, but if the Chinese player micros correctly and just builds, like, a keep here, then that would just be, like, crush them, probably. But they need to get their artillery, like, in the base. I, I don't know what's going on here. They're trying to knock down the walls, but I guess they couldn't fit everybody in. Um, so Joan of Arc's uh, able to muster a big defense here, but Nanny Ori's going to run out of eco really quick. We do see some uh, palace guard being produced here. A couple spearmen are going to be going to their demise. Joan's going to be pretty brutal, but those nest of bees will also be very fell. All right, so the invasion is on. Nanny Ori is here to defend. Relic was uh, attempting to be grabbed. Horseman going around for a bit of a flank, and Joan of Arc could get sniped here. Looks like Joan of Arc is being focus fired. And overall, I think there will be a defense here from Nanny. Um, Nanny didn't bring enough bills. You've got to bring a lot of bills and build a keep. Because Nanny clearly is Stark, right? So isn't going to be able to do too much. Um, Joan of Arc pretty close to dying here. Uh, she's still bashing away. She does have her hand cannon. Down goes Joan, and there goes the army. But a second wave is going to be coming out. Keep being built by, like, one villager. Is he going to be uh, bringing out more and more waves? I'm not sure. In the middle, it looks like Nanny... This is really bad for Nanny, too, because Nanny's losing, like, tons of eco in the middle. And the Ottoman's going to be building some military infrastructure here as well. So the Chinese army does get forced back, but, like, not before it taxes the food eco really hard. I mean, China should definitely keep the momentum on. I feel like a lot of people do get discouraged um, after failing one attack and don't try again, but you got to realize your opponent is expending stuff too, right? Yeah. Nanny trying to get some towers up, Ottomans clearing out the Middle Island, and Japan just doing God knows what. Japan appears to have invaded. Okay, so this is probably going to save Nanny. The fact that Japan is invading and trying to push this Jushi Island is, is probably going to take the attention of Green elsewhere. Although we do see a second wave coming as well. And um, looking at Joan in company. Yeah, a lot of horsemen. Nanny already does get a 200 stacked army. Guildhall is currently banking gold. Oh, that's rough. Yeah. You, know, you always want it to be stunned, but you don't really have much of a choice here. And um, yeah, nothing too crazy in the middle. Just random villagers going down, getting poked. The Ottomans taking control over the center. Japan with a little bit of casual trade, but Japan could have way better trade. They could be going like, oh my God, the Bronzodian Navy, it's coming. Oh yeah. 24 Karax, and uh, it would appear... Wait, how do they have some Japanese... Oh, I had Japanese ships selected. I was like, how do they have the Japanese ships? All right, so now they're going to be heading across. Um, looking at this island, yeah, Japan is going to have its handful for sure. He's, he's definitely making enemies on several fronts here. You can see Rexasaurus responding to the incursion. Um, a lot of grenadiers and troopers being made here. Nanny going to be resecuring. And also, if you're green, you can bring some bow chads and have them sit on the coast. And if the French try and push you off, you, your bow chads will just annihilate their armies. I'm really surprised we're not seeing that. Really, really surprised. Nonetheless, the battle continues. We see the Bronzodia English Navy coming across and uh, cutting into the Japanese fleet. And down here, we do see um, good eco for the English. Good standard eco. Wingard Palace not producing anything. I'm surprised we aren't seeing like Wingard Rangers and different things like that being made. It's the English Armada, yeah, it sure is. And Japan's going to be able to muster a decent defense. Their ships are a little bit weaker, it would appear. They only have 936 HP against 1,000. Um, but they have all the upgrades as well. Looking around, not all the upgrades have been done for the Japanese Navy. So England is going to crush them and potentially drive them back to the seas. Over here, we see the Chinese army coming in and uh, crushing the samurai invaders. So Contende here is going to get steamrolled. He doesn't really have a whole lot. And Green is... Green is going to have to figure it out. Oh my god, Nanny's going? Oh my god, look at this shit! Wow, that's a lot. There's going to be some siege engineering being done here. I think maybe there's some politics going on. Like, maybe Yellow is saying that he's fighting Green. So Nanny is kind of, you know, watching out for it. Wild demo ship. Doesn't even kill it. That's pretty funny. Ottomans, though, are definitely looking to be in the best shape. Yeah, they're they're doing pretty good. They're getting close to, uh, close to Wonder. And Ottomans are going to clear Contende off this island. That's pretty big. So that's going to clear all the Japanese housing and also keeps and uh, trade off this island. So that's going to make Japan quite a bit weaker. And um, that and the English uh, the English armies are coming. It is no mercy. So here comes Ender. He's looking for blood. They're pushing in. And uh, yeah, they're plowing this Japanese fleet. Well played, man. This English guy, he's switching it up. You know, he's using some fancy schemes. You know, he'll do his landing forces and switch it to his navies here. And uh, here he goes. Yeah, Japan getting crushed at sea. 
Ottomans also going for them too. The Great Bombards are here in pretty uh, serious numbers. It looks like there's four of them in total. So it should be able to knock down all these. If, if they're thirsty, by the way, the Byzantine water is still flowing from a couple hundred years prior, so you can go and take a little shower under there, which would be great. Aqueducts are a pretty damn cool technology. Pretty neat. Um, now, elsewhere, what do we have here? Another invasion force, China attempting to invade Naniori, but Naniori summoning the defensive battering rams as the Chinese are going to be retreating back. Obviously, China has a lot of military on this island, so their army invading Nanyu is always going to be kind of shitty. Grenades doing good, though, up in the walls. They uh, got their full upgrades and are doing some nice splash damage. Also, the horsemen can't get up there, so they're able to just cackle away and harm these units. Looking at Nanny's bank, um, pretty rough. The food bank is staying steady-ish because of the farms in the back, and we do see more units coming out. Um, here, China needs to delete these units and maybe reproduce them in the main base because they just have so much idle um, population here as well. All right, so here they come, man. England's still circling about, banging down these war junks, and uh, going to be hitting that explosive junk right in the trunk as well. And uh, Ottomans have gotten through the keep. They're going to be getting everything off this island. Currently looking at um, Contende. It has not popped Captain yet. Um, I thought it might because of all those houses falling, but it would appear he has enough in his base. And is England going to be trying to invade again on ground? It doesn't look like it. Rather, it looks like they just want to give Japan the business um, at sea. And they're certainly uh, accomplishing that. They're certainly accomplishing. Who are you guys rooting for, by the way? Who do you guys want to win in chat? Who's your champion in this game? Is it the Lord of the Shinobi, Contende? Or is it the Bombard Master? We'll find out. That is a big invasion. Nanny might be able to do some damage here. Um, we do see another uh, counter invasion coming, but that is a hell of a lot of demo ships. All right, you gotta, you gotta kill those big Japanese. Why are they even here? You know, like, why are the Japanese even here? It's just some random boat. I love it. Contende just, like, appears and random pockets of the map and, and doesn't say anything and then leaves. It's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's wild. Okay, don't waste too many on that thing. Yeah, there you go. That, that's enough. And, uh, yeah, Japan is now going to be forced back onto its, uh, onto its island. They're going to be isolated from the rest of the world. That is for sure. Over on the west side, the Ottomans have completely shut down the Japanese trade, and Japan probably should delete their fishing or trade boats at this point, as they've completely lost hold of all the water. The Ottomans uh, would probably just win if they wandered at this point. Considering how beat up Nani Ori is, I think that would work. Nani going for a balls deep invasion. Is he trying to demo ship the walls down? Oh my god, he might be. So the Rams are on the gatehouse, and you know, this Nani invasion could be actually decent. We'll see. Okay, so he's like trying to get to the walls. And now he's in, so Nani needs to go get those artillery and hold up. Is Yushi gonna die to this like this wood invasion? They might. That's a lot of wood. A lot of horsemen to the base. Rams as well. Nani Yori is a scrapper, dude. Fighting tooth and nail. Despite all his rage, he is not a rat in a cage. He is out of his cage, dude. Meditation Garden's going to be getting pounded. If Nani could steal those relics, too, that would be super, super big. And uh, Jushi is going to be mustering some defenders. Um, they still have a lot of idle units on this island, I think. No, it looks like they corrected that. Japan losing a TC down here. And the Royal um, English Navy is basically looking... For all of this. Yeah, they're looking for all of it. Okay, Rexosaurus has lost the landmark, so and now he's going to be losing the pagodas, and Jushis will be able to defend this most likely. Um, considering Nanny didn't bring, like, villagers to reinforce, I think I think it's going to be fine, yeah. But Wood Eco is so low. Nanny's, like, Eco is, like, rough. Scrapping really, really hard. Really, really hard, though. And does manage to take down three pagodas, which is going to be a temporary, you know, nuisance for sure. So the Navy has reappeared, the bow chads are nearby, fishing is being rebuilt by Nani Yori, um, demo ships are going to be cruising up. And the Japanese invaders have stopped in the north, but the Ottomans have successfully claimed control of this island. And I wonder if they're going to wander in this corner. I mean, probably their main base is better at this point because the Mehmet Armory is there and a couple other producing buildings. But Okay, so the Grand English Navy has done it. And uh, now they're going to be cruising back and around and maybe seeing what they can do. Oh my god, look at the gunsmith! That landmark is so good, dude. That is so good. Look at what it did. It just made 43 Ozutsu. If they landed on anyone's base, they would have a bad time at this point. They would have a really, really bad time. Nanny, though, getting in, doing some good raiding. Um, able to take down villagers and farms, looking at the eco of Rexosaurus. Rexosaurus doesn't really care too much, though. 55,000 food bank is pretty jacked. And they are able to muster defense and cannon with the two peeps they have in their base. So, should be safe. Although another invasion is on its way over for Nanny. Um, no transport ships at this point. Ottomans have claimed this island. And what are they going to do with it? Um, probably not a lot to do. Unless they like Olive Gardens, you know. I guess they're going to add some olives to their diet would be the um, one thing that is for sure going to happen. The English Armada circling about Japan, trying to get its eco back here, producing bills. Um, 
Could be killed though. Like if England wants to kill Japan now, it's 100% possible. But they would have to delete some of their navy. It wouldn't work otherwise. So Rexasaurus is hanging in there eco-wise. Jordan though is at 8,000 stone right now. So he's buying his stone. Thank you, Jordan. Um, otherwise, I think this game is going to... It seems like the players are really, really struggling to uh, finish one another. So I think that would be tough. He's trying to pull a John Madden in the corner. It would seem so. Three relics still out in the open. Nanny already did some nice damage there. Is Nanny going to bring some bills? Oh, if Joan of Arc is able to get there this time. I think she died last time on the invasion. But yeah, Valor's inspiration is crazy good. 35% attack speed is going to be making your archers uh, very, very good. On the rest of the map, what do we got? Ottomans have cleared this off. Probably going to be loading up in the boats and leaving, knowing that they've done their job. England uh, corralling in the Japanese pretty hard, but the Japanese do have their Ozutsu Legion. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see the English invade. If, if I were Ender, I would, I would invade at this point. Knowing that I've completely crushed them at the seed, I would delete 80% of my navy, maybe leave some, and then do a landing force. How much suffering? This game's been pretty, pretty heavy-duty suffering, for sure. We have a lot of players who are um, you know, not quite up to the task of finishing each other off, so it's, it's tough. It drags on, but, you know, it makes for makes for some hilarious moments. Uh, big landing force. Do we see transport ships? We see a lot of demos. No transport ships coming out for Nanny yet. Nanny probably using Guildhall to get wood. No, oh, gold at this point. Currently sitting at about 1,300 gold. Joan of Arc does have her nice army here. Going to be pulling back from the walls. And uh, Leap Men at Arms mixed into the army as well. All right, all right. So, looking at the bank of all the players, let's go ahead and take a look at their current resources together. Uh, the only person who has enough stone to wander is going to be Jordan. The food bank is pretty good for everybody except Nani Yori, who's really been um, put back uh, on the back foot by most of these raids. Transport ships are here. We're going to be loading up in the back, so the army's heading across. The uh, cannon nailing down the boat there. I'm going to be trying to get the other one. Might be able to. We'll see. Nope. Does get taken down, so that's pretty unfortunate there. In the middle, Nani is still able to get some good lumber, so the Ottomans have not completely cornered the lumber market on the middle. Over on this side, we have the haggard Japanese uh, random ships on the map, which is uh, our favorite play here as they shoot away. Bombard cannons are unloaded. They're certainly having a little bit of trouble unloading because of the spacing of this. See if they survive. And now, oh my god. Oh my god. Nanny's going to get pounded here. Oh man, if that English Armada decides to attack Nanny, the classic English-French blood feud, you know, you got you to love it. This is going to feel very bad for Nanny, though. Demo ships are cleaning off the coastline, and um, maybe are they going to get that transport ship? I'm not sure. And the English Armada has arrived. Yes, they've arrived. So trade ships coming out for Nanny, but instantly going to be killed. Talk about very unfortunate timing, right? Like, the English player comes in to bully the Japanese, and then on his, his, his road tour, he's just like, yeah, why not? Let's just beat up the French a little bit, too. So Nanny's going to lose all these docks, which is not good, considering how low the wood is on the map. Um, Nanny's Island does have some wood patches left, too, though, but... Not going to help. Not going to help. All right. So looking around, we do see the English Armada circling. Um, going to be getting some of these Ottoman villagers. Nanny's um, wood villagers here going to have to move a little bit closer to that keep soon. And wood has almost gone off the main island. Um, there are a couple patches on the south, which they may be able to find. But the English Armada has um, bashed the French on the coast once again. And are the French going to be able to muster a landing force? We see them going for it. Yeah, if the French can kill Green, that's pretty massive. But like Green has landmarks on three different islands. Uh, although Jushi's library is actually dead. Okay, so that would just be two islands then. They have the uh, Mount Lu Academy here. So you'd want to get that if you can. And looking around, the game grinds on. Japan just sitting in its base trying to survive. They really got pounded super hard. Oh, thank you, Jordan. Oh, no, Jordan, what are you doing? Oh, no, he built the wonder and then canceled it. <laughs> oh, he set the alarm off. To, that's Oh, no, he didn't pull his villagers correctly. Oh, no, the Bronze Wonder. All right, he's going to get it here. All right, Jordan. You're my boy, Jordan. Let's go. Let's get this. So Jordan is going to get this Wonder, and then I'm going to get to eat dinner. That's how this is going down. I'm calling it right now. So the Azure Mosque is on the way. Nani Ori will for sure be invading. Green is This is going to be a hard hold. This is going to be a very difficult hold. Um, static defenses are decent. We do have the Seagate Castle, some towers that are unupgraded on the south. Um, sacred sites are not really going to be in play, but the English Armada is going to be coming over across. All right. And that's going to annihilate the Ottoman coastline. This is going to be a hard wonder hold, though. I, my predictions would be is that this is going to be very hard for old uh, Jordan. I believe in Jordan. You know, he's my champion here now to get me dinner. But um, I don't know. Nanny, Nanny might... If Nanny blood feuds with green... Okay. This... You see this, guys? This is going to win the Ottomans the game. I think this is a blood feud here. I think Nanny's in a bit of a blood feud situation. 
Either that or they didn't notice the wonder. Um, so the wonder is finished. And the, Joan just landed a massive resource investment on this, this coast. Is going to get in, but probably is going to lose the fight because the Chinese Imperial Army here is rocking grenadiers, cannons, nest of bees. Um, Joan of Arc is very strong, but I don't know if she's going to be able to carry this into the sunset. So she does call a cannon out, which uh, gives a little bit of extra DPS to the force. But the Chinese Army is just vastly superior quality, and Joan is going to be going down. Um, the English player for sure going to be gathering. Japan basically is not going to be able to do anything. Japan got karate chopped into another dimension earlier. And um, yeah, this is going to remain there for a while. I suspect. I suspect it. So Joan gets driven back. She's going to be uh, dashed upon the rocks here. And now Green and uh, Joan need to start going after the Wonder Master in the corner. So currently looking at the Wonder Tracker, we have 14 minutes left. Cannons or towers being built here. But I don't know if the Ottomans even have the resources to do anything with that. Taking a look at Jordan here, oh, he can upgrade a couple. He's got he's got like 387 stone. It's something. So the Dark Lord over here is, uh, has arrived. The Lord of the Seven Seas, Davy Jones himself, Blackbeard. Um, the Karaks are here. And uh, the Ottomans should be moving their bombards down. Their bombards would flatten this navy. If they micro them correctly from the coastline, they can definitely um, counter them pretty well. But Nani Ori, Nani going to be invading and helping? Is there going to be a counter sacred play in the middle? That could happen. With the two sacred sites, if Joan of Arc can get there quickly, maybe. Nanny also resecuring some trade, uh, trying to get back in the game here. But a little bit of poking from uh, from Captain Jack Sparrow. He gets in there. And um, looking at the armies of purple, very, very static. Um, I would like to see them come down and start pounding this English Navy. Although on the one side, okay, trebuchet landing is pretty big here. Like a trebuchet is like right here. Could probably hit the Azure Mosque. So the Ottomans need to get their army and go down there. There they go. All right. So Jordan's moving across. Bombards are going to be on their way. Up on the top, um, no action really. I mean, I think there's a blood feud and it's going to give Purple the win here. I think Purple's going to get it. The blood feud's a little bit too strong. The hatred between these players, the animosity. It's like that one, there's like a classic story from uh, one of the dwarf books from the Warhammer universe. Like you guys know, I, not all of you guys might be age of Empires people, but the dwarves hold grudges. And there's a story where like this one dwarf like, there was a human who had wronged his, like, one of his ancestors, like, like, three or four hundred years ago. And that human was long dead. But the dwarf, like, brings an army back to exact his grudge vengeance against that guy's ancestors who have no idea what the hell's going on. They're like, are you serious? What the hell is this? So English having up a keep here. Well played. This is good. Um, but Ottomans with proper micro should crush this um, pretty easily. The Janissary should also be defending this. And the keep gets pounded by those great bombards. Nani Ori um, currently gathering what they can on the middle. You could probably set up some forward infrastructure here. I'll have to see, but the Ottomans appear to hold that off. And they could rush this with their Janissaries and Great Bombards. They could probably beat this entire navy if they go loose formation and get some good engagements. We'll have to see. Oh, it's the King of England, baby! He's here! Oh, he's got a great sword, too. What a chad. This moves in and takes down that Janissary. Yeah, well, anyways, he's not going to last terribly long if he continues. So the fight continues. Great Bombard Cannon still blasting away. Um, England in the corner, hanging out, pressing. Japan is uh, mustering what they can to try and help. But I think the Blood Feud here is a little bit too strong. Okay, never mind. Jushis is coming. And Jushis will probably get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're going to get it. I, I, I don't know if the Ottomans are like... They, they, it seems like Jordan might not be able to kind of multitask like and, and handle this up top. He needs to park some units here and or rebuild these walls. And it looks like he is. Maybe he's going to prove me wrong. I would like to see him like to see him do it. do it. Maybe he will. So the English invaders have landed once again. The Great Bombard Cannon's going to fall back. Ottoman actually one of the best wonder defensives. The fact that they have those um, those cannons that do AoE damage. They're pretty much good against everything, right? Like normally you're like, oh, I need spring, spring alts here, mangonels here, like bombards here. Like Great Bombard just handles everything. It's like all the threats. Okay, well played, Jordan. Good. You got that wall up. That's going to keep the trebuchets at bay. Trebuchet landing is preparing. The dreaded allied trek special is in full effect here. Uh, 18 a pop trade, respectable, not like super good, but it's not useless either. Japan, Nanny could work out a non-aggression pact with Japan maybe and try and trade. We'll have to see. Looking at the Wonder Tracker, we are at the 10 minute mark. So that is going down. And uh, England gathering on the shores. It's hard, yeah, with the, with the Navy protecting that fleet. But England's not never going to have a big enough army to, to get through. That's the problem with having such a big Navy and landing, is that you're never going to be able to establish a, a big enough army to land. See the English men-at-arms getting absolutely last samurai there, gatted down by the Janissaries. And looking at the top, 
We see some landing tools here um, for green, but he's landing on the middle? What? So green lands his... Oh, is he trying to kill? What is this? So Rexasaurus is landing some random stuff here and is going... Um... Yeah, I, I don't get this. This is weird. It's like some random bombards here and he's just like killing Nanny's wood eco when there's a wonder on the table. It feels very strange. Nonetheless, the Ottomans have gotten their bombards in position and the trebuchet is getting absolutely flattened by those great bombardos. The Royal Navy needs to be more crowded on the shoreline um, so they can reach those. And Janissaries also can repair these, uh, these great bombards. So you want to use those guys for their repairs. Red trying to land with demo ships, but um, I, I don't quite get what's going on here. This is very strange. Villager is getting pounded by the AOE bombard cannons. Tower is being set up as well. And... Um, yeah, looking looking tough, man. Looking very very tough. I don't see this going well if they don't unify. This is like this is kind of blood feudy. I mean, we do see the Japanese here, but like you need to land. You can't just do this. T Rex push ups, Jesus, dude, that's a huge donation. I saw the start went to work for the afternoon. Come on, you're still going. I got you, man. All day, every day, especially with donations like that. Jeez, man. Thank you, thank you. Hope all is well in the the land down under. I really really appreciate that, my friend. So now the landing force comes. It's a trebuchet landing force. Uh, villagers are somewhat nearby to repair. They're going to be landing here. They won't be able to reach the wonder uh, quite as easily. But Japan is hammering down the walls on the front. And uh, once again, T-Rex. Thank you, thank you, man. The English player is doing good, though. He's, he's mustering a force. You know, he's getting his trebuchets. He's taking some ground, as it were. Um, on wonder defenses, you definitely need to like, kind of have things parked on all corners of your island. Especially with these multi-pronged attacks. Unfortunately, if, if Purple had had a better spawn, it'd be way easier to defend. But yeah, don't let those English trebuchets take more ground here. Do not let them take more ground. That is going to be rough. That is going to be rough. All right. So now the invaders have landed. The Ottomans need to re react to this very quickly. Uh, move an army up there and kill those. Because those trebuchets will do some work. And the English trebuchets are not far off either. Currently, Wonder Tracker is at eight minutes. Um, who's going to counter Wonder after this? I, I, I don't know. Tower is going down in the middle for Jushis. They do discover the School of Cavalry landmark, which has been killed, so the um, Joan of Arc has lost that. Gotta hurt a little bit, but the Trebs are about to land. Ottomans are not in a good position here to deal with the Northern Trebuchet landing. Oh, come on, you saw them shooting your walls. Don't, don't do it. You gotta move up there, dude. We gotta get Palpatine on this one. He, he can say do it. Is it somewhere around here? Do it. There you go. I need to, I need to raise him on that. That wasn't very good. All right, so he goes down to squash the English player, which understandably is good, but oh my God, no. This was so defensible! Jordan! Come on! Oh god, the Azure Mosque is gonna go down. Oh god, that feels bad. Who's gonna win this game? Is it even possible? We have the repairs going, but yeah, that's, that traps are gonna get the kill on that. Oh man, I was seven minutes away from dinner. If he had stopped that, that would have been enough. Oh god! Okay, down it goes. The wonder has fallen, ladies and gentlemen. And um, now it's pretty much gonna be the end of uh, Jordan here. He's going to be very poor, and um, if the players want to kill him, they can. But yeah, that was that was so defendable. Like, it just literally like five horsemen would have stopped that, you know? Yeah, that's rough. Dinner loses, it does. But it's okay. I'm, I'm here for the long run, guys. I ain't going nowhere. Is anybody else, like, even close to getting a wonder? Rexasaurus? Okay, Rex. You're the chosen one. To, you're getting your pagoda money. And we do have that going. Nanny Yori immediately invading. I love it. So Nanny is here. I'm going to call in a cannon from Joan of Arc here in a second, I would wager. Um, but I love that Nanny as soon as the blood feud is like, you know, the wonders dealt with the blood feuds back on, right? And yeah, maybe Nanny's going to find a way to win this. I don't know. Look at all these trade ships, Jesus. <laughs> Just look how many there are. It's like one of those like weird mirages or something like that. All right. So Japan is still trying to survive. We got the villager prison shank battle. The Japanese villager is going to be duking it out with the uh, French villagers here. They might be able to win it, although that tower will help. We'll see if they get garrisoned in time. Better jump some dudes in that tower, but Nanny is going to be losing to these haggard villagers if he doesn't um, jump in the towers in time, and it looks like that is going to go down. Nanny might be able to do this here. Probably not. No, no forward infrastructure is going to make it very hard. He bombards the to snipe down the nest of bees. Joan of Arc is there with her shotgun. Uh, shotgun of Arc, as she was called in history. Uh, known for her Wild West uh, gunslinging antics. All the nest of bees do go down, so good good micro there by Nanny. And uh, yeah, constant perpetual pressure, man. Nanny does end up losing all those villagers to the Japanese prison shanks over there, so that is going to be tough. And um, green is uh, probably hold, holding here. Yeah. What is that shotgun even? God, look at that thing. It's like a giant candy cane. 
All right, so battering rams get the meditation gardens, but the uh, the home field advantage for Rexosaurus is going to be a little bit too much. And uh, is the siege going to continue? It is. So the Ottomans are actually still being pressed. And uh, will the English get it? Yeah, especially if they have to move out like that. Yeah, that's going to be rough. The Sipa here are going to get it, get the dirty. Ottoman army still pretty respectable. Um, no other fights here. Just a random Japanese army sailing around. Rexosaurus does lose a landmark. But easily going to be able to repair that. We do see the pagoda being rebuilt. And uh, the Shaolin monk is already there to replace the relics. And once again, Nani Yori, um, you know, trying to get in, but not quite succeeding. Now, is there going to be a counterattack? That's the question. Is Jushi is finally going to try and take him out? Japanese Navy is pretty fat, though. He's definitely, definitely pretty fat. A lot of uh, these warships and also the junks are nearby, so we're going to be seeing these uh, these trade ships going down. Yep, get popped in the old face. On the other side, legions of Sipahi crushing the attackers. Wait, why is Japan still producing here? Japan's still producing on the Ottoman island. Oh my god, this is just like the most haggard game ever. This is like definitely a meme game. Can we just send the Ottomans? Yeah, in great outer space. <laughs> Dude, this, I feel like this is one of those games. It's like, have you guys ever watched an MMA match between two fighters who are very inexperienced and they just they just don't have the ability to finish one another? I, like, they don't punch hard enough or they don't know how to land submissions, so they just kind of, like, keep, you know, flailing around the arena? This is feeling like one of those games to me. Like, I guess this was going to be a two-hour game. Like, I, I guess it was going to be ending right now, which was honestly a pretty respectable guess. Considering the wonder would have been finishing right now. However, um, yeah. They just don't quite have it. Okay, transport ships are there. Joan of Arc has her cannons on the shoreline. There they are. And um, on the south side, Japan just sitting AFK with its navy, building its farm eco in the jankiest faction possible. I love it. I guess these houses are food drop-off points, so it's not too bad. England is still battling it out with the Ottomans, trying to actually kill them. The Ottomans are um, out of gold and currently have... Wow, almost no eco whatsoever. So the Ottomans are going to be in the pits of hell. Yeah, they're absolutely in the pits. So they continue along. We do see the elite knights as well as the Sipahi battling on the shores. Oh yeah, these players are doing their best for sure, Samuel. Oh, absolutely. It's great. I mean, I'm, I'm having a great time. It's a lot of fun. This could be the end of our Ottoman Chad, though. Um, he, could be, he could be in massive danger here. If the English player keeps pressing him, having the superior economy, it could be it. And England is not taking their foot off the pedal. They want to grow crops on the other side, you know what I'm saying? They want to get these villagers and start setting up here and pushing out. If the Great Bombards go down, that would probably be the uh, straw that breaks the camel's back. And look at this, Chinese invasion. Is there going to be any sort of um, any sort of supporting infrastructure, though? Otherwise, it's probably not going to work too well. Granted, you do have Nesta B and Baojads, which is very terrifying. Keep is getting shot, and man, those nest of bees are doing some work. And those grenadiers melting the men at arms in the front. And this could be the first time we see Nanny in serious danger. Because Nanny only has 1,400 food left. Going to be able to make a handful of units, but if these bow chads park on the shore, that is going to be very, very tough. Joan of Arc getting hit by explosives. Joan of Arc versus hand grenades. And Shotgun of Arc is going to be going down here, and the Grenade Legion continues on. Another keep being built in the back. But China does have its boats on the coast. He needs to move those boats a little bit further up. And more units are being set. The transport ships are coming back. He is ferrying across here. And if Joan of Arc loses the base, that's for sure it. Because the School of Cavalry is surrounded here. So not going to be able to get that going. Wololo? Okay, a little wololo. But England is in now. The King of England. Ender is here, baby. Hell yeah. King Henry. He's, he's riding out. And England does manage to take down several Great Bombards. And the invasion force is going to continue. But what the hell is this? The Japanese fleet with the steel chair coming in. Oh my god, look at that. Why are they even here? He's coming to save the Ottomans? I wonder if he called for help. Maybe he's Contende's friend. I have no idea. But that is a big Japanese fleet. It's, it's going to die though, um, which is actually going to help the English because it means they'll have bigger land-based armies. Uh, they won't have to delete their stuff. So Nanny in big danger here. Um, good artillery sniping though. It's very, very smart. Keep is going down and I think Nanny barely holds. Although Nanny has legitimately uh, 31 food right now. So that keep might finish. Is the landing force round two going to be coming? Maybe, maybe Rexosaurus will get it. If that keep gets up, that's going to be a problem. And yeah, run back to the boats. Let them support you. And yes, Bombard survive. Keep is going to be finishing here. Palace Guard are torching those guys down. And we do see the uh, 276 food. So yeah, that's going to be a finished keep, which is going to just punish this army, especially if a Bombard gets made. And now, if you're China, you could just pull them out. You could start making uh, siege workshops here. 
and just keep, you know, pushing. This is definitely one of the more haggard games we've had, yes. England is still still attacking the Ottomans sparsely. Um, the Ottoman army is very low now. Currently, Jordan uh, does have 7,000 food left. Um, where is his... Yeah, he's got some farms around the base. He does. Uh, dear FFA expert, what do you think about the Great Bombard nerf? Did it affect... No, uh, Ottomans will still be top tier in FFA, in my opinion. Yeah. They'll still be very good. Like, it, it's it's a slight nerf, but it was needed. Those things are really strong. And, and Ottomans are still really powerful, too. They get free, good quality units. They have some of the best late game armies you could possibly have. Really, really uh, good trade as well, if they want to. And uh, yeah, Siege Workshop's coming up here for the old Chinese. And Nanny's gonna be trying to muster a defense. Currently, Nanny's food bank, let's say on Nanny's perspective, is like really rough. Wood bank is almost non-existent, so not gonna be able to even make horsemen soon. The grenades are blowing up battering rams. That's kind of a funny, uh, funny image. We got spring alts coming out as well as nest of bees. Spring alts probably not super necessary here, but Joan of Arc is coming. She's gonna be getting grenaded in the face once again. So Joan of Arc doing the Divine Wrath, but now is going to be getting beat up pretty good as she dives the keep and Joan of Arc with the AOE damage. Very cool, but I'm not going to save, uh, not going to save the French here. As Joan of Arc source code gets deleted from the game, the Jushis, where would they wander? I guess it would be back here. Jushis would want to lumberjack and like lumber wander back there if they can. That's, that's, that's the plan. But I think we've seen the end of Nanny. I think Nanny's going to be falling. Good scrappy attempts all game, but like Jushis has multiple islands and just a stable economy, so... Yeah, it's, it's a huge advantage, right? So where is it? They have more troops over here? Yeah, more troops need to be ferried across to be a transport ship. On the bottom side, the King of England continues his crusades. He continues moving. And, uh, yeah. and will the Ottomans survive? Probably. I think Jordan will probably survive this. Yeah, England is, is, is still kind of transporting, but they're not bringing any infrastructure production, so they're not going to quite make that much progress. Although, even against Ottomans, they do have the um, Great Bombard, so it might be kind of hard to set up on the coast there, right? All right, so more and more production is on the way. We see mangonels being built by the French. Not a bad idea. Nanny currently has 58 wood, though, so really going to be in the pits of hell uh, after this kind of investment in artillery. This is like their last chance to get him off the island here. Pretty much the last chance. Yellow is just a, a creature of chaos. You never know what Yellow is doing. He is just kind of always doing his own thing. Um, Contende is sitting on a good bank, though. Like, probably the best bank in the game. He does have the four relics, the Yori, uh, Yoshiru, Yorishiru, I think is what it is, you yeah. know. Got those hanging out. Naval harass on Nanny's coasts. Gonna be pounding down all these docks, and uh, it's only a matter of time before Nanny loses this. Yeah, we got him elite lancers coming out, so... Does he not have the tech for dynastic protectors? Maybe not. Maybe he didn't go for that one. I suspect he didn't build it. Nanny bringing some villagers over, not sure what they're trying to do. Uh, more units to be ferried across. So here comes a pretty big landing force. And now Japan is trying to get in there, too. Japan does have a, a small landing party. So, oh, eight bombards and a couple of Zutsu. Yeah, all right. So man, that's going to certainly speed along Nanny's death. Not going to be helping anybody else there, that is for sure. Heavy fighting here. Nanny Yori desperately holding on. A little bit of food per minute. Um, Guildhall, I believe, was just claimed. So yes, it was. Battering rams are being built here. Are those battering rams being built? Oh, wait. Let's wait. What's going on here? Oh, those are Shinobi! Oh my god, the, the bronze Shinobi, I love it! Guys, I was like, how are these villagers building rams? But these are Shinobi! Oh my god, that's so funny! That's my favorite play of the whole stream. Oh my god, the Shinobi sneaking in and building rams in Annie's base is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Oh my god, that is so funny, dude. And now there's just some random Japanese rams while the Shinobis are like sneaking in amongst the villagers. All right, here they come. Wow, that's that's really hilarious. So yep, this is going to be the end. Nanny Yori's going to fall here. We're going to see the Guild Hall going down, followed by the other landmarks, especially since the Japanese Shinobi are trolling so incredibly hard here. <laughs> a couple extra rams helping to finish things off. The Ninja Lord! I hope Yellow wins this. I hope he finds a way. That would just be the coolest thing ever if he managed to win with these like these ridiculous Shinobi plays. So Joan has been resummoned. The Guild Hall is going down. Now we have a TC, and that is it, right? Yeah, so we had Guild Hall. No, there's one more landmark somewhere. What am I missing? Okay, big naval engagements out here on the far side. Rams are still moving in, and the Shinobis are, um... <laughs> yeah, they're getting in there. We love the dreaded Shinobi action. I'm inspired, dude. I, I want to play an FFA match with Shinobi after this. I really, really do. You're causing some havoc. And meanwhile, on the south side, the King of England keeps attacking uh, the Ottomans and appears to have made some good progress since last we looked. As a matter of fact, the Ottomans appear to be out of steam, so... 
This is going to become a weird ass game. The Ottomans are going to be dead, um, and we will be seeing a nanny falling too. So then it's going to be a three player game. And at that point, whoever makes the wonder probably gets it right. Currently, we see 44,000 stone, which is very respectable. And Nanny's base is hanging in there. Currently, the town center is at uh, 500 HP. The Japanese Shinobi Rams have landed. <laughs> Look at these guys, man. Oh my god, that's so funny. I wonder if Nanny's like trying to select them. Like, why can I not take these? Yeah, we have the College of Artillery in the corner also. Another Wololo in the base. Um, it is going to be a English Wololo as they steal the relics. Sipahi trying to come out, but Sipahi and their spears will not do that much damage against the MMA. The MAA. And the men-at-arms need to move up and definitely take down those if they can. But yeah, England will eventually win this fight. It's only a matter of time. The dr Oh my god, what is the Shinobi Master, dude? Holy shit, look at the Shinobi Lord. Oh, he's just landed with those Zutsu and Bombards in the, in the green base. <laughs> Oh, this man is wild as hell, dude. He's like attacking three players right now at once. Just like randomly, like chaotically building rams. Just like, it's just anarchy. Ender's bank is good, but he doesn't have that much stone. So he's not going to be cackling too hard. But look at this. Um, he definitely should move up and start sniping buildings. A um, couple horsemen could definitely come down here and crush this. A little bit of support. The King of England is still um, taking down the Ottomans and is making good progress. Rams have made it in. Uh, as far as landmarks, the Twin Minaret, the Town Center, the Mehmed Armory, and Seagate Castle. Okay, so all those landmarks are pretty close in proximity, but it's going to take some time. <laughs> oh my, uh, and then cuts, proceeds to cut down wheat, I know. Isn't that funny? Hmm. Yeah, some good water right there, man. Some good water. All right, so big legion moving in. Bombards are heading down, and um, Nanny should be dead here. And then Green can turn his attention. Like, he pulled villagers? Look at that, Contende's awesome, dude. Contende's one of my new favorite players. Oh my god, he loses all the bombards trying to flee from the villagers. Oh god, the nanny Chad Wololo. Gonna be getting some uh, elite lancers maybe. Nope, they just barely get out of that. That was pretty unfortunate. But nanny's base is in absolute shambles. Um, did not get the center landmark repaired here. And down on the south side, the King of England has almost finished off the Ottomans. Hopefully he'll continue his aggression. I hope he does. I hope Ender just keeps getting in there with the steel chair. All right, so where are we at? Use the College of Artillery getting blasted. And uh, is that his last landmark? I think it is. I think that's going to be the end. GG, Nanny. Well played. Well played indeed. But that is going to be the end of the war. And the French will have fallen, claiming their prize, the Shaolin relics. And now I suspect there's going to be... Wait. Oh my god, guys, look at this! I love this so much, dude. Look at Katende. He's got Shinobi on people's bases. And he's just building rams in the back of people's bases and they don't notice it because the Shinobi looks like one of their units. Oh, that's so funny. Is he going to go start killing villagers here? Dear God. This is like the biggest memes I've ever seen. Look at this, like random Shinobi just on everyone's base. He just got one everywhere. So the Ottomans may survive. England? No, oh, never mind. Right as I say that, England lands with like a colossal army. Uh, for Rexus Arso, this is definitely just wonder time. You just spend all your gold and buy as much stone as you can, probably. Or establish trade, obviously. Naval trade north to south would be incredibly prime time. <laughs> He's everywhere, dude, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's like, there's just like a random ram being built like back here. And look, like, this guy's going and the English are like, what the hell is this shit? How'd this ram get back here? This is the best Japan play I've ever seen. It is, I know. I'm inspired. I'm taking notes. I'm going to steal some of these memes and try them in my games. Ninja Terror. <laughs> yeah. The ninjas are so funny, dude. Shinobi S tier FFA. I, I, I didn't even think that they could build rams. That didn't even occur to me. I was like, oh, yeah, I guess Shinobi late game could move about and build rams and, and, and you know, stealthily. Yellow just wants to watch the world burn. Yeah, I know. It's true. Dude, and I don't know how he's amassing these huge armies, too, by the way. He's, he's, he's got, like, barely any eco. I guess he's just lumberjacking wherever he can. Yeah, he did take this whole island, so he's got he's got lumber here. A lot of idle bills as well. All right, so looking around, uh, yeah, just going to be this conclusion of this war. England appears to have won the fight, and the rams are now purging through the base. Definitely want to get those military schools. Twin Minaret's going to go down here. A couple uh, defensive static towers there. Trying to help, but not going to get the job done. Farms being torched, and Green is 1,000% going to win this. Because Green should be able to just wander, like, soon. I mean, come on. Look at the bank here of Rexosaurus. He's not buying stone, though, and his eco is pretty poor. He does have a big military. I wonder if he's going to go try and kill Yellow or something. 
Yeah, he lands over here, so he's going to be securing some resources. Meanwhile, um, the King of England still getting the job done. The Mehmed Armory is going to be falling. Military school is going down as well. So the Ottomans will pay the troll toll. Do we have any uh, in-game correspondence, by the way? Nanny, are you still in the game? Can you tell us what's going on in chat? I'm, I'm seriously curious about this. So the Japanese Navy is harrying the English now, which is going to potentially prolong the game. Granted, the Rams, if they get to Seagate Castle, come on, please. Take these Rams onto Seagate Castle and just speed this game along. Yeah, I guess he's busy taking down these random buildings. And uh, he does have some infrastructure he can build. Japan just wild. Yeah, once again, comes down here and just looking to get involved in this party. Over here, we do have this resource node going to Zhushi's. Zhushi does not have any good trade at this point, but now they do. Yep, 53 at pop is going to be good. They're going to be trading down to this defeated dock. Uh, no docks down here in the Byzantine Empire. The Byzantines, man, it feels like they've fallen so long ago. He shuts those down, and the last landmark is going to be targeted, and that will be the end of the Ottoman. So, yeah, finally, finally, players are starting to... Dissipate from this game. The King of England and are doing a good work for sure. A the villagers coming out trying to torch down the Rams. Probably not going to get it done in time. Seagate Castle, 500 HP. Rams going to be getting the big dongs in there moving. And uh, yeah, there it is. GG. The chat has mostly been dominated by green telling yellow, I'm a tyrant who needed to be 2v1 over and over again. <laughs> yeah, it's hard when you're playing French too because, you know, they can be tyrannical just based on guild hall. It's not as strong as it once was for sure, but... Yeah, Zhushi's is a very much a tyrannical sieve also. Several times yellow came and wiped my docks with green's call, so they seem to be... Yeah, they were coming at you, huh? Well, if it makes you feel any better, Nanny, yellow has been attacking everybody. Like, nonstop. Like, randomly, he just shows up in people's lands and kills shit and leaves and doesn't have any explanation. Yeah, no one else really politics in the game you're saying? Got it. So now is the time for the wonder if anybody can afford it. I'm currently looking at the stone. Uh, current resources. We do see 5,000 stone for Rex. Uh, Ender currently has good bank, but nowhere near the stone to get the job done. So yeah, Yellow is just kind of the meme master. He's got a lot of navy produced up. And his shinobi are still building rams. Oh my god. Guys, look! Look! Oh my god, the shinobi have invaded! And they're just battling these villagers. <laughs> oh my god, dude. He invaded the English island with shinobis and rams. And now he's just going to keep building these. Wow, he just killed so many bills. Ender's eco probably just tanked. Yeah, down to 67. And it seems the English player is a little bit distracted here. Holy shit. Dude, is the Shinobi Lord just going to get another kill right now? Yeah, clearly I hope the devs aren't watching this. They're going to nerf Japan. They're going to be like, we need to nerf those Shinobis. Send them back to the pits. Double their cost. Okay, so the Rams are moving, but England's going to muster a big defense. What are the Shinobi going to be doing in response? Are they going to run up? Yeah, run to your boats. They can take a couple spearmen maybe, although now. Shinobi's own. Oh, I guess they, they benefit from army tactics, but they still hit very hard. They need to retreat. Oh, they turn into villagers. <laughs> a couple of them have been revealed. And are the villas going to sneak away? Oh. oh my god, dude. It's so haggard. Yeah, only Shinobi terror for everybody. Yeah, Green's got this in the bag, though. It's just a matter of, of Green saving up stone for a wonder. Green, I need you to just start buying stone, please. For the love of God, this game is just so haggard. <laughs> oh man. All right. So spring olives are poking away. So there they go, looking good. And how are we looking on? I'm, you know what? Later tonight, I'm gonna get online and play some one v ones with Shinobis now, and I'm gonna lose them for sure, but it's gonna be fun. Yeah, they've been discovered and are fleeing the scene. We have another batch of Shinobi at the ready to land on this island, and now he's completely contained. The English player is stuck on his island. Is he going to be trying to get resources for Wonder himself? Uh, is he buying any stone? He has a fair amount. He's getting a little bit passive from the tithe barns. But, like, overall, China should be the one wondering, considering they have four or five relics, I think. I believe they took one here from Nanny's base as well. And we'll continue, man. Jordan says, Jordan here, I can't believe I didn't see the trebs. Uh, did you, yeah, if you had gotten those trebs, you'd probably win, Jordan. Well played, man. You, you channeled your true inner dandy dragon and just hung out there. It was a good attempt. Well played, man. Well played to you. All right, so cruising up is the Japanese, and they've got the English contained. England's food wood economy is pretty much shit now, so uh, England's going to be suffering pretty bad. They only have 800 wood. There's no lumber left on their island, so <clears throat> good luck escaping, right? It looks like they just spent all their resources on these spring alts, which, of course, are good against boats, but... Um... Oh, my God, and the Lord of the Seven Seas, he's coming! How is he, like, so rich, dude? Contende is, like, hanging in there. 
I guess he still has good steady wood income. All that trade's gonna be shut down. Rexasaurus, is he buying stone? It doesn't look like it. Looks like he's just playing the patient game with tithe barns. So overall, you know, the Chinese Navy will lose this, but not before, um... Yeah, I mean, eventually China could reinforce and probably win that fight. Contende is just going super hard in the Navy. England is basically, you know, caged on this island now. They're gonna need to make a lot of villagers and try and escape and, you know, go lumberjack on another island, maybe. There's still a bit of wood on the middle. Yeah, there's still some wood outcroppings. Yeah, we see some. A couple idle bombards sitting here for China. And they come all the way around, and he's probably gonna destroy these docks. Yep, we're gonna start working on the docks. China is making some sort of a navy. Let's see. Yep, we got naval warships coming out. Demo ships, I suspect, will be there shortly after. And yeah, he's, he's just banking that 270 a minute and getting there, man. I called out green three island control several times, plus the pagodas across map trade, and he had bows. Yeah, sadly, nobody ever responded. Yep. All right. <coughs> the chaos is spreading. The shinobi have arrived. All right, so the shinobi are now on this island. I'm not much for them to do here. He's like, dude, he's got, he's been microing those. He's been microing those pretty well. You see the trade filling back here. A couple boats do go down. Bombards moving into position. Uh, going to be taking down those big ships. And obviously the Chinese Navy will be superior to the Japanese Navy. The, uh, these buildings, I believe, do really good damage against uh, like actual buildings. Let's see. So these things do plus 70 versus buildings. And these things do plus 50. But they have rockets times 6. Okay, so they shoot like Hellstorm rocket battery type things. Interesting. So that damage can add up pretty fast. England going to be kept in its cage down here. Um, it looks like the Japanese overlords are going to be searching for that and uh, shutting them down. Meanwhile, the dreaded shinobi are showing the tower who's boss. So they're really sending a message to the owners of that particular tower. And Yellow's Navy just kind of camping here. But the trade has been rerouted anyways here. And it looks like a good naval trade from Japan, although it's only 29. If they could set up a little bit further down and maybe reroute them to that dock, it would be a lot stronger. But it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Doesn't look like it's going to be it. Nobody's playing Sacreds. Nobody's really grabbing those for free resources. The Shinobi finally forced back, but not before they sabotaged the towers. And are we close to a wonder? Oh, please, for the love of God, build a wonder. Come on. Come on. Come on, Rex. I believe in you. I don't think the players here would be capable of, like, stopping it. Just because, like, the English are trapped on their island suffering, you know? And then Yellow is, is just memeing with Shinobis. So his landing forces probably wouldn't be that good. Unless he decides to make some real units. Who knows? All right, so Daka is away. And overall, that is going to be the end of the Japanese fleet. Probably going to be uh, defeated by these forces. Although, there's uh, still a couple units here, maybe. He'll be able to hold. But is he going to be sending more? It looks like he's just gathering here. and He just, like, randomly attacked everyone. There's not, like, any, like, focus. Like, oh, I need to kill this player or whatever. It's just, like, kind of chaos. <clears throat> It definitely is chaos. Up on the top side, a lot of lumber still. He's clearing out space for his wonder. Um, taxes. Surely there's a lot of taxes to be collected too. So that's really good gold income too. Jushis with their special tax officials, they can really, really just go ham on tax income. And they can make great passive income from their granaries uh, by taxing them. On the other side, yep, taken out. So the uh, Japanese Navy has been defeated, but is going to be coming for round two. A little bit of trade going down here. And he is so close. Oh my God, give it to us. He sees a little bit more stone. Gold is there too. And I mean, like, he just wins if he goes wonder, right? He just plops it down here. Turtles in his base with a good quality army and says, come at me. Um, and I don't know if anybody's going to capture the sacreds. I suspect these players, it's not in their purview. They just want blood. Um, so they would probably just attack his base. Yeah, Japan has a couple TCs here. He's clearing things out. We see these, uh, these random Ozutsu are on patrol mode on the coastline. So they're keeping an eye on things. Are we sure this isn't hell? <laughs> it could be. <clears throat> it could be. It very well could be. England being trapped on its base. Please. Please, Rex. Please build a wonder. Just buy some stone and just do it. Just put us out of our misery. <laughs> Come on, dude. Oh, my God. And Japan going to be trying to shut down the trade once again. Um, the Chinese Navy is pretty small at this point. I suppose they could come over and deal with it. The Bao Chad's going to be turning tail and coming. They're vastly superior ships. The little rockets are pretty cool, though. They actually seem to be doing some good damage. I actually don't know. Maybe these Japanese ships are better than I'm giving them credit for. But overall, more trade is going to be falling here. And up top, um, please, please, you have enough just to bow. Just build it. The game cannot end, dude. Oh, my God. It's going to become like a 24-hour stream. It's going to be a subathon or whatever. They, is that what they call it? Those, like, long streams on Twitch. Although, YouTube doesn't really have, like, a sub system, you know? Like, I mean, you have the membership thing, but there's no way, like... 
it's more prevalent on Twitch because of the fact that um, Amazon gives you a free sub, so it's, it's much more common, right? <clears throat> That'd be cool if YouTube had something like that. But... Come on, Google. Give a little something something. Junk's blasted away here, and uh, now we do see the nice surround. And that probably will once again be the Japanese army or navy falling. Trade has been rerouted to the other side. And they're coming. Yep, so they got trade to the far side. Japan's navy squashed again. Uh, still four warships, so actually they might be able to edge this battle out. And they, they've got to wonder right now. They've got to do it. Come on, dude. I love the shit. I could watch games with players like Yellow all day. I know, it's chaos. It really is. Man, those Chinese ships are no joke. That nest of bees emplacement is, is very, very strong. Might take down another one here, but Contende is going to be sending more trade up. Is he sending more navy? Doesn't look like it. Okay, he officially now has enough. He's got, I think, enough, or maybe he needs a little bit more. It's, is it, it's 9,000 or 8,000. I'm trying to remember here. Hold on. It's uh, 8,000. Oh my god, can I select all your workers and build it for you? Come on. Oh! 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 <laughs> Yeah, it's a long grind, dude, it is. All right, Rexasaurus is cackling. The King of England again! Oh my god, he's invading the Japanese, but the Japanese just have an elite army here. Well, not elite, but, you know, elite spearmen and elite. Um, samurai makes them too. So the English attackers are going to get swapped on the water. I love how they're blood feuding now. There's probably just so much hatred from being perpetually squashed by the um, Japanese Navy. So here they come. This game mustn't end. Why would you guys wish that on this, dude? Iron Bladder can only be pushed so far. Please build it! There's literally no opposition to you! There's no one can do anything to you. You can just say it with bombards. Where's he going? Is he landing somewhere? Oh my god, he's going to attack. So he's taking his army down to the Japanese lands. Here they come. And um, yeah, he's going to be attacking here. But Japan able to fend off that attack very easily. England loading up, but England's wood is so rough. Like, they can barely afford to make transport ships. You have to basically buy them with, with the gold. Because England does get free gold, so it is very nice. But yeah, Japan's navy or military here is pretty good, actually. So it's decent. Got samurai mixed in with um, archers and spears. He is the king of England, dude. He is. That's his title. Okay, maybe the wonder is going to be built. We see this landing force coming here from Rexasaurus. I, I believe it's going to happen soon. The wonder will go down. I might need to go grab some water. And we, we could... Oh, by the way, what's the longest FFA we've ever had on the channel? I think the longest was three and a half hours. I don't think this will be three and a half hours, but this game could go three hours, maybe. It could. So he's gonna bash down the island here. So we see a TC going down and another one's gonna be falling soon. So he's clearing the Japanese off the island and the Japanese are pretty busy with the English forces on this side. Um, the Shinobi are not that active right now. We see six villagers here, but no Shinobi. And yeah, Japan's gonna be, uh, Pounded off the island. Oh my god, look at this! He just uses the Tanegashima gunsmith to just make an army. Hand cannoneers would have been a little bit better. I believe their DPS is objectively slightly better than Ozutsu against non-buildings, but they're still very good against units too. But um, here comes the fight, and the Japanese defenders at the gunsmith are going to be able to easily defend this probably. Uh, although, never mind the Cloud of Terror. I forgot how good those bombards are. Yeah, they have the AoE damage, so they just like annihilate those guys. Okay, never mind. Bit of a turning in the tide there. So Tanegashima gunsmith probably going to be falling here. The bombard cannons doing some work. The King of England is loading up for another invasion. Oh, thank the dark gods. Oh, yeah, baby. Give us that wonder. Give it to us, precious. Yeah. Dude, the Japanese hand cannons look so cool. I love the hats and like, the rifles in their backs. Ozutsu oh, blasting away as well. And, um, yeah, nobody's even bothering with Sacred. They're just like, whatever. Okay, he's going to be walling that, so it's good. And then you just produce a fat army here, and or navy, and uh, defend your land. Okay, guys. So the Wonder Tracker should be an auto win. 14 minutes and 30 seconds. It's going to be a long 14 minutes, but I suppose I've talked longer. But it is on the way. The Bombard Cannons have, have become AFK. They're just shooting a random Shinto Shrine. Uh, go down. Definitely take that down if you can. He's making hand cannoners out of the guns. Oh my god, dude. And England is just like, where are they gonna go? Is England gonna go for the wonder? 15 minutes till bedtime. I know, I know. It, the time is the time is upon us, my friends. It really is. Hestus Commende! Alright, transport ships are gonna be heading across the map. The King of England is gonna go put an end to this. He's heading to the north, but Japan does have, or China does have an excellent navy now. So they should be able to kind of block this area and make sure <clears throat> no, tr no transport ships can get by. Contende did lose his landmark. He lost the Tanegashima gunsmith and appears to have been forced off this island completely. 
If you're trying to hear, you need to delete these and or load them up and take them home now. Because, yeah, they're, they're just going to occupy supply here. Okay, you're randomly just battling a hand cannon here. One random uh, Japanese villager here, chopping away. Now come the attacks. So, please, dude, you guys... You know what the absolute worst case scenario could be here? If we see... If we see them defeat Rexisaurus and kill his wonder, we could be caught in like a massive, massive long suffering match. Can you imagine 1v1 between yellow and orange on this map? Like how long that would take? It would have to be like a sacred victory for yellow or something in the middle. That would take a long time. All right, so boats are coming back up. Going to be engaging against the Japanese fleet, which is largely junks. So the junks will do okay, um, but yeah, they're going to get wrecked pretty bad, I suspect. The King of England is going to land on this island, but he's going to realize that it's not the main island, probably. Um, maybe he thinks it is. I'm not sure where he's going to be landing. And up top, we do have the first naval engagement, so it is going to be the Japanese fleet versus the Chinese fleet. Chinese fleet looking pretty jacked. The AoE from the SDB is really, really good here. The sheer numbers of the Japanese fleet might be able to work something out. The uh, ship on the far side is being focus fired, so Contende is doing a good job focus firing, at least, which will mitigate DPS in the most effective manner. The King of England's creeping up, and is there going to be a defense on the island here? Oh my god, there's no units. Please, for the love of god, don't lose your wonder to this. Okay, so we see the... Okay, the chat is chasing, and it looks like there's a chat belonging to the fallen Chinese player. Come on, please! Defend your base, for the love of God! China does end up holding back the invasion here for now. Okay, he gets one. He's gonna get another one. He notices it. Okay, that's probably GG. That was like the only chance they had, is if that English army could have stopped and landed it. And landed and gotten the wonder, but... <clears throat> yep. The King of England's army does fall, but he's prepared for round two, baby. Ender has heard no bell whatsoever. He is loading up his artillery corps and uh, getting it going. Destroy it? No, why would you say that, Clayton? Why would you put that evil on us? <clears throat> you know? We don't want any of that. All right, so once again, more shots going here. We see the Ata Atakebune getting knocked down. And now the wonder is probably around the 10 minute mark. And I don't really see much of a, oh my God, he got the bombards here, holy shit. Green just like landed randomly in the Japanese base. Japan just has like a huge army, like semi AFK in the center of its base here. Uh, gonna be going for the Shinto Shrine. I mean, honestly, could have if this army wasn't here, it could have been a landmark snipe, right? Okay, one more volley. But this is great because it's occupying Yellow's attention. So Yellow's gonna be like all in on, on this and isn't gonna be invading. Yeah, too late for Sacred now, yeah. The players, you know, might be a little bit newer, might be less experienced, but yeah, Sacred counterplay would have been very strong against this uh, Chinese player here. <clears throat> Come on, let's suffer. No, dude, no. Put that evil out of here, dude. This is Rexasaurus's game to win. He worked hard for it. All right, so the Junks are being popped. And uh, once again, Yellow just kind of trickling in Haggard Navy. Junks will not hold up terribly well against Chinese Elite Navy. China still has good trade too. 50 and 50 on that trade route is going to be bringing them the Forbidden Fruit. So they're there. And uh, did or wait, did Orange just leave? <laughs> Where did Orange go? He just, he just left. Oh my god, dude. Now it's up to the shinobi. Oh, can we just fast forward 10 minutes? Endless pain is the best. You guys just like watching me suffer. Yeah. That's really what it is. I mean, honestly, with a lot of streaming, that's why. Like, do you know how many, like, famous streamers there are just because they're salty? You know, they might have the personality of a potato, but if they get salty and play at a high level, it's like, it's enough, right? So yeah, seeing suffering is definitely something that's fun. <clears throat> In a gaming sense. Um, but yeah, no, he is dead. Um, that's the end of England. It looks like he just, he just like was tired. He's like, I've been playing this miserable grind for two hours and 15 minutes. And now it's just one on one. So, um, that ain't going to happen. I suppose Ender didn't have much wood, but he still could have landed. He had a decent little army here. So maybe he could have done it. Uh, up on the top side, we got bow chads shooting away. They're, they're, yellow has zero chances. Zero. Like, absolutely zero chance of getting this. I would say 1%, because 0% isn't isn't fair, but there's no way. There's no way the Shinobi King is going to get this. <clears throat> More ships battling away here. See the Bowchats just dominating the Japanese Navy as it trickles in instead of gathering and getting a critical mass. And uh, the Wonder Tracker is now at 8 minutes and 52 seconds. So, yeah, they're continuing their party. The game is over, yeah. Uh, he's not going to tap out yet. I think the Shinobi Lord is going to fight a little bit longer. Let's see here. <clears throat> Jushi's Library. 
Jushi's library is still act active. Um, what did he actually get? Yeah, he did get the Dynastic Protectors. I wonder if on an island map getting the um, getting the advanced administration might be better, just to get like better tax economy. It might be actually. That might actually be good. Dude, what if the Shinobis, he builds like 50 of them, goes here, teleports over the walls or on the walls and runs and just like gets to that wonder somehow. Can they sabotage a wonder? That'd be really interesting if they could like sabotage it and keep it from like counting down while it's sabotaged. That would be really cool actually, but I don't think we're gonna see that. Gonna see some Shinobi ramps in the wonder, I'm telling you, man. Uh, he's fully walled though. Shinobi can teleport on top of walls, but not past them anymore. So it's much harder than it used to be. There was a time when Shinobi could actually do that. Yellow's economy is very much in the pits, though. Um, he doesn't really have much. He had that huge army here. Um, did he load it into transports? He did. But now China is, like, bringing the attack to him. So the suffering has come full circle uh, as we approach the seven-minute mark. And learn pain? We are. We are learning it. We're, we're suffering together. Oh, no. The Japanese Navy has been discovered. The landing force. Oh, God. He's going to land on this derelict island and just lose so much. He had seven shinobis here, man. I love that. That's so cool. <clears throat> oh, land the shinobi. Save them. Okay, they're able to get away. But yeah, Contende is fleeing. His landing force is just having no success. Just trade embargoes everywhere. Just all these boats are just completely holding it down. We should do an Applebee's tournament. We should. Although, you know, obviously they don't have Applebee's in Europe or other parts of the world. So more and more boats getting nailed here. That is... That was like his last chance, right? Six minutes, and he taps out. GG, thank you for saving us for six, seven minutes. The Shinobi Lord is fun, but Rexosaurus and Jushi has claimed victory today. Oh, man, that was fun. That was very fun. I had a great time with that. I had a great time with that game. It was a lot of suffering, but overall, it was fun. All right, guys, I appreciate you all. I'm going to go hang out with my smoking hot wife, have some dinner. Uh, drop a like if you guys enjoyed this. If you want more Age of Empires, do do that. That's how I know what content you guys prefer. So I'll stream whatever is uh, more enjoyed by you all. And uh, that's going to be it. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time. Uh, maybe back tomorrow streaming. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. Regardless, there will be more this week. Don't worry. And uh, that is it. Contende says, I'm unranked. Enjoy the memes we did. Contende, we loved it. You were the favorite, hands down. Your Shinobi plays were, were the, gold, the, 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 the shining gem of this stream. All right. Take care of yourselves. That's going to be it for today. And uh, adios. Dovidenia. See you next time. Thanks again for your donations as well also. Cheers, guys.